All right, stream intro done. Yeah. I can now oh, get to work. What do I need? I need a side bed, which is installed. Didn't look like it was installed, but it is installed. And I think that's basically it. What's this? Extended heavy rope. I guess that's good. Sure. Longer rope. That's pretty much the difference for like 15k. The normal one is 1k. That's a lot of money for such a tiny upgrade. But alright. It's fine. I have 400k. No, I have 40k? 400, 400k. And you get everything back when you sell stuff anyway. So it's okay. Are we gonna hit level 14 today? Let's see. Guys, I did not know you could do this combination, but you can have the crate on this one. And the big... that's the that's the Mastodon? Uh-huh. Alright, I did not know that either. Yep. Surprise! Well there you go. The more you know. We've been using the small attacher for all those job <laughs> fucking peasants. You say we like I've done a single crane job. <laughs> Why would I? Why well, I don't need to innovate crane using when I can just pass that down. Yep. All right, where is the actual slab at? Is it at the Horton uh, House? It's, it's at the drilling it? site nearby the mission itself. The mission is solid foundation. I see it. I see it. I see it. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna do well, well, well. That's what I'm gonna do. Which is just a simple thing of transporting basically half of what I can carry on the back of this. So I figured it shouldn't be too bad. I've been playing... What have I been playing? I've been playing something else that has driving and now this driving feels weird. What have I been playing? It was probably Mafia, yeah. I, I played Mafia, Definitive Edition. <laughs> and so now I'm used to that driving and not this driving. How has that game aged? A definitive Edition is a remake. Like a full remake? It's a full remake. The other two definitive editions are just like slight remasters. Yeah. So it's aged way better than the other two, technically. Alright. It it's also the most demanding as a result. Yeah. Uh I was playing um the first Spider Man game from uh the more recent uh era and it actually kept my fucking GPU uh fan spinning. Yeah. And that's uh, kind of gross. Oh, there's there's a contest over here. Which makes me think those two other contests I see might actually be new. Mm. As I turned on ray tracing. There's no ray tracing in this game. There is. I, I can tell the fucking difference. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure... If I looked close enough, I could tell the difference between ray tracing and not ray tracing. If I look at, yeah. like, reflections and certain lighting, because it can be obvious, especially when you can mess around with light sources. Like, if I can move a lamp, it becomes very yeah. obvious, I think, because just look at, is the light changing or is the color changing? Um, but, you know, you have to go out of your way to really see that. The only other way I think you could really notice it is in reflections. Because generally, if it's not ray traced, what kind of reflections are you going to see? Number one, you could see reflections that are like fake. And it's just like a, a fake picture in the reflection. Mm -hmm. And then number two would be screen space. And you could just manipulate what's on the screen to see if it renders differently based on what's on the screen. But yeah. you have to actually not be focusing on the gameplay loop and actually go look at that kind of stuff for it to be really if obvious. You 
uh, the game has options for ray tracing and ray tracing reflections. So you can actually turn the ray tracing reflections off. Yeah. I feel like if I ray traced one thing and one thing only, it would probably be reflections. Just because screen space is so annoying. Lighting doesn't matter as much. If someone actually does a good job at not ray trace lighting, like look around in this game right now with the sunrise. Would you really be able to tell? Yeah, this, this, this is a pretty good fake uh, sunrise. Yeah, I could tell if it's nighttime and I turn on the lights. Okay? But because of those, those little like 2D lines coming off the sides of that one vehicle, then I could tell. But right now, just with the natural lighting, you really couldn't tell. The shadows are good. The lighting is good. The re reflections are probably screen space. Probably. Maybe. They're not very reflective. The water is not very reflective at all, actually. Yeah. It is specular, though. It's very muddy. It has some reflections on it. Yeah, it's screen space. But I had to literally just start messing with the camera at the edge of it to see that it is screen space. And that's that's kind of oh. going out of your way. Yeah, also the fact that the shadows aren't going under the water that's staying on the surface, that's another giveaway. Yeah. But generally, if I'm just driving, I'm not really going to notice. Yeah. Game looks beautiful anyway. Oh, this is a sunset, isn't it? Oh, it's a sunset, yeah. Yeah, this is a sunset. I just—it's getting more orange. I'm like, huh. Fun fact: uh, if you do New Game Plus, there's a always daytime option. Oh, that's nice. I don't know why you don't just put that in the menu anyway. Difficulty, but. kind of weird I'm at the farm with my half a load of vehicle spare parts lights yeah like turning on my lights that's how I notice because I got like some backlights and side lights on this one and right now they're not projecting shit <laughs> When was the last day we played this? Like a week and a half ago? Something like that, yeah. Something like that. Controls felt a little weird at first, but I think I'm already basically back into it. Yeah, muscle armor kicked in. Yeah. It just got a little confused see? from Mafia. Yep. Fucking, uh... Yesterday, uh, gas prices went up in one single day, 20 cents. That's weird. Yeah. Why? I don't know. All right. I mean, there's only one answer. Uh, the Saudis wanted more money. It's, it's the only answer, but. <clears throat> but uh, another thing is that you see that um, there's a bird flu going through our uh, beef uh, stuff in uh, Texas. Uh, no. Yeah, a bunch of cows in Texas, which is our main supplier of beef, uh, has a fucking bird flu, and Fun. the bird flu started to transmit to humans. Fun. New pandemic unlocked. Let's go. There's always a flu. Swine flu, bird flu. Ugh. Does There's bird not flu fly? Flu. They're born yet. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This terrain. Also, this week I purchased a T-shirt. It is a tie-dye T-shirt. It is a tie-dye Baja Blast T-shirt. Oh. I love Baja Blast. All right. 
And in the course of me talking to you, I have already drank one whole can of Baja Blast. Oh. Alright. I'll always be a normal Mountain Dew kind of guy. It is indeed a two-slot item. Alright, well, there you go. Mine is a one-slot item. <laughs> Your mom's a one-slot. <laughs> Isn't that a compliment? Shut up. <laughs> like, we, like, that sounds like a compliment, actually. Rank 12! Woo! That's not 14! Ugh! Alright, uh, shit. How do I do this again? Recover. Just fuck driving back. It's just a waste of time. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I think I'm gonna go investigate some more tasks and those... Those other things. Those contests. Is there really anything else other than these? There's the mission you're doing, the one I just did. There's the other mission we took. There's one more mission to go look at. Oh, well, we're almost done with the tasks on this map, and I think every other mission involves going between, like, a bunch of different maps. Gross. So, what that means is in a moment, theoretically... Scouting time? Yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to have to... I'm just looking through things. Maintenance trailer. Logistics base. Oh, well, there is one that's we're, that we're capable of doing. But we could still go scouting anyway. <laughs> Winter stores. I guess this is a... Uh, Drilling, oh, drilling operation maintained. Yeah, this follows one of the other missions when that was done. This has stuff for both of us to do. Right, so that one's doable. Deliver to farm bricks, planks, and fuel. So this, so this one's doable. Under husky forwarding. Doable. Sort of two out of four so far are doable. Preacher's house. Service hub. Quarry. Okay, this is doable. Okay, so everything under Husky forwarding right now is technically doable here. So we might do those, we might do some scouting. We'll see. And leave a ga garage. 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 Eric. Gar gar garage. Actually, you know what? I, never, I didn't look at this. I doubt there's any new things I can put on here, but I might as well look. Uh, yeah, no new engine, everything else is good, mud tires, high powered scout, yeah, no, always autonomous, engageable, it's probably the only thing missing, level 15 for that, oh, also level 14, I suppose, some cosmetic shit, hmm, uh, Yeah. That's basically up to date. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna go scouting. Damn, these lights are bright. Woo! Ugh. Getting stutters coming out of this garage. I do occasionally get weird little stutters with this game. But I read that is common in a lot of reviews. Or difference between these two gears. There's really no purpose to high gear. Oh my god. <laughs> Unless you just don't have a low plus. Low plus goes at like the same speed. But it's more fuel efficient, is what it feels like, generally. Oh, maybe it's about the same. 
Hey! Can't go wrong with a solid foundation. Good job, mercenary. You deserve a reward. I want whores. I want reward and whores. Well, I look like the Mafia. Dude, it was so weird playing Mafia def uh, Definitive. Because everyone sounded like me. <laughs> and I'm not used to that anymore. And there's little things about how I speak that I didn't notice until I he heard everybody in that cast speaking like that. Like what? Uh, I don't really know how to describe the main thing, but it's like this little octave change during some sentences. No, no, no. Like it's it's a subtle thing that can go into any. So it's an octave change, not a volume yeah. change. That can yeah. go into any sentence, really. Um. I can probably. I can't think of normal sentences to squeeze it into. But I can very easily demonstrate it with a stereotypical thing. Come on, Tyler, let's go get some pizza! Uh, well, you know, you you almost did the thing I'm talking about, but... Damn. Uh, let's see. You... Uh, I think it's from a movie where they go, You want to fight about it? And then... <laughs> it, what? The octave change is in the... In the fight, fight the about it yeah. goes, it, it just gradually steps up, like it has three different steps going up, and that is something that I I make that a lot, and I heard that a Come lot you in that game. Fight about it, you're gonna hit me in the toes. Just one that... one new thing I learned. No, <laughs> not not quite like that. Okay, okay. Uh, another, another thing, just this isn't a stereotypical thing. It'd be like, do we have a problem here? And then at the end of the sentence, you hear how it went up. Yeah. Not in volume, but in octaves. It took, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. started on one octave, and then it went up two more. And that, that just, it can go into so many different sentences, and I just heard it so many times in that game, and I realized, oh, I do that. I didn't know that was a New York thing. Well, good, good to know. Well, let's see. Got a situation. Lost a couple of hours of fuel in the river. Oh, God. I feel like we've already done something just like this. But this is in a completely different location. Oh, hi there! Hi! Um, well, if you want something to do with that crane, I just unlocked yep. something for that crane. Some I oil forgot. barrels. Across oil the dam. Oil barrels? Fuck! They're on the, sh they're on the shore. What's it called? It's an uh, unfortunate event. Alright. Alright, where is this barrels at? Oh my god, they're all over the fucking shore. Well, good thing I'm There's in There's only this three of them. Truck. Yeah. yeah. That's why I figured you might just want to go from here. Yeah. Alright, so I gotta deliver them from the shore to the warehouse, yeah? Uh, yeah. Alright, I'll do the first one nearest the shore and then I'll loop around back. Oh, is it dam time? Well, we're going across the dam. Yeah, the only fucking point to having a vehicle with a high, uh, not a high, but like a highway, uh, train, or a train. What's, what's the purpose? Uh, because this, this is a steady road, the, the highway trucks can go fast on it. Oh, oh, the highway wheels, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there, there's, eventually, apparently, we'll, we'll find some map that's, that's good for that, but... While we're on Michigan, I don't think I'm going to use anything other than mud tires. Because I've already tried things that are not mud tires, and they're just never quite enough on this map. I'll stick with my mud tires. Mud tires, the first game spin tires! It's <laughs> <laughs> spinning in the mud! What spin tires? I thought it was called Mud Runner. What? What is this contest? Okay, so I've done this. Yeah, because I have a current best time. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Um, alright. So I can assume I've done the other one, too. Hi, Rez. Hi, bye. Let's see. So... I'll probably leave the other task here for you as well. It's not like, um... Unlucky Fisherman? Yeah, it's just pulling a, a truck somewhere. That's all it is. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I, before we ended last time, I tried the north approach from, like, this side that we're on, and it does not work. You have to go from the side with the quarry. Maybe even around the south, I'm not sure. But, yeah. So that means I can do... I have a couple options here. I can get started on some of these husky forwarding missions, or I could go scouting. Which do you think I should do? Um, uh, what are the husky forwarding missions? Uh, their they're missions are just mostly just transporting things in the back of trucks to different locations. Um, I mean, that seems like a really easy thing to do. Yeah. Um... Two of these do look pretty favorable for doing future missions, mm -hmm. uh, because one is one will unlock. Uh, I'll need your help when we do this one. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll want your help for this one. Uh, one will give warehouse access and truck repair services, I guess, on this map, because we're we're building a logistics base, I suppose. And then another one will grant warehouse access on this map as well. I think I'll, I'll, I'll probably, yeah, okay. I'll get started on the one that unlocks warehouse access. Alright. Apparently, it's going to give access either in or near the quarry? Well, that sounds kind of useful. Well, quarry still having trouble. Main road connects them to the town. Completely shot. Can't get vehicles there. Get them what they need and we'll be sure to reward you. Okay. Alright. So I'll do that. So that needs a concrete slab and two service spare parts. So that's two different runs. All of this stuff, I think, well, not all of it, but the service spare parts can come from this service hub. Where, where do we get concrete slabs? Oh, from the warehouse right there. Well, that's actually real simple. It's actually real simple. All right. And clean? Is that uh, the way that you're feeling tonight? I don't think it's going to be very clean in a quarry. Is it hard to let it go? Um, it might be hard to get out. I think I'm gonna bring the Tatra for this. Because it's smaller, and it'll handle these turns easier. Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. It's still better than anything I'd have access to right now by default. Considering I mostly have access to trucks that do not have mud tires. I think they still don't have mud tires. Let me actually look. Where's the... The cat is technically not even default. That's a free DLC. So I shouldn't even count it, really. But... Uh... Well, it doesn't have... All-wheel drive. That's a problem. It does have... Oh, no, this one just doesn't have mud tires at all. Well, this one will be good because it has chain tires. So it'll be good in places that need chain tires. In fact, I'll just put chain tires on it right now. Because that's probably the main places that I'll use it. Otherwise, it's just working with off-road. Off-road could be okay. But... Eh. I have other trucks that work for that. Do I have any actual base trucks in my storage? No. The only base things I have are scouts. Is that another Baja Blast? Sure is. Damn. I'm a thirsty boy today. <laughs> you remind me of me as a teenager. Except with regular Mountain Dew. Yeah, I had regular Mountain Dew, yes. 
I love regular Mountain Dew. I still love it. I just hardly drink it. Because now I just drink tea instead. What are you, fucking old? No, but I don't want to die in my 30s. <laughs> And so I started drinking water and shit. And having other meals and pizza. No, oh, that came later. <laughs> I, I still ate pizza, chicken cutlets every day. Seems like a pretty balanced uh, meal plan if you ask me, you know? You eat the chicken, the chicken eats... The other things, eat the pizza, you know, pizza counts as a serving of vegetable, so, yep. technically speaking. For some reason, the average person can't agree on whether or not a fucking tomato is uh, a vegetable or not, or, f or like a fruit, which is stupid, but if I go by that logic, then I'm technically getting both. I've been over this before, right? About what a tomato actually is? Uh, we, I think we've talked about it yeah, a okay. long time ago. It's both! Ha ha! Ha ha. The fuck is this thing right here? <laughs> Rez, I have to show you what I just fucking did with the Macedon. Oh, I'll have to show you later, though. When you're, cl when you're closer, not doing anything. What? Well, you can tell me. <laughs> uh, so, uh... If you look at where I am right now, huh. right, follow backward along the shoreline, right? Eventually you'll, ca you'll, you'll cross a water bridge, right? So from that water bridge, I trace the outline of the river to get to where I am now. And if you if you go to see where I am, like I, I go to see that path in yeah. person, you're gonna be like, how the fuck did I do that? Because <laughs> even right now, I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? I discovered another contest. Somehow, oh, we missed a contest. What even is Where? this? It's over by the service Help hub? the community piece. operation, shipment of tools, local farm, make sure it reaches them in one piece. It's just something to bring tools somewhere. In four and a half minutes for gold, eight for silver. Um... That's confusing. Bring tools. Where does it even want you to get the tools? Just from the hub? And put it in anything? And where, where does it want you to bring it? A local farm. Oh, to the farm. Okay. Well, I can do that later. I have a fucking truck full of stuff right now. Sure. I'm sure you'll be busy with your two tasks that I've designated for you for a little bit. Is that, uh, that pulling the truck out of the river, that is not as simple as it seems. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's simple, but you really, you, it makes you take a very long path to accomplish it. down to the quarry to the quarry oh gosh I don't know why this quarry doesn't just have some sort of setup that makes it very very simple to get to the bottom but it doesn't Well, that's a way in, and that's a way out. Sure, let's do that. And the other things we need to bring are just right next to that. My mud tires have me swerving on the road. I 
I'm going to a fucking quarry. I don't know what we need a quarry for. There's rocks in the road. I love fucking quarry. Only a gallon a minute. That's the good Tatra. That's like a hundred minutes. That's a long time to drive. Two hours of driving. Ugh. No. We'd be doing a lot I more guess. of that. Your gas tank right now will cost three hundred and twenty dollars to fill. This is diesel, though. Oh, uh, probably more like four hundred dollars then. At least I've never heard of trucks using just normal gas. You you are correct. You're you're absolutely correct. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I'm pretty sure it's normal for truck drivers to go. Yeah, I spent two grand on fuel today. Because they had to fuel twice or yeah. five. Someone should make, you know, you know all those like infinite early access survival games. Someone should make one where this is the concept. Just gas. The base building is like you have to drive trucks around hmm. and stuff like that. I do a lot of truck driving in Arma back when I uh, drove the Epoch mod. Uh, yeah, but Arma driving is uh, <laughs> not really something Special. I would highlight. I did a lot of driving and flying and running when I played Arma 2 DayZ mod. Before Epoch was a thing. I quit around that time. By the time Epoch came out, I had been playing DayZ mod for years. Epoch sounded cool, but I was also just kind of bored of it by that point. And then I had like one singular really fun day of standalone and that's it. Where a bunch, there was just a bunch of players in like Electro or Cherno, I forget which one. And we spawned, we, we created like this coalition like, like we, we were the town, and we would kill any PKers that showed up and protected anyone that was looting. And it was, it, it was interesting. It lasted a couple of hours. It was mostly you know, I... peaceful, but uh, we, there were a couple fights with some just PKer groups. I wonder if we ever played uh, on the same app at the same time, just never came across each other. Uh, I don't know. Uh, did you play in the years before Epoch? Yes. Well, I mostly, for the most part, I spent most of my time on, like, one server at a time. Most of these were just base Cherno maps. Um... And generally speaking, the maps that I spent the most time on, I played on other servers as well, but the, the ones I spent the most time on were owned by my group. We actually owned the servers. Mm. So it would have... Likely, then. The, the chances would have been more that you would have had to visit our server. Mm -hmm. So... That's unlikely, then. Yeah, I don't know. I, we did go to some others sometimes. Because I, I would go to, like, official servers just to, like, get gear or something if I ever wanted it at certain points. Occasionally, we would go to Namalsk as well. Namalsk was fun. Towards the end, when we were really, like, well-established, we would just go to other maps specifically to, like, raid them and take over certain parts and just kind of post challenges like hey if you beat us we'll give you all this cool shit that's something that we did a lot of but generally speaking you would have had to stumble onto one of our servers whatever server we owned at the time 
if you wanted to encounter me. Which you might have done if you went to a lot of different servers. But I would assume that you didn't spend a lot of time there because we knew all the regulars. Yeah, probably not. If someone was a regular, we, we knew that person. We knew who it was. I remember when I, I started playing Daisy, we still had the infamous tent glitch. Where tents would break. Tent, tents would break and you wouldn't be able to access them, basically. And tents were where you stored everything. It was the only storage ah, device. That sucks. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Good times. <clears throat> Ever break your legs just going upstairs? Um, probably, yeah. Just, just because you forgot to not run up the stairs. Probably early on, yeah, but... I got used to it. I played this game yeah. all day, every day, like 22 hours a day, 23 yeah. hours a day. Eventually yeah. gets to the point where like a lot of things that like would damage you, you just like remember to not do it, just yeah. intrinsically. Oh yeah. Easily. I mean like you're trying to teach a new person and you're like, hey I broke my legs, what the fuck? You're like, wait how'd you break your legs going upstairs? Yeah, yeah, you just walk up, you're like, oh, yeah, oh, okay, oh, you can't run upstairs, I forgot that. that I just never, that. ever run on the firehouse stairs. <laughs> the firehouse stairs were infamous for killing players. That wasn't a DayZ thing, that was just an Arma thing. Yep. I've delivered the service spare tools to the quarry. Now I have to get the fuck out of here. And then go grab concrete slabs. Bring me the slab. So I tried to leave uh, the area where I pick up the oil from, and I have come across an issue where the path is not. <laughs> it, I can't get the mastodon through it. No, there's nothing I could do but to get the mastodon through. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my bandit. I'm driving my bandit to where my mastodon is, and I'm gonna recover. The I see it cargo from the back of it from above from where the uh yeah. is. Uh, whatever makes it work oh. and then and then in hardcore you would have to then just drive the mastodon back somehow yeah i think the intricacies of hardcore like that it actually does sound kind of neat, but what I don't like is how Hardcore very much limits the ways you can earn money. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like there should be some like way to earn money just infinitely to help deal with mistakes like that. Because you can incur infinite force. costs. Yeah, you, you can incur infinite, 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 infinite costs, like fuel and repairs, Losing vehicles. So you need a way to generate infinite money. Even if it's not efficient, you know? A way of infinite money would be great. Like, hey, you have an oil drill now. Let me take oil from this fucking refinery and go deliver it somewhere infinitely. Like, just make a new update where you can play as a pizza delivery guy. <laughs> and then just earn your money back just doing pizza delivery. And now we're just playing <laughs> You just drove past me. Hi. It's just, I find it so funny that the pizza delivery um, quest line is an important plot line. In, in what? In Death Stranding. Oh. Pizza delivery line, or quest line is one of the most important quest lines in the game. And it's so stupid because it takes the entire game to complete. That is kind of weird. It's because it, it requires you to pick up pieces from multiple locations. Hmm. And, and, like, literally all over the game. Gotcha. I want 
wonder. Look for old sweat. They released a new DLC for this game. It's a truck. I wonder if they will ever stop making DLCs for this game. No. Because yeah. Expeditions hasn't replaced this. It hasn't even tried. It's a completely different gameplay loop. It's not really as based on RPG progression, but it's not as simply level based as Mud Runner either. But it's very exploration focused one way or another. Woo! Concrete slabs are big! Yeah, I told you. Oh, wait. All right, way is marked. The way is marked. It was marked by those who have maps. One thing I find so funny about my this new uh, PC build that I've noticed mm -hmm. pretty consistently is that my graphics card is the coolest running part on the whole build, basically. <laughs> now, technically, for example, the Gen 4 SSD, when not being used, runs cooler. But That's not really a part you care about in that aspect. Well, it can be, because the Gen 5 runs hot. That's why I fucking tore the PC apart like I messaged you mm -hmm. to put that uh, heat spreader on Yeah, because I was wondering if it would be useful and I was looking into how, like how compatible the heat sinks and stuff were and then I saw the manufacturer's statement that the you can combine the graphene heat spreader with a motherboard heat sink so I started to look okay. into these kinds of spreaders that ship with all different kinds of these SSDs, and in fact, it is the norm that if it comes with a graphene or ceramic heat spreader, that combines with any motherboard heat sink. Well, yeah, 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 but what about the thermal pads, though? That was that was the issue I was uh, talking about. So long as it fits, it works. Okay. Um, now, if it comes with a heat sink on the the SSD, that does not combine. Not just because it doesn't fit. But because it, uh, it, uh, whatchamacallit, brain, words flying out of it. I'm doing this with all wheel drive off, that's a mistake. Uh, but not just because it doesn't fit, but just because it's not supposed to. Heat spreaders are supposed to either work on their own or be used alongside motherboard heat sink options. They're designed with that kind of stuff in mind. Because all the heat spreader does is it literally just spreads the heat more evenly across the surface to help it dissipate easier. When you combine that with a motherboard heat sink, no matter the type, what you get is more efficient cooling because it will be able to soak up the heat more evenly. Because, for example, most of the heat's just coming off the controller. So if you spread that out more evenly, then it's going to cool more efficiently. And it's been doing that. It's been cooling it roughly as much as the manufacturer's statement said it would. Because with just the MOBO heatsink, it was operating close to the thermal limit. Not quite there, but close to it. I could just probably go across here. 
You know what? Maybe that's not a good idea, actually. <laughs> that's actually more... That's less flat than I thought it was. Maybe in another game that idea would work. Not in this game. But yeah, technically speaking, even with this now heat spreader combined with heat sink option on my Gen 5 NVMe, it still runs hotter than my graphics card. 20. But that's because Gen 5s are just notoriously hot for the speeds they're trying to get with them. And because of that, if you look at a lot of Gen 5 NVMEs, they come with insane heat sinks on them, like that Crucial that I showed you like two weeks ago. Which is technically the, like the fastest Gen 5 in existence. And it comes with like a massive heat sink on it. Woo! Deliver. Yay! Materials will be able to start shipping out food in no time. Thanks for the help. The quarry is now a warehouse. I'm trying to click on it. Quarry loading zone. Storage zone cargo container. Interesting. I guess I could just back up and look at it. So what does it load? Cargo containers. Shipment of supplies and materials packed in a cargo container. Prepared for transport in any condition. It may contain anything from clothes to food rations. Okay. So it's like a generic thing. Did your game crash? No. Okay. Does so it have not in game anymore? Uh, I got two Steam notifications saying that you, uh... Your it library was open for family sharing. Mm. Hi, Tyra. It's been a I while. I had, like, a brief hiccup. And, you know, I'm still in game, I hope. I, I see you in game. I see you over there. Okay, good. You're probably just a client hiccup. Up. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Okay, I think I just I disconnected from Gilded for a second. Okay. Yeah, maybe you had a little hiccup, but you're still in the game. How's it going, Tyra? Matters, right. right? Alright, so that mission's done. Um, I'm gonna recover this truck. And then... I guess, well, I guess just deploy the same truck. Um, well, if it's on a timer, actually. Let's pull out the big boy. So I'm gonna go do that contest. The sideboard bed. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else special. Going good? That's good. How you been? What you been doing? I see you have successfully delivered one oil barrel. I did, and I just flipped my fucking bandit. Yeah. And my Macedon is stuck. I forgot how loud the Macedon was. The Macedon is single-handedly the reason why my engine volume is at 50%. <laughs> at 100%, everything else is balanced, but the Macedon is stupidly loud. Even at 50%, it's just like, ah, in my ears. Oy vey. This is probably overkill from what I'm doing, but it's a challenge, so I figured. Because I don't even know what I'm doing for the challenge. It just says that I need to deliver some shit. I don't even know how I get the shit. All I know is I'm probably going to the farm with the shit. Okay. To accept. Heavy burden activated. Three service spare parts. Okay, this is not gonna work. Four and a half minutes? No. Restart. No. I don't, I don't wanna restart, I wanna cancel. <laughs> Alright, well I'll just go change this and then come back. I'm actually going to need the thing that carries three for this. 
The sideboard bed that carries three. The long sideboard bed. I'm going to need that for this mission. First time I'm ever needing this. But here we are. All right. Uh, yeah. Woo, this thing is long. Damn. You want me to transport three things for this contest? Getting there won't be too hard in a Mastodon, and thankfully the Mastodon's long enough it can just carry three in a sideboard bed like it's nothing. Without the Mastodon, this would be much harder, because you would need some sort of a trailer to pull this off. Or just do multiple trips and accept the fact that you're not getting silver <laughs> or gold. I, I think I got silver on one mission and I just didn't care to do it again. Yeah. For me, this is just like doing a task, but I'll try to do the best that I can. All right. Four and a half minutes. Collect three service spare parts. I wonder if I could have collected the service spare parts in advance. That's a good question. Service spare parts. I'm carrying three. I've never carried this much cargo before, ever. 20 seconds on the clock, and I'm outie. Like... Trouty. You know what I've been wondering lately? What is the PS6 I mean, controller gonna look like? <clears throat> Uh, what what commercial was it? There was a, a PlayStation commercial where the the console was you open this little sphere and nano machines literally just fly into your fucking brain. I I have not seen that. Yeah, it was a commercial for the PlayStation Two. Oh god. I'll, I'll go look. I'll go look for it later. <laughs> I realize we're only halfway through this console generation, but my brain's wondering what the PS6 controller will look like and what it will have. Now some keyboard. <laughs> what do you think about the Edge? What is that? It's a PS5 controller, but it's fully modular, so you can just change out anything. So, like, if uh, uh, if you get stick drift, for example, or you know somehow other in another way your analog stick breaks, you could just easily pop it out, pop in a new one. And you could do that with pretty much all the buttons as well. As a concept, sounds neat. In practice, it probably fucking sucks because those components are probably cheaply made or like you're gonna run into some issues down their line because of some unknown problem you could never foresee. Well, the first thing is that the controller itself is more expensive. Yep. Uh, all the parts are semi-expensive and the actual analog six for the edge apparently develop stick drift a bit faster than just the normal PS5 controller. I forget if it's Microsoft or Sony who are currently having a lawsuit because of that, that issue, so... Not looking good for the edge. I don't know, but it's a neat concept, at least. Yeah. If you don't just want to replace entire controllers because of an analog stick. I recently just did a, uh, a battery uh, replacement in my PlayStation controllers. Woo! I did it! Yeah, my, my PlayStation controllers got so bad res that I would have to recharge them every, like once a day. Like I, would, like, I would use it for a few hours, have to recharge it. Use PS4? It for a few hours, go to sleep. Yeah. PS5? PS5? I don't know what you have. Yeah. I know, I have a PS4, yeah. Uh, I feel like... Their, their battery life isn't even supposed to be that high, to begin yeah. with. So that this doesn't surprise me. I know but if you now, use it for like a, like a day of gaming, I'm pretty sure they're only designed to last for like six hours of continuous use. Yeah, and that would be enough, right? But like it was literally dying within three hours, not even like being used really, just like fucking just sitting there. And then like I would turn it off. I'll start it like start watching YouTube. Turn off the controller, turn on the controller, change the video, whatever, 
off on off, off rate yeah over and over it would barely last like three hours that's bad so what'd you yeah, say you really, did i opened up the controller and yeah. i fully replaced the batteries i've got i got new batteries um online and then just uh put the batteries in and yeah. now fucking i can use the same controller for multiple days at a time Makes not sense. even doing the on off thing just fucking just leaving it on yeah Sadly, battery technology does not advance very quickly, and no. they do break. They, they can break from overuse, not enough use. They can break just from charging it in normal ways. They break just from charging it even the most perfect ways. Batteries suck, and that is sad. We need them fallout batteries. I think I will do some scouting. All right. Sounds Let's see like if a I can retrieve this cargo idea. without flipping myself again. Getting up there is going to be fun, but in this car, it's actually not going to be that bad. I can just skip most of the journey like this. Well, they don't fucking flip or something. I also check to make sure I've done this and then just go over there. Yeah, I'm gonna go to another map and do some scouting. Yeah. I'll get this finished up, hopefully. Uh, you, you have time, because you still have another task to do. And that one, while not like supremely difficult or anything, is going to be a little time consuming. Now, hopefully this thing has enough fucking fuel to really make this journey. Otherwise, I might need to drive a fuel truck out there. Because I'm not going to be operating on the most amount of gas to be driving across this entire zone. Ugh, and I already took suspension damage. This entire fucking zone. And then through a new zone to explore it. The fucking car that we like to use, the big one that's DLC, mm -hmm. uh, for scouting, that one can't even get across this zone to begin with. So, here's hoping the Chevy will at least sustain itself as long as I need it to. But. Whew. Hopefully I don't flip along the way. I feel like Does driving... Have the autonomous switch thingy magic? I have it. I have it. But sometimes you don't flip next to something that you can pull. Yeah. Uh, either way, I might need to bring, like, a fuel vehicle out there anyway, so... Shouldn't be excessively bad must be nice to be able to fuel yourself yeah didn't you say you found like a workaround for that though it, like it only works sometimes it doesn't always work oh okay Chevy gonna be a sad day when I no longer really use the Chevy. It's been here since the beginning of the game. Um, when playing Mafia 1 the other day, the graphics were pretty amazing for the remake, but it does have a bit of pop-in, and I could tell what held the game back despite it being a remake for 2020. The current console generation didn't release until the end of 2020. Yeah. So this was made to run on an Xbox One and PS4. An Xbox One sucks. Not only do the specs suck, but you know, it's also running a slow, and I emphasize slow, not even a faster mechanical hard drive. 
So that'll slow it down. Oh, speaking of, uh, you know, you know, like Supreme Ruler and stuff, right? Hmm? I was playing Galactic Ruler, which is like a space version. And one thing that I'm used to in these games is that when I go into like a location the first time or zoom in, there's like a little loading hitch as it gets all the assets in. First time ever playing this game on an SSD and there was no loading hitch. <laughs> I saw the loading pop in, but there was no like game freezes for a second while it loads in. I was like, God damn, I'm starting to wonder if they actually tested it on a hard drive now. Because I just thought that loading hitch was bad optimization. And I mean, in a way, it kind of is. But just putting it on an SSD fixed it. Well, there you go. I watched a video someone made about uh, PC parts. Certain PC parts and just like builds. Maybe it was motherboard related, I forget. I commented about the build that I made and then I got a bunch of replies that some of them were asking questions, some of them focused on certain things, but most of them were like, you, it's like you are working with these specs and you're just putting your OS on an SSD for the first time? <laughs> what? I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's like, look, you gotta make things work. And I made them work. Loading hitches were just a normal part of life. All right. Uh, Rez, I need daytime. Um, I tried both it's, paths that what, are available to me over here, and what, they're not working. What time so of day is it for you? Uh, evening. Evening? Is this evening? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, it's, it's still bright. Uh, I, need, I need more light because I'm literally driving where I'm not right. supposed to. Oh, yeah. Afternoon. Whatever 1644 is, translate that for me. Go. 444. That's surprisingly not late. Alright, does morning work for you? Yes. Thank you. So I can make it noon. Morning is good. Okay. Because I, I need time to get over to where I'm going anyways. Oh, I see. Because I need to be able to see the water line where the water and the earth is. Because I'm yeah. literally driving along the edge. I, am... oh, I just had to freeze. Oh, yeah, I'm frozen. You're frozen? Yep. I'm not frozen. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I think an, occas an occasional freeze or stutter is pretty normal in this game. Yeah, no, it was like a, like a hard freeze. Like, my screen went white. Oh. Oh, like the not responding white? Mm hmm oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. Also, I heard my your audio, like, uh, like garble out for a second, too. Well, that sounds like a PC, then. PC yeah. thing. When was the last time you updated your drivers? Uh, when I fucking transferred everything over to the new case. Well, when was that? Like, what? Two weeks, three weeks ago? No, it was like four weeks ago. There's been a new driver since then. Ugh. The, this new driver on my old PC, um, on my new on the new PC, it works generally fine, and I've heard a lot of good things about it from like newer hardware. On my old PC, it makes like driver crashing crunch noises. Any time that I, like, full screen a video, for example, and then I move over any element of the UI, it's just, like, miniature freezes the computer with, like, that driver crunch noise. Mm -hmm. And it's so disorienting. It doesn't actually crash anything, so I haven't bothered resetting it. Just wait till they release a, a new recommended driver and then update them. I just, I find it funny. At first, I thought it was the chipset drivers. So I did like a clean reinstall of everything, but it still happens. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's just the the graphics driver. I am literally halfway through my fuel tank and I've just made it like I'm just now reaching the end of this zone. I'm not even <laughs> in the next zone yet. 
So that's fun. Hopefully I find I a gas station. If I, if I played stupid like I usually do, I would have been done already. But no, I had to try to play by the rules and get back onto a road and drive out of here on a road. I mean, you don't need to drive on a road. This is snow runner. I was gonna say mud runner. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. I haven't mud seen runner. any. I haven't seen any snow yet. You want to go to Alaska? No. Right, so this is the contest I have done. All right. I'm finally gonna hit yeah 11 out of 22 gallons. Moving over to the next map. Holy shit. Yep, 11 out of 22. There you go. I hope to God that there's like a gas station over here or something. Or God, an, I can't save you now. An accessible garage. I mean, if I'm just over here recovering to a garage, should function maybe? You have to find the garage first. Oh. Damn. Drummond Island, Michigan, USA. I can't see shit. Woo! Here's your pay. This never happened. Understood? So yes, sir. Well, I found a task. I'm just gonna go for the watchtowers proper. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get to this fucking. You cannot go across the river to the north. Direct. I already tried that. No. So you either have to somehow skirt along the edge, but it's very steep. I've already been there. Or you go from the south. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come from the south along that marshland. And then pull it that way. Yeah, that's probably the safest way to do it. Oh, this is a big bridge. This is a big red bridge. Probably a task area, task area. Hmm. These aren't rocks in the road. This is wood in the road. Hello, mud. Maybe this is mud runner. All right, that fucking thing is literally across a river. So that is not like the first place I'm going. We're going to go this way. This is a big river. Man, the road really just gives out once you get to this map and then it's all just <laughs> fucking mud everywhere. What is this? What is this flag? Why is this a flag? What does a flag mean? I'm not familiar with flags. <laughs> As my child would say, hey, Rez, you're a flag. <laughs> it's a task. Scout recommended abandoned ship. Little oh, birdie told me ship lost ashore. <gasps> Boy was interested. Retrieve it. Spark your interest. <clears throat> Explore abandoned ship. Interesting. It's, it's a weird task is what it is. I guess I'll accept task. it. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept it, but I'm not going to do it. Scout task. Might as well accept every task the moment we find it. I already drove past one, but it's because I didn't drive up to it. Because I knew it was a task and I didn't care at the moment. Because I'm running on limited gas to begin with. Alright, this will... This will... Will this do? I don't know. I think it will. Just take this next right up here. I have some spare fuel, so the fact that my fuel is low doesn't mean too much just yet. 
I forget how much spare fuel this thing has, actually. It has... 11 extra gallons. That's, that's not bad. That's good. It's half a tank. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Though, potentially, a fuel truck here is going to be handy. Woo! I'm approaching my first watchtower. Ooh, this is deep, 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 deep. This is like a river. Going to low gear. Ugh. Which reminds me. You know how many times in like movies and stuff you hear someone say, let's shift this baby into high gear? Yeah, no, that's awful. That's I don't understand. <laughs> high gear fucking sucks. Why would you want high gear? So, so the different terminology, high gear on a regular motor vehicle means just get fast enough to get to the upper limit of your transmission. And, and, and these trucks means something fully different. This place is interesting. Blech. Or how about the phrase, uh, put the pedal to the metal? Cars don't have metal underneath the pedals anymore. Honestly, they haven't had that for many, many decades. Well, this is a treacherous little scout path right here. I'm not even sure if it was necessary. A lot of off-road to get to these towers, so yeah, probably gonna need a fuel truck. Unless I magically discover the fucking garage with this first tower. Just getting out of here is gonna be fun enough. I'm down to four main gallons, so... Woo, that's mud. This is a fucking journey getting out here. I don't think it would be very hard for something that's not a scout to do this. Whew. Fucking watch me. Possible, probably. Not easy. Um, I see upgrade locations. I see tasks. But that's about it. See a service trailer. There's a dock out here and a big ass cargo ship that probably doesn't move. That's cute. You want to do some mud wrestling? All right. Well, now the idea is going to be to get to a road. Certain parts of this are not going to be discovered by the uh, just normal exploration. So, like the normal watchtower, so those will have to be more specifically discovered. Alright, so I'm down to three gallons. I still have the spare 11, so it's fine. But definitely... Gonna need fuel here. I don't even know if that is gonna work, actually thinking about it because I don't know if I can just go to my garage on another map I guess I can yeah I can I've done that before it's not the most obvious thing in the world <laughs> holy shit This path is treacherous. Alright, here we go. Oh, 
here we go. It's actually easier to get out of this area than it was to get in. It's probably intentional. There you go. I have the missing truck. Nice. I have one gallon of fuel. Alright. I'm essentially... Oh, I am out of fuel. <laughs> Time to refuel. Fuel up. Six gallons, apparently. It's actually 11, but... There you go. I'm making it back to the road A-OK. -okay. You know, it's funny, in real life, uh, diesel trucks, if you do that to them, it's really bad. Um, in fact, you have to open up your hood to get it running again. What, letting it run out completely? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Uh, you, what you have to do is you have to re remove your oil or your fuel filter from the engine, and it can be located either on top or on bottom. If you're on bottom, get fucked. You're going to have to lift the truck up and figure out how to get to it, because sometimes they're tucked in there. Um, and then you basically fill it up with gas and you put it back onto the truck. So like, it's a screw thing. So you like, you have to hold this thing full of fuel in your hand and screw it with one hand back into position. Yeah. And then you have to fucking let it sit there for several minutes while the fumes bleed into your system a little bit. Right. So you're waiting there for like 30, 40 minutes for it to bleed through. And then you start turning it over, or the truck over a little bit. Like you do one turn and you turn it off real quick. Eventually you'll get enough fuel into the system where you can finally actually turn it over and get running again. All right. So uh, don't don't let diesel engines uh, burn all the way out. All right, I'm gonna go to my garage over here. And I'm going to get a fuel truck and drive it out here because I don't have the fuel to explore the whole damn thing without bringing more fuel. Mm. What would work for that? The bandit maybe? Would the bandit work for that? The bandit does have mud tires now. So yes, I think it will work fine. Stock medium, extended medium, high power medium, advanced medium. Hmm. So ex advanced is just high power and extended put together, basically. This isn't really that heavy of a truck, I think, so I'll just go with extended medium. Sounds logical enough. What's on here? Trunk repair supplies, maintenance frame add-on. Do we even need that? Or do I want a fuel tank? But that barely carries any more fuel. So not terrible. Yeah, maintenance frame add-on will work fine, I think. No real changes to make. Maybe this, but this is mostly cosmetic. Factory parking lights. Chrome parking lights. Small parking lights. Side chrome parking lights. I see. Um, let's go with these ones, I guess. They're all like the same price, too.
I like how this one looks the best. Uh, rims. I can paint my bandit. I've never painted it. Guess I can do that. Paint in mind like that big Germany flag looking uh, scheme. Yeah. Alright. I think we're good to go. I need to now, once again, drive across this entire zone. <laughs> Although this time I can't take the little scout shortcut. Just gotta make sure not to flip it. Plenty of repair parts on this bitch. All right. Got a path marked. This carries 40 gallons in the tank. But I got like 300 and something in the back. Was this the vehicle that I thought was easier to drive in first person? I think it is. It always has all wheel drive and differential lock. I've never seen this have mud tires on it and it looks far more formidable. Do you have mud tires on your bandit yet? Uh, have we unlocked it? Yes, I think it's newly, uh, well, are you level 12 yet? Uh, let me see, da, 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 da. where can my level at? Uh, F4? I am level 11 still. Okay, I think it might have been from level 12, potentially. I took suspension damage in the same spot on a different vehicle. Yeah, I find the bit bandit so much easier to just drive in first person. Just because it's a big open window and you don't now have the entire truck in front of you. <laughs> so you finished your task. I finished my task. All right, what do you do next? Let's find out. I mean, I could <sighs> scout with you. Yeah, um, let me just look to see if any of these other things work well for you. I know there's one thing I definitely want your help on, mm -hmm. but nothing stands out exactly in the tasks. Yeah, not yet, anyway. Oh, that's interesting. Apparently, there will be sources of wood in Drummond Island. Yeah, you could come to Drummond Island if you want. Just bring a scout. There's... I'm going for the watchtowers, but there's a lot of places I saw that don't get discovered by the watchtowers. So you could help me discover those, and you could go for upgrades, and you could go for um, unlocking the tasks while I just focus the watchtowers. So bring bring a scout. Um, I guess it doesn't... Well, I guess it, it might matter which one, because I don't know if the big truck, the DLC one, will actually make it there. Uh, but once you are there, I'm gonna have this fuel truck here to keep us fueled up. Do you want me to use the, uh, the DLC scout? Um, I just don't think you can actually make it there. The Chevy, I know, can make it there. But the DLC scout, I don't know if it can make it there. Okay, so I should bring the, uh, the regular scout then? The, yeah, the Chevy with upgrades might be the best bet right now. Alright, suspension raised. Tire. Mud, 38 oh. inches. Sorry. Oh, chain tires. I should bring chain tires? No. I mean, you can, but that's for ice. Okay. I would just bring mud. To this place, remember, this place we're going to has a lot of dirt and mud. More dirt and mud than the path that you take to get there, which is going to be mostly road. Alright, then I am ready to go. Alright. See you there. I'm going to. I've already discovered a certain amount. I'm going to leave the fuel thing at an intersection. You could just kind of go there when you need fuel and then tell me. Um, there is one, at least one task along the road there to discover that I kind of skipped past, but it also might be in, well, might be in range of a watchtower, but you still have to activate it. But there are definitely some upgrades already found. 
There's a port that is not automatically discovered, so that's there. Ow! That hurt. Good thing I have repair on this truck as well. I don't know why this fucking road is so blocked by... I don't know, just these weird things in the middle. Do you drive your bandit, by the way, in first or third? Um... First. Yeah, it's, it's no, just... Third, it's, third, third. Oh, okay. It's so much easier in first. Arms flying around a side, which can be disabled. I wonder what flipping over looks like in first person. Um, I think I've done it. I forget. But my god, it's so much easier to drive this thing in first person. Specifically this. I love how surprisingly, like, high quality the mirror is. I mean, it's got insane, like, Euro Truck levels of popping, but... Other than that, it's surprisingly high quality. Whew. When you do go, um, the path to Drummond Island, or wherever the fuck I'm going, I think that's where I'm going, um, there's a little scout path you can take to skip part of the, the main road going there. I see. Just in case you haven't seen. Have you already used it? I used it on my scout. I'm not using it on the bandit. Because the bandit can flip easy. Have you already passed it? Um... I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah, yeah, I passed it. Yep, I see it. You basically just get to avoid this stretch of road I'm taking right now. Mm -hmm. And just, like, go over. It's pretty easy, I just did it on the Chevy. It's, it feels a little slow, but it's not too bad. Because this stretch that I'm taking right now is a lot longer than it seems. tree in the road. I still wish we could somehow, like, clean up the roads. Got some gravel down. Yeah, clean them up, fix them up. It would give some nice purpose to highway tires, if you could do that. Mm -hmm. And it would add even more RPG progression. That would be completely optional. Do you know what game has RPG progression based around fixing roads? Death Stranding. Death Stranding! <laughs> wow, it's almost like it like gets mentioned every single time. <laughs> Holy shit. Never would have thunk it. I'm excited for the next one coming out. Oh, there's another one being made? Yep. Oh. They already mm -hmm. have an announcement trailer. Actually, they got two trailers for it. I still don't know if I'm gonna try it or not. It was DK described those like infinite enemies to me. Um, yeah. Those those not... those ones that you're like not able to hurt or not supposed to yeah. hurt or something. Yeah. And that just sounds really weird. I don't, I don't like that kind of thing. If you look at it more in a horror aspect, it's fine. It just it's some, the, the the core gameplay loop is a little monotonous, but the story is really good. Like this isn't monotonous. This is, yeah, I mean, like, this is a different kind of monotony. This is a, uh, a, a struggle of monotony versus just, like, brain dump of monotony. Yeah. Because you can't, you're, we're not brain dumping doing this. This is more like you're getting into a, um, a zone and then maintaining it kind of monotony. Is your mic all the way by your mouth? You sound a little quieter. I accidentally pu mo push a load side to the side, so okay. I fixed it just now. I was like, I can go adjust your volume, but I feel like this is a temporary issue. Yes, yes, testing. Hello, hello, yes. hello. Yes, yes. We're good.
forgot what my fucking horn button was. I made it H in Mafia. Oh yeah, Mafia Definitive, by the way, this the story takes one day. It took me one day. It took me like eight hours to beat. Really? And you can make it even shorter because there's an option to skip non-essential drives. Most of the game is really just driving around the city, having dialogue and going between mission locations. And you can skip all non-essential drives, which is most of them. Would probably make the game four or five hours. Yikes. So for full price, $40? No. Maybe as part of the $60 bundle where you get all three games, sure, but even then, probably better off on sale anyway. The driving was fun though. The like the first mission has you driving around as a cabbie. And honestly, I just wanted to keep driving around as a cabbie and I wanted to earn money, but the game doesn't have like money progression. That's not a thing. When you do a mission, you just go into the armory and get guns. Which it doesn't always tell you that you can do, by the way. Okay, yeah. So when you do show up here, there's a mud wrestling... Um, is the name of it? It's a task. You can pick that up. Okay. Everything on the north side is not going to be picked up by watchtowers, so that's all explorable. And there's some upgrades already there. I'm gonna be leaving this bend at a crossroads for the time being. Part way down the road. This banded in mud tires works really well, by the way. Way better than it worked with off-road tires. <laughs> when going over dirt and mud, you basically don't even have to think about it anymore. Because it's a pretty light truck, is what it feels like, for its size and the wheels it can have. It's still pretty tall and can probably flip easily, but I don't really have to struggle very much on dirt or mud anymore, especially with an always-on, all-wheel drive and differential lock. Well, that felt safe. The next solo game I'm going to try is uh, an MMO, an Asian MMO, that grind. Um, what's the word for it? It it already shut down, but it was like brought back at the same time already. Gotcha. So I don't know how good it's actually gonna be. It's not very popular, but it's an MMO. Kingdoms of Amalur grows. I don't know what game that is. I don't know. What's it called? Uh, it's called Eden Eternal. Never heard of her. The fucking menu for the refueling confuses me sometimes. Oh, it must be nice to just be able to refuel whenever you want. Not to jank it. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Alright. So, that's good. Chevy's all fueled up now. Um, do some repairs, too. Maintenance frame add-on, bandit, all. Chevrolet, all. There you go. So my Chevy's fully fueled back up. I'm just gonna leave the bandit in the road over here by the Forged by Sea task, which I've already taken that one. There's others, like there's one called Ten Hut, which seems to be to probably construct a bridge that will lead to the port, actually. Seems to be what it is. There's a sideboard trailer over here, so I'm assuming that that's what that's for. But I see a path through the river by an upgrade that leads over there anyway, so exploration shouldn't be too hindered. Honestly, first person in the off-road wouldn't be too... the Chevy wouldn't be too weird, but... 
Also wouldn't be the greatest anyway. I have arrived. Woo. All right, you want me to collect mud wrestling? Yeah, get the mud wrestling, and then there's like a, you can see there's like a task area nearby there. You can explore that as well. And then there's an upgrade. There's a ten hut mission, and there's the port to the northeast that's worth exploring because there's no watchtowers that will discover that. All right, mud wrestling. It's Ted from the Odd Repair Place. Some city folk thought it'd be nice to get back to nature. Surprise, surprise, they got stuck in the mud. I complain, but I make most of my income off these fools. Can you help me? And it's probably a recovery vehicle. No, we're, we're not doing it. We're just activating it. Yep. It would be nice if you could just do that from wherever the fuck you want, but... Oh, well. It is what it is. Alright, uh, so you want me just to do some scouting? Uh, yeah, just to the east of what you just picked up, there's clearly something that looks like a task area. If you could okay, go see so what's there. It looks like the containers on the ground or whatever. I'm not sure. But just get that colored in for the map. And then cool. get the upgrade to the east of that, and then go check out the port to the northeast. Alrighty. That would be ideal. Where is your refuel air? It's in the crossroads. You'll pass by it when you go to the upgrade. I'll, okay. I'll give you a refuel Let's once see. you get over there. Let's see. Oh my god, this road is so hey, muddy. Hey, I successfully refueled twice. Not having. Well, I had to tap it, but. Oh, you refueled off my vehicle without me needing oh, to do anything? No, 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 off of off of my uh, spare, my spare oh, fuel. Oh, okay, nice. Like I would, I still have, I was, but I would still have issues even refueling from myself. Mm, at that time. Okay. It was still the tap, not the not the full press. So there's obviously still some shenanigans going on. I discovered a service trailer. I did not intend to discover it, but I did discover it. It's a fix them up trailer. Yeah. That will one day be sold for money in my pocket. But not this day. My, at my labor. Well, I might grab this one. Who knows? Woo! 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 I saw the fucking thing about to yell at me for differential lock. I just started <laughs> spamming the Q button, like, ah! Like, did I get it? I don't know if I got it. Keep just spamming Q. Yeah, I just caught up to that part. <laughs> uh... No, you're not You're not where I am. I I'm going off... No, 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 no I'm on the video stream, on the stream, on the stream. Oh, yes, yes, okay. <sighs> I didn't know you were watching it. Yeah. I always do. I don't know that. How do y'all see think I respond to chats? You almost never do. Unless I Listen, prompt it. I try to sometimes, okay. Oh, this is deep. Uh, oh, this will be fun, alright. Low gear, nice and slow. Show task, the silent observer. You're probably tired of hearing how bad the weather's been, but let's be honest. It's been feathering your nest. One of our observation points went silent in the last storm. Can you head there and see if it's okay? All right. It'd be funny if it's observation that you've already done. What do you mean? All right. I said it would be funny if it was an observation uh, post that you've already done. Or just um, a separate location on the map. I, I don't think they mean the watchtowers by that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Man, I am a thirsty boy today. Oh, good God. Your teeth are going to hate you today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that observation task is nearby. It is, in fact, not at the... It's not at the watchtower. It's up a hill past the watchtower. I okay, could technically do it right now. 
Also, the abandoned ship ones over here as well. I guess they're kind of next to me and in the way anyway, so I guess I could do them. Um... Theoretically. <sighs> it's literally at the, like, by the watchtower I'm going to right now. So. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I activated it. Yeah. Either way, doing it later is, doesn't hurt anything. It just takes a little extra time. Inefficiency in my game? Cousin Ooh, Cletus! Called. That's a mission. Cousin Cletus. That guy sounds like he fucks his sister. Wouldn't you? I mean, she's cute. Do you need a refuel? I need a refuel. Let me see if I can do it. Okay. Tappy worked. Nice. Actually, can I refuel my um my spare fuel too from here? Yes. Oh. Should I do that as well? Target. Maintenance frame add-on. When you're done with that, uh, go take 10 hut, then grab the upgrade, and then check out to the northeast where that port is. I'll go try this observation mission. If I flip, well, good God. <laughs> There's no garage here yet. Let's do low plus. Just for stability. Look at this mud pit. Oh my god. That's fun. Oh. Okay, get the upgrade, then head to the. Also, grab port. 10 hut. Grab a 10 hut. That looked very dangerous, what I just did. Oof. This is a very treacherous path. And I don't know how coming back down is going to go. <laughs> this is usually why I don't do them when scouting. But it'll make for just an adventure. Just take a shortcut. Just, just line, your, line your truck up. Press W and close your eyes. I don't want to close my eyes because I don't <laughs> want to flip. <laughs> I made it here. Glad to hear the observation points. Okay, that would have been a nightmare to fix with this terrible weather. I want to enjoy the view from the ridge out there before the weather gets bad again. A good nighttime view. I can see the bridge that I drove in on from here. Actually, is a pretty decent view here. I wonder if your vehicle was still over here, if I would have been able to see it. Mm. Wonder how good that render distance is on another player's car. And All right. Greetings. I'm Cam Smith from the Army Corps of Engineers. We're, ca we're using, using our own guys for this, but I gotta tell you, your bridge prowess is legendary. You got one that needs help. Can you show us how it's done? Ten hut. I'm going back down this hill on pure low gear, just so I don't flip or drift or slide or anything. Seems to be a good enough speed. Did you remember to? With the brakes. What the fuck? No, it's too distorted to be intelligible. Was it really? Yes. <laughs> I said do the brakes. Uh, no brakes. No brakes necessary. Okay. Only throttle. It's not too bad going down if you limit yourself to low gear speeds. But I'm through half of my main fuel tank already. Already. Woo! And now I've flipped. Oh gosh. But autonomous winch means fix. All right, sweet. Oh, it's, tr it's trying to flip again. It's this fucking mud pit. Getting through the mud pit going up was way easier than going down, actually. <laughs> that thing just wants to unsettle your fucking car. No damage, though. 
Oh, did you see the uh, did you see the angry cops video where the the cop supervisor takes he picks up his drunk chief and throws him onto the hood of his car? Yeah, I saw. Like he he's like boss, you gotta go home. Boss, you gotta go home. Boss, yeah. you gotta go and home. Then, boss, and then and yeah. then after pulling him off the hood of the car, he looks at the car for dents. It's like <laughs> shit. Do I have to do paperwork? All right, let's see here. I'm gonna have to come way out of here for this. I think I think there's some more drama behind it because I think that cop knew who was like being arrested or whatever being served, and so he's trying to like, hey, let, let me just talk. Let me just talk to him first. Come on, let me just let me let me just resolve this piece. Let me just talk to him. Oh, boss, you've been drinking. Get the fuck out. Go. Maybe. I'm gonna go to the next watchtower after this one. But I'll need to give myself a refuel to pull that off. Well, not entirely, but this is more convenient to do the refuel now so that you can refuel before I actually have to move this thing somewhere. Oh yeah, that's right. There was technically, uh, there is technically another task over here as well, the forged by right. the sea. I found an engine for the Kenworth Pacific. Uh, we don't own any of these vehicles, so engine for vehicles we do not have. All right, let's. I don't see. think I'm gonna do that task right now, because it says something about pulling something. There's probably like a scout trailer involved. I imagine. I'm not sure. It says to just explore, and I'm very close to it, so I don't know. I guess I could... It's no harm to literally just back up and go over there. I have enough fuel to do that and then still get fuel. And not to mention, the bandit could probably make it over here just fine as well. Um... Despite the fact that I have no visual damage, well, no technical damage, I think I have visual damage because one of my headlights isn't turning on. Oh, that's cute. My right headlight is off, uh, and that's the side that I flipped onto. Does it actually change your lighting? Ah, uh, yeah, it's much brighter on the left now than the right. This is some deep fucking water. They brought the snorkel. I didn't need it. I do have a snorkel though, yeah. It's not the greatest snorkel. Because I need to be level like 14 or something for that. Or 15 or 16, I forget. But it's a snorkel. Well, I'm at this ship. You have been promoted, rank 13. Woo! Nice. Uh, saying contents of this crate is purely of sentimental value. Anyone asked, I'd appreciate our, if our little enterprise would go unmentioned if you get my meaning. We, uh, we deal in a lot of, like, illicit things, don't we? Yeah. Feels like it. Are we the baddies, Rez? Of course not. I've got skulls all over my car. That's fine. You know how many skulls the military has? Not too many, hopefully. The ones that do get skulls uh, end up on angry cops. Oh, gosh. Almost flipped. Dude, the, the, all the branches of the military, because they all have separate ones, their, their public affairs offices are not having a good fucking year. Yeah. Because the Navy had one where uh, a sailor there took a photo of, wrote the phrase IE ass on his gloves. Yeah. And then the Army had one where they're taking pictures of dudes deploying. One of the deploying dudes had a Nazi patch on the back of his helmet. Nice. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Port has been scouted. There's nothing here. Okay.
Bez, there's wolves. I heard a wolf. I heard about woo woo woo. That's uh that's actually a like a miscellaneous completionist thing. There's like wolves on every single map that you can go find. It's not like a marked thing, but it is a thing. Oh wait, like there's physical wolves on the map. Yes. And I can find them. Yes. And then what? That's it. You can just see them. There's there's no alert or achievement. It's just you can find these wolves, and they are mm. physical, and they are there. Well, if you're curious to see a wolf, there's oh! one northeast of the, uh, the port. My engine is not happy. Just smashed into something. Good thing my... Refuel vehicle has everything. Has repairs as well. Uh, from there, if there's nothing else over there to explore. Oh, that's cute, Rez. I found the wolves. Uh, what it is, is it's a uh, glowing eyes. Here, I just took a screenshot. And then when you drive close to the eyes, they disappear. Yeah, I've seen that. something like that in real life before, but it wasn't wolves, it was coyotes. Might as well use this, huh? If I can? Maybe I can't. Well, regardless. <clears throat> um, okay. Oh, you motherfucker. Who, me? Yes, you. But I did. You took the fuel out of my car and not the fucking <laughs> maintenance frame add on. <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Oops. You just literally <laughs> completely drained out the actual fuel tank. <laughs> the absolute fix. motherfucker. Easy fix. I can't believe you. How dare you. <laughs> how could you have done this? Uh, how the fuck did they get over here? Um, uh, um there's, by the river, there's a, a path. Before the bridge. Like the north of the bridge. The bridge that would be built. You just come back across that. I'm moving the bandit up a bit to refuel my off-road right now, but you should be able to make it here. And I'm gonna uh, bring it towards... I'm gonna bring it by the crossroads where Cousin Cletus is. Well, I head back there now, so... I and then you can go grab Cousin Cletus. And then... I think Cousin Crit Leaves wants to grab me. Let's see. Refuel. Target Chevrolet. Maintenance frame add on. Fuel. Target repair. I fixed up the engine and hopefully the lights all work now. Now I'm gonna bring the bandit to that other crossroads and leave it there. Oh my god, the bandit with mud tires gets through everything, man! It doesn't struggle, like, even remotely. the side of the road here. Uh, this does not have beacons. Alright. Uh, 
Uh, nope, that other thing does not turn on. In fact, two of my headlights are not working now. I think it was the engine crash. Now I'm functioning on just the bottom lights. Which... I think these are the brights. I don't know. But they're all I have to light my way. Yeah, I flipped my card. I'm, I'm completely stuck. God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm not sure if I can assist easily with the bandit. Um, Probably not. You can, the... you can try to unflip yourself or yeah. I. you can wait until I get this other watchtower and see if I luckily discover the garage because we still haven't discovered the garage. Mm -hmm. There's two watchtowers left. But up to you. I will just attempt to recover myself until you find the garage. Oh. Deep mud. <clears throat> What is this? Oh boy. Um Well, this might change things. Oh god. Okay. Um Ha. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to need a different path. There's a bridge here that's not built. But the mission to build the bridge is also not here. So it's probably uh, story based then. Yeah, something like that. There's another path. I do see another path. But I'm gonna I have to have to go across a river to kinda find. I just have to turn around a little. And then take that path. I have successfully recovered myself. Hey. It was no easy task, and I broke the shit of my car doing it. Uh, I can repair you. I have, I brought the service attachment, so I have repair stuff here. Alright. Your roof attachment should also have some. Uh, I have no lights. No lights? Yep, repair. Uh, it's about to be morning. I'll just speed it up. Okay. It was, it was like an hour and a half away from being morning. Oh boy. Well, this is gonna be fun. In a scout. Low gear only, please. If I flip here, there's nowhere to winch, so... Yeah. Good thing I have a snorkel! Oh my god, this is terrifying. What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, it's my runner one. Not in a Chevy, it's not. <laughs> Up a hill. Whew. I still remember when spin tires released. And everyone in my Dolby group was playing it. Good old Dolby Axon. If Dolby, Dolby still worked, if they didn't, didn't shut that down, I'd still be using it. I never would have switched. Are you? I never even knew it existed. Yeah. 
It was just the audio was so good. Stereo surround sound simulation. The quality was amazing. I don't think it was VoIP. I don't think so. I think it was some proprietary. <laughs> I think I think they used more like actual server space. Yes. VoIP is kind of that based is. on all the users that are in it. And the more users you put in it, it begins to massively degrade in quality. So Gilded, Discord, anything that uses the kinds of systems that this does. If you get a very large amount of users in one chat, the voice quality will degrade. No. Woo. I wonder how the VoIP protocol has changed over the years, or if it's changed at all. Probably changed a bit, but... Right. Take fuel from bandit engine tank. Okay, got it. It's the service part. The service part. Not from the bandit. From the bandit. From the bandit. I like how you, right. you clearly thought you did it correctly the first time. <laughs> and then you didn't even think to mention that it was out of fuel. You uh, I didn't leave my car. I, the engine I didn't tank. leave my car. I did not leave my car. You could still see the tank that you're filling from. Yeah. So you would have known that it was out of fuel. If it makes you feel better, I just refilled it for you. I put two gallons in the, the main tank for you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Watchtower open. Woo! Yeah. And I'm going to pick up Cousin Cletus. There's an upgrade down here, there's another task down here, and there's another way to get to Island Lake down here. So, Res, am, I, am I driving to the Cousin Cletus uh, mission marker? Uh, yeah, you can unlock that. And then there's a whole bunch of things worth getting down here as well. A lot um, of tasks. Already there. And an upgrade. I'm going to... I think to... my Mastodon would do just fine here. Well, yeah, it would do fine just about everywhere. Naturally. It's a mastodon. I think this is a path. I'm pretty sure this is a path. There's only one tower remaining to get, so... I'm gonna do my best. And ideally, we find a fucking garage? Like, hello? Did you just put the garage as fucking far away as possible? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Maybe Island Lake approach would have been better. Who knows? Hey, I'm Chris from Dyson. You ever trust somebody and they lose cargo? And now you might get fired? <laughs> well, I'm not saying that somebody is my cousin Cletus. But I'm not saying it's not Cletus. Can you find my lost cargo? Alright. God damn it, Cousin Cletus. God damn it. Gosh All dang right. it. Dang nabbit. Alright, so I'm going to where you just were and collecting the upgrade? Uh, yes. And every single task over here. What's the quickest way of doing that? I guess come, yeah, they're probably that way. Oof. Oh my god. There's a log station here for wooden planks, as well as. Oh, it's all spread out. What the hell? 
Yes. Uh, on my car radio just now, I heard a song and it mentioned the lyrics "spin tires." Oh, okay. It's like, and I would sit here and spin tires again. Aside from the radios that are at locations, I don't have the in-game radio on. Uh, Fun oh, fact: it it there's an in-game radio station that is live. Oh. That if is you there human, is it... yeah, like there's like that one of the radio stations in this game actually projects a like a podcast that the developers host or whatever. It's cute. Or so, someone related see, to the game. See, see, that's cute. And I learned this because I was watching someone stream it or whatever, mm -hmm. and he was listening to the radio, and they started talking about his stream. But at first he didn't he didn't connect the dots because it makes no fucking sense that that would even happen, and then, and then they they he, he like messes up and then they just start accurately describing what he does and he's just like oh that's weird that's so coincidental that they would just talk about that right when that happens to me, and then after a short like ten second delay off the radio in the game you just hear. Yeah, no, you're live right now, buddy. You're you're live on the radio right now. Insert username of streamer here. He's like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, if I was the developer, I would have played that shit so fucking much longer. Oh my god, I would just fucking ruin this dude. Oh. Oh. It was, it was great. Hey, coming up here is uh, this mission. You really should be doing it with this car. <laughs> oh man, that, that that's weird. How how do they make the game this less this accurate and in, in telling yeah. what to do? How do how does the game and know? You're probably wondering yourself how we did this so accurate. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Oh my fucking god, I would have ruined this dude's fucking day just 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 gaslighting the shit out oh of him. Oh my like, god. I was, I would purposely fuck something up so that way like it didn't sound like I was actually accurately doing it, was it just coincidentally. But then get back on track again. Yeah. Ugh. I'm crossing a river because the other path has a bridge that's not built. The task might be there, by the way. Nearby yeah. to my south right now. So if it is, you might want to investigate that at some point. Okay. This is a way to have two players do exploration together pretty well. One goes for towers, the other goes for everything that is not the towers. Or you have eight people and they're all doing random shit. Well, you can only have four. Damn. If I did random shit, I'd want to be on someone else's save file, not mine. Although, money, I feel like... Money is not a problem the moment you have any DLCs at all. Yeah, because you just sell the car. Just sell a car you don't want, bam, done, you're rich. You don't need money anymore. Now it's all about levels, XP, and just story progression in a way. Yeah, you can collect the upgrades that you can't buy. Yeah. Oh boy. It must be that that other bridge must have some kind of task associated with it. Even if we can't find the tasks, maybe it isn't a contract. I have to examine them more closely, including the ones that I don't technically that qualify radio? for. Uh, I don't know because I leave that all off because I assume it. I assume any radio in any video game will play copyrighted music at some point. I see. Uh, all right, I got a off-road transmission for the Tatra 805, the Bandit, the Caterpillar, and the GMC. Nice. Sounds useful. Off-road is available for purchase. Is this a garage? Well, there's a fuel station here at the very least. Oh, nice. Well, I can just gas up right here. Gas station. Oh right, gosh, so I didn't even mean to come here. 
I didn't, I didn't know what way to go, actually. I have to go back around like this. So I found a gas station. That's cute. And there's a fuel carrier semi-trailer. Oh, yeah. There's just no task for that one bridge right there. Okay, there is one. Support local rangers for the southern task. <gasps> for the southern bridge. Right, cool. But what about this other thing? that right now. Oh, there's some other things in between you and that. Yep. Oh, wait. Oh, it starts over there. I see. Um, uh, lumber mill revival. No. Cargo from the ship, from the region. It's not under husky forwarding. Oh man, there's a semi-trailer at that port. It has to be delivered over to Smithsville Dam for a mission. We have to complete something else first, but yeah. Harbor delivery. Rangers. Hey, nice to meet you. Name's Midge. I'm a forest ranger. Word in town is that you're the man for bridge problems. I happen to have a little bridge that use repair. Are you interested? Woo! One gallon. All right, let's go. Oh, this will work. I'm not sure where that one other bridge's thing is. I have not seen anything for it yet, even in the contracts. I didn't look at um, Steel River Township. No. No, it's not in the contracts, whatever it is. Almost gotten to the final tower, though. It's cloudy today in the game. I didn't know it had variances for that. New trailer. I just want to be level 14 already. Ugh. I'm working on it. And then the Chevy will get even better. Um, in addition, that DLC trailer will get enough fuel to be self-sufficient. Uh, the DLC scout. Ideally, hopefully it does. I don't oh, know I'm if it'll be as good at the Chevy or not. Have fun reading this one. Lost delivery. Lost delivery. Hi, I'm Karen um, from the Steel Mayor's office. Um, today's shipment for the Main Street Renewal Project came up, and we're a few pallets short. Would you be a good citizen? and find them and bring them to the construction site. Fucking Karen, dude. I don't think there's a garage on this map, dude. Dude, that's kind of scary. <laughs> there is no like garage that. here. I don't like that. I don't like that, Rez. So we're going to have to, like, operate with our own repair and refuel vehicles here. From what? Because I've discovered everything. That's, that's, um, that's no bueno. There's a, there is the other bridge mission. It is over here, actually, uh, by the okay. way. Okay. Okay. Um, hi, sweetie. It's Karen again from Steel River Township. <laughs> the tourist season coming up and the rain we've had, it's, we've got to make sure that the rules, the roads to Hollis Island are in decent shape. Can you check them out for us? God damn it, Karen. So fucking needy. All right, I already got support local rangers. I got that. What am I missing? Uh, you have lost delivery. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, well, eastwards, there's of bridges and men. Over here by me. Okay, I'll go grab that. And then, yeah, I mean, we've looked everywhere, and there's, there's oh. nothing. 
us have to take this fucking long, long way around? I think okay. I'm going to go back over there and I'm going to go to Island Lake right now. Because maybe there's a well-placed garage over there, is what I'm thinking. There may not be, but I mean, there may be as well. And since this area seems so inconvenient, I might as well go check. Because driving here from the dam sucks. So ideally, maybe Island Lake has something better. Very careful on this bridge. Have you ever thought of a uh, dual streaming from here to Twitch? Um. Yeah, it's not gonna work with HLS. Hmm, that sucks. Because you'll have to use something like restream. Restream only intakes RTMP, meaning no H.265 in code, meaning. Oh, it just it has to be H.264 because Twitch doesn't really fully support uh, AV1, but it's moving in that direction. So, yeah. Gotcha. You can't. And if if Twitch were to naturally take AV1, could you set up OBS to output to both or no? Um. If something like Restream also decided to take AV1 through RTMP, then yes. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I was saying like, like okay, so how does, when you're using um, OBS to stream to Twitch or YouTube or whatever, right? You have to put in your, your token, right? Uh, I, I just link it directly, but yeah, there is, you can use the, so, the stream key system. So could you just set both stream keys for both your YouTube and Twitch account, so that way it just outputs to both, just at the same time? No, you can only go to one stream key, which is why you need something like Restream to take your stream okay. and then redirect it. Okay. So, it's up to what Restream supports more than anything. Gotcha. Twitch okay, can so support AV1 and their new RTMP protocol. It's funny, uh, YouTube and Twitch are both overhauling RTMP to allow AV1, but they're both making their own version of it. Ugh. Because, of course, right? Um, so that's... Restream or something like it would be the limitation. Ever played Mabby Nogi? I think I did as a kid a little bit, because when I loaded it up once as an adult to just look at it, I already had a character and an account and everything. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hi. I guess I just completed a task by running over this spot. Okay. Yeah. We just confirmed that this road is passable. Make sure to refuel while you're over there. There's a gas station. Yep. Oh, but I think I have tried Mabinogi as a kid. I saw it's getting an Unreal 5, like, transformation. Up upgrade. Upgrade, yeah. Which is very interesting for such an old game. <laughs> hey, Rez. Yeah. Uh, I think, okay, uh, I ran out of fuel, but the game didn't quite register that I ran out of fuel. Yeah. And, uh, so it didn't, it, it was letting me drive, but kept freezing me, letting me drive, freezing me, letting me drive, freezing me. Fun. Until it realized, oh, you're out of fuel, and then let me know I was out of fuel, then stop my engine. That's fun. <sighs> Very bright. So that means there might be some sort of like sync desync between my client and your client, where my client says, I have fuel. Uh, I don't know. Your client's like, no, you don't. You know, it's so funny uh, how old at this point now HDR is, and yet almost nothing really supports it. As it, like, it requires specific hardware on your monitor to do so, and that's expensive. Uh, that's kind of standard now. I'm not seeing any remotely normal gaming, quote-unquote, monitors that don't come with support for HDR. It's pretty standard at this point. 
So I don't think that's really an issue. But how good but the, is that HDR? Well, that depends on the brightness of your monitor. Yeah. Like, my Acer monitor in front of me, it is HDR capable. However, it only has like 400 nits brightness or whatever. Which is not a lot. For HDR, you really want more like a thousand. So it can do it, but maybe not great. And then, but you still have to have it supported in the video game. Yes. And most video games just don't bother. Because even as support for it is becoming more common, nobody fucking uses it. But nobody uses it because it's not supported. Self-fulfilling self uh, prophecy. Yeah. I think at this rate, like, ray tracing will catch on before HDR. Already, I believe I have accepted every mission that's on the map. Alright. Well, you wanna come with me to Island Lake? I guess? God, hopefully there's a fucking garage right there. Uh, yeah, that would be so ideal if there's just one literally right there. That would be perfect. So now all you need is, like, a little loading screen in between you and where you're going. Because of the damn Xbox One support. Making them need loading screens. <gasps> damn you, Xbox One. Not that PS4 is... Mm, absolved. Consoles are why we can't have nice things. Correct. Then mobile is even worse. games make so goddamn much money for so little effort. Yeah. Because the crowd that thought that gaming wasn't cool, turns out they actually like gaming. But for some reason, they only think to like gaming while they're taking a shit. And they're willing to spend tons of money on it. Yeah. It's, <laughs> no, only 1% only of those players do that. They're the only ones that matter. The other ones don't matter. Yep. Yeah, gotta hunt them whales. Yeah. Makes it very, um, iconic that Mr. Krabs' daughter is a whale. That, there, there is a term when, when you are attracted to large women, you, they do call it whale hunting. <laughs> Wonderful. Yep. I'm just getting over here is draining all my fuel. I just want to say gas, but it's diesel and I keep forgetting. I've ever told you the name of the uh, Southeast Asian uh, terrorist group that's like the, the major threat over there? No. And like Manila and like the Philippines in general? No. They call themselves the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. Sounds like something randomly generated for a video game. That's what they call it. Well, obviously it's in, it's in, I'm probably to call it, but like we translated English. It's more Islamic Liberation Front, right? Yeah. But, um, think about the letters that make that up. Oh. Uh, I see. Holy shit! What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fucking watchtowers! This place is massive! Jesus. This place is huge. It's like a gigantic rectangle. Oh my god. This is gonna take a moment to explore. They better damn fucking have a garage. I'm gonna... I'm gonna park here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go into the world map. That's not the world map. I'm gonna drive my bandit down here and just get it placed early on, cause I don't I don't know what the availability of anything is. This 
This is if I can have it cross the fucking river to get down there, of course. So, uh, no, no close garage then? Well, not at the entrance. I, I have to go to the towers to find out anything else. So, I'm, there's a crossroads at the very beginning of the place. So, I'm, I just left my off-road there. It'd be awful if there's no no further uh, fucking uh, garages anywhere else in this uh, region. We're gonna need a lot of well placed fuel vehicles and whatnot. Yep. A lot of well placed service utilities. And I need to get a lot better at not flipping. Yeah. There's got to be one somewhere in an island. Like, that place is too huge to have nothing. Looking at the very end. Well, to find the very end, because you can enter it from here and from sure. the dam. In between both of those. We'll see. Like distant. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go. Whew. I still wish this game had a mini map, like a GPS. Yep. Would be technologically realistic. Kind of. It would just be a coordinate GPS. It wouldn't be a directional GPS. Yeah, that's all I need it for. Yeah. I mean, we have fucking waypoints. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter that, at that point. That is your GPS, Riz. I need hi, the GPS Riz. for a map. Hi. Oh, hi. I, I was in first person. I did not see you. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. I can only see out the left window. So. You didn't see me as you're running up on my ass? No. I, I was looking out the left window. Look at my screen. Jesus I, Christ. I could not see out of that right window at all. Because I keep it to the left so I can see my mirror. Alright, well you see my ass now? Yes. So slow. I can't help it. You don't have. Give me that butt. I have mud tires butt. the give size of your fucking butt. Chevy. Ah. All right. These loading tips, or like informational fun facts, I don't even have time to fucking read them. <laughs> because First world problem. Because it loads too fast, and it's not like it. It could load faster. I bet. I doubt this fucking game is meant to utilize any NVMe SSD speed. Any. I doubt it's designed to use any of that. Alright. Refuel. I'll refuel you while you're here. Yay! And mine. Hey, I have fuel fuel. What the fuck? Yeah, I refueled Ow. you. Oh, you did. Okay, I just didn't. I didn't get to look at my thing before you did it. Okay, yeah. What are we doing? Um. Oh gosh, I don't know. We yeah. could split up right here. You go for the South Watch Tower. I go for the North one. Alrighty. Actually, I could use some repairs too. Yeah. You can Let's handle see. that yourself. It has repairs on it, so you don't need to use yours. This is very off-road terrain. 
Oh, there's the mud. I was gonna say there's not a lot of mud yet, and I found it. I still have no headlights. Yeah, me neither. I just I have the front the, the front bottom ones I have, and that's it. I have none. Period. Zip. Zil. Zero. I, I think these bottom ones come with the customization I did, the cosmetic customization, like the grill mm. on the front. Might be from that. Oh, this is much better terrain. I just got into a bunch of mud, as you said, then. Oof. Well, one of us is enjoying the time a little better. <laughs> oh, I sent you screenshots of the uh, the glowing eyes. Yeah, I saw. I didn't actually look at them yet, but I, okay. I, I have them here. Is it that yellow shit in the background? Mm-hmm. I see. Yeah. And then you approach them. And they're still lit up. And then you get close and they're gone. That's cute. Alright, no garage here. Uh, okay. Right, let's see. Swing wide to the south and see what's down uh, there. Gotcha. And I'll just head east from mine. Getting to my watchtower is not as direct as I thought it would be. I actually need to kind of turn around because there's a turn that's better to take than where I'm going. There's clearly some sort of task area over here as well. <sighs> I'm in a swamp. This is my swamp. Is it? I don't see your name on it. Very deep water everywhere. There's a big trailer over here. <laughs> Damn, there's some fat fucking rocks on the road here. This would have fucked up my Mastodon. You could fuck up your Chevy while you're at it. Yeah. Well, the Chevy could weave in between. A fuel carrier trailer. Can I use it right now? Yes, I can. Thanks for the gas, bitch. Mm -hmm. Who's a favorite here doing hauling for dicing that's stuck in the mud? Boss gonna chew us out, we don't get delivered on time. Do us a solid and help us out. Sure. Not right now, but sure. Oh, and I took out your mailbox. Sorry. That's a felony, dude. <laughs> Why is that a felony? It doesn't seem like that, of all things, should be a felony. Postmaster General, don't don't fuck around, dog. Is that like a federal felony or a state felony? Federal felony. That's crazy. It's not even a felony to steal nine hundred dollars worth of shit in California. But I take out a mailbox and now I'm a felon. Yep. I can steal like nine mailboxes from anywhere in California and be fine. But the moment I take short. one out, I'm a felon. Yep, correct. That's insane. Yep. Reason being is when you purchase a, uh, a mailbox and you install it in your home, that mailbox is no longer your property. What? 
<laughs> it's the property of the postmaster general. Who the fuck said he could have my mailbox? <laughs> but, Excuse but me. It is, it is completely legal for you to remove it yourself. Why doesn't the postmaster general buy the fucking mailbox then? <laughs> Excuse me. But the minute the minute someone else destroys your mailbox, then that's the Postmaster General's problem. So, what, but, so, but then if I take mail out of the mailbox, am I not mm -hmm. stealing from the Postmaster General? No, that is your mail. That is addressed to you. You are merely, for free, renting that space for the mailbox and the That makes the no mailbox fucking itself. sense. <laughs> Was this made in, like, the olden times where I this mean, might have made the sense? Ever since U.S. mail has been uh, codified, it's been a thing. I gotta raise suspension up here. Oh, I hate this path. This is awful. Now, obviously, it's gonna be real hard to, like, try to get a child, you know, tried on a felony. But, like, if you, if you find yourself, uh... Having to deal with a neighbor who is constantly harassing you and he's just taking out your mailbox every other day. Give the old Postmaster General a uh, phone call and uh, I'll sort it out real fucking quick. I saw a video where uh, this dude's neighbor really hated his fucking guts and so he would keep breaking his mailbox, right? But he like, he wouldn't even be like subtle about it. So what this dude was, when he knew this dude would be away for a while, he built like the most robust fucking mailbox you can think of. He like, and he made it look like it wasn't uh, very strong, but he used like a building fucking uh, like I beam in his uh, mailbox. Uh huh. He painted it to look like it was wood. And so this dude fucking rams his truck into this fucking I beam and obliterates the fucking car. And then the dude calls the cops right to like, hey, this motherfucker broke my car. And they were like, how do you break your car? Why hit his mailbox? And they're like, hey, cool. You just admitted to a felony arrest. The you also owe you also owe him a new mailbox. The thing is, he you can tell he legitimately thought he was in the right. Yes. He thought he was in the right to ram his mailbox. He thought like legally in the right. He thought he was legally in the right to get any sort of compensation from this guy. Uh huh? Due to his criminal action that he's assuming is not a criminal action. It's not a criminal action if I destroy your mailbox. It's a criminal action if your mailbox destroys my car. It this is a real that, person that really it thought it this. It might have more have been like, oh, uh, yes, it's a criminal action for me to destroy his mailbox. But hit me, me depriving him of $30 for a mailbox versus him depriving me from a $40,000 truck... That's not fair. I want my forty thousand dollars. I'm gonna call the cops. I can't understand that line of logic. Yeah. This person is a different breed of human being than me. All right. Uh, I got the watchtower down here to the south. Where do you want me to go? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. can you? Let me check out this. Like, this go grab the over. signal in the mountains. Over there, like the yeah. mission. Yeah, yeah. The, grab the missions and kind of circle back and look at any terrain that's been skipped. Any terrain with roads that's been skipped by the watchtowers would be ideal. Okay. I'm gonna refuel and then I'm gonna head towards my next watchtower. I'm gonna make a slight detour to activate this trailer so I can also refuel from it. I still can't believe you drained the fucking fuel tank on the bend. <laughs> I cannot believe that. It's Did you get in the car? Like, why the fuck aren't I moving? And you're like, I'm yeah, like, I got in the car and I went to move <laughs> it. And I was it. looking at the fact that it said zero out of 40. <laughs> and at first my brain just ignored it. Because it made no sense. Why would it be zero out of 40? I know that I refueled it fully before <laughs> I swapped and then drove away. So that didn't make any sense at all. 
and then the pop-up happened like you have no fuel i ignored that because it still didn't make any sense and then after that happens twice i kind of realized what happened there and i was like oh you son of a bitch you fucking drained the actual fuel tank it is great because it's so not an inconvenience. Like, it's just a, a, such a minor inconvenience because, like, you just have the fuel right there, so there's no issue. Yeah. Oh my god, could you imagine if I did that and you didn't have a fuel tank? <laughs> oh, then that vehicle would be kind of fucked on this map, but we still don't know where <laughs> anything is. You know what? I might bring this fuel trailer with me. Is, uh, did you find a scout one? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I fuel trailer. Oh, you're gonna pull it with a fucking winch in a Chevy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. If you feel like it, go ahead, but also good luck. Whew, it's bright. I just looked up I from the road and it's fucking bright, bright fog. Because it's in a bad location anyway, so relocating it wouldn't even be a bad thing. Uh huh. Is it a swamp where you are, or is it just a swamp where I am? It is just a swamp where you are. <laughs> Heard about Jim, the local farmer, went out hunting last weekend, managed to get his car stocked real good in the swamp. Ain't no way we're getting the thing out of, on our own. Maybe you could give it a try. Okay. That's Hunter's Parking. Oh. Signal in the mountains. It never rains, but it pours, right? Seems like the old TV towers up on the bridge on the blink again. I hate to ask you, but can you repair it? If you combined not like this sort of game, combine it with something like the hunter, that'd be kind of interesting. Let's see. Uh, which tower should I go for? Should I go for that southeastmost one or um, the, the one in the middle? There's still some places to the west you can check. There's there's a whole something that looks like a task area to your west. I see what you mean. All right. I'll leave that fuel tank there. I'll come in back this way. Oh gosh. This thing just started bouncing because I was going too fast on the mud. Alright, let's see. What's with all these fucking dips in the road? It's gonna kill someone. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta see what happened. Oh god. I caught myself with a winch as I was about to flip over. I, just, I, I rapidly hit <laughs> F and winched onto a sign and just pulled myself before I flipped. Oh Jesus. Woo! Upgrade location discovered. Oh god. Okay. Well, while you're over there, you can go north. There's a task to grab. Uh, corporate expansion. Okay, I see it. And then you could go for that upgrade, too. And you could check that, what looks like a wood-loading area to the west. 
And you can come back east and get these other two tasks. Huntsman in the car and fallen antenna. I'm going to go north and go along this little undiscovered side road. See if anything's over uh, is here. This, is this scout fuel carrier a mission one or no? Um, no. Okay, cool. I'm going to take it. Yeah, that, that's something that'll attach to your Chevy. Yep. Uh, do you want me to uh, check out this little path that doesn't lead into anything and then come back to the corporate expansion? Where? Uh, just west of my, or north of my position. There's like a little path that doesn't have anything in between it, but is grayed out. Oh, that road? Uh, if you feel yeah. like it, yeah, sure. All right, I'll do that. Might as well. I'm I'm about to take a northern detour. Make sure yeah, I'm not missing so anything up here. You want me to do corporate expansion? You want me to get that uh, upgrade yeah, as well? Yeah, just get everything in that area, and All then right. also to to the east as well. Okay. God, I'm I'm heading to the north end of the map to get a road that's not colored in, and then I'm gonna head east from there. It can't be colored. I think I'm against colored. I'm about to go color it actually. This joke. Fun fact: Did you know that in World War One, in the trenches, uh, Canadians who would often perform night raids into enemy trenches to make themselves harder to see at night, they would color their faces black. Why wouldn't they? Makes sense. Yeah, it does. But you know, if if you. Whether you leave out context or not, there's someone out there that would be offended by that. How dare no. you try to blend in with the nighttime? How could you? Don't shoot. They're not black. The Canadians just shot everyone. <laughs> the enemy, allies, civilians. I learned more. Uh, I already knew that Canada probably commits the most war crimes in the world. I already knew that, um, but I learned some some of the ways that they decided to do that. Ooh. One thing that was apparently common in World War One was they would go to like a prisoner column that they were transporting of like Germans, and then one guy would pass by one of the prisoners and slip a grenade into his pocket and then just leave. So that way they kill themselves? Uh, it's an activated grenade, so basically... Oh, I see. The, oh my the god. The prisoner in the middle of the prison column will just blow up. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what Canadians did. What's crazy is you can hear when a grenade activates. It makes a hissing sound. So I must imagine that this guard, this uh, prisoner, is also fucking uh, handcuffed and can't save their own lives, even if they wanted to. Probably, yeah. Apparently, at one point in World War One, Germany asked. Um, the UK where some of their prisoners were and the UK is like, uh, I don't know. Canada has them. Hey, Canada, where's the prisoners? Canada's like, all. we don't know. No idea. I don't know. Maybe you should keep track of your prisoners. <laughs> There's a quote from a Canadian some sort of officer in World War II who, when going into night raids, he'd give speeches to his men, and he would say, remember, I want no prisoners. Prisoners will just eat your rations. Which in World War One, you know, you're hungry in a trench, like, they're not having my rations. Yeah. Every prisoner you take, they eat your rations. Got my drift? You know, the Canadians take a lot after the French. There's a trailer out here. Woo! 
These trailer XP rewards are not nearly enough for level 14. I'm at 600 out of 2300. That's going to require some tasks. Why'd I get the swamp? Who knew a swamp would be north? Doesn't make any sense. I found some really bad mud right here. Oh, I am. Yeah, it happens. Alright, don't have a truck. station. Alright, where to next? Uh, there's an area to your west. West of the corporate I expansion market. I can't marker. get there. There's a down bridge. Is there a task about that? Uh, let's see. Down bridge or not. They're, like, usually those have tasks attached. I do not see one immediately at it. I'll have to drive to it directly yeah. to see if there's one. Because we'll need to get the task in order to do it. Welcome back, Tyra. Going down a road. No oh yeah, so I've, I've been testing the whole like streaming at 8 megabits thing, by the way. Yeah. Uh, it's not entirely stable. It can be stable. But it's more susceptible to fluctuations than 5 was. I don't know why it's improved at all. Maybe just something to do with it, like a new network card, but... I'll probably have to lower it at least a little bit at some point. Still, though, better than what you had before. Oh, I mean, even at 5 megabits, it's better, because this encoder is just much newer and better. But I'm going to try something lower until I find the, the new sweet spot. They just had to raise the max bit rate from six to eight. Probably do six now. Feels like. They just had to raise it. Ah. When I try uh, Eden Eternal in a few days, that should be fun. I haven't played an MMO in like six months. It's been a minute. MMOs are icky. Hmm. MMO, uh. more like MMO. Some, uh, so Riot was making an MMO. They scrapped it. The head of that MMO who left the company like a year ago revealed he left to make a different MMO. And he showed it off today in a prototyping stage and he said like just know this is what an MMO looks like in prototyping so if you can't handle it you probably shouldn't watch this I fully expect to see comments like this looks like ass and I'm prepared for it yeah and I looked at it it does in fact look like ass but I mean it doesn't it makes sense. Apparently the reason they're showing it off early, like so early, is because he wants to base the entire thing around its combat system. And so... No one plays MMO for combat. Alright, we need wooden planks. Yeah, this... We'll take care of bridges later. But first, we have to see if this place has a fucking garage in it. All right. Uh, am I heading uh, to the east? Um... The east a huntsman in the car and the fallen antenna. Yeah. Oy. The fact that we still haven't actually found what we're looking for. It's not very good. Yeah.
this main road that leads to Dromond Island from here, it's actually pretty, it's not bad. It's not like a bad thing at all. Yeah, it's just annoying that we just don't have a place where we could just... Yeah, Oof. but if, if the garage is along that main road, that is a much easier way of getting to that Drummond Island Yeah. than from the dam. Yeah. And it's mostly obstacle-free. It's, it's pretty smooth of a drive. Yeah, that, that, that other uh, scout vehicle is basically useless here. Yeah, because it doesn't have fuel. It, even in the dam, it was kind of useless. Unless you specifically... Oh, no, you can't. I was going to say, unless you specifically bring a scout trailer that has fuel, but that can't. thing can't pull a scout trailer. So, that's not even an option. Unless you can somehow drag it with a winch without flipping it. But, you know, I'm just going to say, good luck. I see a car over here. Just in this swamp. It's a Chevy. Hey there, I'm Ted, running a repair place in town. Buddy of mine found an abandoned truck. Ain't got time and resources to get it myself. Figured you might help. What do you say, pal? Is it this? No. This isn't even like... I can see it on the map, but it's nothing that I think I can interact with. It's like a perfectly otherwise okay looking Chevy though. It's probably out of fuel and stuck. It's just, it's weird. It's not marked on the map. Hmm. Oh, it's probably mission related uh, vehicle. Like, I'm pulling to it towards me with a winch. I can interact with it that much. So whatever the case, I can pull it, it moves, I can interact with it. Yeah, it's probably a relation, mission related uh, vehicle. A relation. Relation. Yeah, I don't know. Relation related. It's out of fuel, I see that much. I'm not sure why it's there, but that, that's that's that. Oh, let me refuel myself with my roof rack. The roof rack? A rack of a roof? A rack roof? Roof rack? Honestly, bringing this trailer around doesn't really impact the, the driving of the Chevy at all. Oh, yeah, it's a scout trailer. It's kind of designed for it. Not to mention the Chevy is super fucking upgraded. How much fuel does the scout trailer carry? It's like 200 something, not 200, let's see. Uh, refuel... 238. That's a lot. That's 10, 10 tanks worth it's, of uh, it's refuels. It's like half of what a normal um, fuel tank that can go on the bandit would carry. Mm -hmm. What's down this road? Anything? I see something. Some sort of trailer. A scout fuel carrier. <laughs> well! Well! Isn't that a hard darn coincidence? <laughs> I think I might it? attach that to my Chevy. <laughs> Otherwise, I need to drive that there bandit all the way up here. I don't know if I want to do that with this thing right here. What's... Just a couple of dudes with some trailers. Yeah, 238. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, there's a stuck uh, scout vehicle out here as well. An actual, like, marked one? It's not marked, but yeah, it's, I see it's it. here. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know why these are like this, but I guess we'll figure it out. There might be some mission about collecting them. Where is the Huntsman and the car's vehicle? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, 
Oh, it is marked. Okay, this is this is the marked one. Oh, so, so they're part of missions. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I can I can actually complete this mission right now if you want me to. Um. Of taking that vehicle to where? Uh, so this vehicle goes to the uh. Oh, the... I got Hunter's parking. I see. Yeah. Um, off-road truck is recommended. Well, if you think you could do it in a scout, sure. Yeah, because like if this thing is just out of fuel, I can just refuel it real quick and then. Well, yeah, it's, it might be injured as well. Yeah. But yeah, if you can do it, yeah, I guess go ahead and do it. All right, let's see. Let me try just winching it out first. I do feel a little bit slower in mud carrying this scout trailer. Mm. But all the extra fuel makes up for it. Oh. I was I was looking at keyboards. Mm. Trying to find other low profile keyboards. There's not a lot of them. Sadly. Although... Niche product. Yeah, a little bit. Um, there's There are some, but there's not a lot. And one thing, another thing is that the... Well, there's also an ultra low profile keyboard, which is like... Imagine a normal keyboard, it's mechanical, but the size of the actual keys and the travel time is the same as like a laptop keyboard. And in fact, right. you can, in, at least in Alienware keyboards, you can actually have them put these keys in as like a replacement to the membrane ones that they would usually come with, which sounds pretty interesting. And I'd be tempting, tempted to try it. I found it on a, a Cherry, Cherry brand keyboard. However, I also don't, want to pay $160 to test out a keyboard. Yeah. So I found a gigantic fucking truck here. Let's see. Man, it's a crying shame the way some people treat their stuff. This truck must have been a cowboy Cadillac back in the day. Now it's a total heap. You can get it out of here. Maybe I can get it running again. A Western Star 6900 Twin Steer is the reward. Hey, this is a big fucking truck, dude. This thing's huge. Oh my god. That gigantic. looks like an actual, like, a uh, fucking uh, rock crawler truck. Like, you use that to transport shit over mountains. Well, there it is. Alright, uh, now I'll go down this way. It's getting dark. We don't have lights because our Chevys are fucked up. Because <laughs> we've been like fully exploring two areas, which is putting off getting the level 14, <laughs> god damn it. But it is what it is. I love how I can put like big six month long breaks in between playing MMOs and I still play them faster than they release. <laughs> MMOs are like ARPGs. I, I, I can literally say that I've played most games in the genre. Gross. That's while spending a minority of my time usually playing them. When was the last time I played a fucking ARPG? I don't even know. Probably the one, last one I played with you, Titan Quest? Yeah. That was like a year ago. Some bullshit like that. At least a year ago. I think it was it still on Twitch then? Uh, yeah, we're still twitching. Yes, yeah, so that was over a year ago. Watchtower! Woo! Dude, the entire north half of this map is a swamp. 
the entire north half. I found the gateway to Smithville Dam. Ooh. Abandoned drilling site and an upgrade. I don't know if I want to go for that upgrade just yet. Alright, I'm giving up on this vehicle. It's just taking too long. There's too much mud. Makes sense. Alright, where can I go? Um, I can investigate this fallen antenna right here. Is already part of a mission we have? Uh... Doesn't that like that is a building. I don't know that that's a task, actually. It's a building and it's a loading zone. Okay, I'm not, I see I'm not it. sure that that's a task. Okay, so ignore it. Potentially. Um, I mean, I'm right here. I can literally just detach my trailer real quick and then investigate it. Where the hell is this upgrade? I'm not sure if I want to risk getting this upgrade right now. Yeah, it's just deep in the swamp. I'm going to pass over this upgrade for right now. Because I'm not sure about getting it. And I want to focus on the goal of these watchtowers. No, nothing, nothing. <sighs> it doesn't even give me an option to like uh, check to see what it wants. Yeah, it's, I think it's just a loading zone. I have two more watchtowers to go for. And we still don't have a garage. Alright, you want me to go for this uh, southeastern uh, tower? Um, there's maybe some other stuff. Okay. That, that might be closer to where you are. Um... You can, how about you go southeast to that one area outside of the towers. Yeah, the, the little like town looking. Yeah. And then, do, do that. and then uh, there should be more stuff to explore once, once you've done that. Okie dokie. These locations are more difficult just because of the lack of garages. Mm -hmm. And even places to like buy trailers. There's not even those really that we've seen. Nope. Yeah, it's a lot harder to get through mud when I have this fucking scout trailer. But it's got so much fuel. I guess when I do leave here, I might just drive this Chevy to whatever location I can that has it, like, even if it's back at the dam, I might just drive it there just to go, like, sell this trailer. Ew. Well, I have to do it eventually. Might as well when I already have it. <laughs> that DLC off-road, uh, the DLC scout is never gonna be able to pull a trailer. Even at level 14. I already have the car, the base game car, that will be the next scout. It's just we don't start unlocking anything for it until, like, Alaska, roughly. I found the travel to Smithville Dam. I'm here. Now I'm gonna go down the road to... the next tower. Oh, oh, my game's freezing. Just my game. Maybe just my game. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm dead. Yeah, application stopped working. Got a crash dump sending utility. This is a full game crash. Oof. Oh god, I wonder what that does to our vehicles. Well, I think for me, on my vehicle, it might be teleported back to the garage. I don't know. Let's find out. That's our first ever 
game crash, I think. Super sad face. Saber. Oh, I see. The fucking cargo boxes, when you load them up, they have Saber written on the side of it. And I was like, I wonder what Saber is and why it's on the side of the box. It's the developer. Oh. Start co-op. Create game. Two players. Private. Bucks calorie, seventy three percent of cargo by weight in the US. Wow. What the hell are our trains doing? Alright, let's see. Manage party, invite at nine. Uh, Island Lake. It saved when I approached that last watchtower. That's when it last saved for me, my location. So that's not too bad in terms of my progress. Although, I feel like the game has spawned me in the ground. I'm in Black River, Michigan. Is your truck yep, out here? I'm, I'm, let's see. Da, 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 global map. You're in, um... From an island or island lake? Island lake. Okay. The scout trailer is still here. My vehicle is not there. Uh, rip. Yep. That means I have to drive all the way over to you. Which is not too bad if you're coming from the dam, because the entrance from the dam is just like right over here. It actually, gets, it gets you closer to some things that can be explored as well. Yep, my Chevy's here in the garage. Alright. I am bringing the Macedon. <laughs> That's pretty fuel hungry. Worth it. More worth it than the Tatra? Yep. I'll put, a, I'll put a fuel. I'll put, I don't really need cargo for this thing. It's just put a fuel thing on it. Alright. Whatever works. Whew. I didn't lose too much progress. Oh, speaking of losing progress, Lord of the Rings Online, an MMORPG that I quit because it has a weird save system mm. but the, the servers save like a couple times a day um their save like their servers like fried and the game was down for like an entire week it might still be down wow. and i'm sure from when it went down there's going to be progress loss for the players in, in that kind of a setup and I read it and I was like, yep, this is why I don't play Lotro. And it makes it even more confusing as to every time I tell someone that has played Lotro about this or that likes it or thinks it looks cool, all of them look at me with like crazy eyes. Like they have no idea what I'm talking about. But all you have to do is play the game. This shit happens in that game all the time. Servers go down, save files get reverted because... It don't, the server only saves a couple times a day. It's a constant issue on that MMO. And yet only saves everybody... Only a couple times a day? Yeah. Only a couple times a day. Like three times a day the servers save. So you can easily lose eight hours of progress. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. But every, anytime I tell anybody about it, they just have no idea what I'm talking about. Which is so crazy. Because I, I only it, had to play for a few days to experience my, my first, like, wipe when they had server crashing going on. It's like, it's like when it, it, even if it happens directly to them, and like, see, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, that, oh, that just only happens a couple times. Yeah, that, that's a response I get for a lot of things. Oh man, this game's so buggy. What do you mean? I never have any bugs. Really? It's got all this crashing stuff? Yeah, no, I never had any crashing. 
and then you get the crash. They're with you when it happens. It happens to them too, and you're like, see that? He's like, oh, that? Yeah, that barely happens. That's fine. It's like, that's not the point. The, it doesn't matter if you're okay with it. You claimed there was no crashing. Therefore, you lied to me. Oh, but it's not a big deal. Doesn't matter if it's a big deal. Well, I didn't say it was a big deal. I just said that it happened. And you said, no, no, I never had any of that. You just had it. And now you're admitting to having it. Making you a liar. Thank you. A certain company made ta the town an attractive offer, the basis of which has absolutely nothing to do with drilling for oil on public land. All they're asking for is a bridge for their supplies and total silence. You in? That does this doesn't sound sketchy at all. Oh, I see that bridge. Oh, to an abandoned drilling site. Seems legit. Yeah, totally legit. To to totally not gonna die. You know what the graphical style of this game it reminds me of? What? Horizon. Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn. Hor Horizon, okay. Yes. <clears throat> Isn't the voice actress the... See, oh fuck, who, hold on, let me look it up. I have no idea. I didn't care about the voice actress. Actually, Birch, yeah, that's Tiny Tina's original voice actor. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't even really like the character, so I definitely did not investigate the voice acting. She was pretty fucking flat the whole game. She was just kind of like, yeah, okay, sure, uh-huh. Like, she was purposefully just being a bitch all the time. Like, she is so fed up because her life has been so hard. Like just, just for her, no one else. Watchtower! It's so swampy! I'm fighting- I'm finally getting to the locations that are not swampy. Bridge the gap. Another bridge, another bridge, I see. And then I'll- I guess I'll be coming down here. It'd be great if that was a garage right there. Guess we'll find out. Next time on Dragon Ball. Oh god, these are big rocks. They're like as big as the Chevy. That's an exaggeration, but still. Hey, I'm Tony from the oil company. Our drilling team is having a heck of a time trying to get gear to use the site. The terrain's too rough, and we could really use a bridge. Can you help us out? We'd pay you well. There's a lot of missions regarding building bridges here. Oh, I guess they're Dude, tasks. Dude, oh, it, it's like fucking a lot of them. Yeah. These two locations are clearly not civilized like the dam and the town. Yep. No For the love of God, problems. let there be a garage. Please. Just one garage. And they're very muddy and very off roady. What is this place? This looks like a log. Looks like a lumber yard. This is not a garage. Although well, there's nothing here. So I'm guessing it's not active yet. And we have to activate it ourselves at some point. Oh, look! A broken bridge! 
Ah, oh, damn it. There's no way around on this side. <laughs> oh, great. Fucking Christ. All right, I have to go back up and around. Uh, I'm gonna take the easy way, I think. Quote unquote. There you go. This this will be the path. There's a lot of fuel carriers out here. I wonder why. All the way around. Now here's what I hate is reversing when I have a fucking trailer. They make it annoying. At least it's a tiny scout trailer. It's not as bad. It's still getting in the way, but it's not as bad as it could be. The, uh, the revived Pomu had her first stream. Oh, nice. What's her new name? Uh, well, it's like her old name, I guess. Okay. She's made mint. Oh, mint. Okay, I, I, I saw a little bit of it. And she's doing a podcast with Nina, who's in Bishoujo now. They, they made very sure to be clear that uh, she's independent and not with... Yes. It's because everyone keeps asking. So, of course. It's a lot of bridges. Look at this road. Oh, my God. going so fast down the road the fucking fuel trailer is like flying around behind me <laughs> oh that's cool if I'm when you have the tr when you have a trailer behind you if you hit one it'll actually put the view behind the trailer oh that's cute before going into so that, first so, person so that, so that way you're not looking at a fucking giant trailer in your face yeah I mm -hmm. guess Something to let you see what's happening with the trailer. I love how it took this long for either of us to try that. <sighs> oh God, I, I focused on that for a moment and then I crashed my car <laughs> as a result, which is great. It's just a little bit of damage to the engine. It's fine. Shouldn't affect anything. Got a nice dent, maybe. Uh, not exactly a dent, but the paint on the front of the car is like completely gone. to go all the way around this is a kind of game where a low pri profile keyboard is really nice because I don't need nearly as much force to just go forward I can like barely apply pressure I just kind of have to like sit my finger down on the button and then it'll just you drive know, I, forward I wonder if there's a keyboard out there where like you press W and you can like slide it forward and it locks into place so that way it just depresses it and holds it. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's kind of uh, what an auto run button is for though. Right. And like uh, cruise control and like truck sim. Mm-hmm. That too. After you use the potty, I'll be your back. And we never saw him again. 
tunnel. I wish I could drive through a tunnel and not just teleport. That sounds fun. Is that technically a new task? I don't even see it as a task. Yeah. Hunter Bob's Bridge. New face around your favorite ass. You got this old bridge not far from here. Could you do some fixing up? I'll make it worth your while. Oh god, so that's broken. Yeah, that's the bridge that got in my way. Or the lack thereof of a bridge. I hear a dog! Bark, bark. If there's houses here, does that mean that there could be a fucking garage? That doesn't look like a garage. I thought that was a trailer, that blue thing. It is not. Those shadows are popping in funny. There's the tower. All right, we're almost there. This is the final tower in all of Michigan. Finally. Need a little assistance getting through this mud. Gosh, there's two paths. All right, well, I guess we're going down this one. Wouldn't it be great if this or this was a garage? Wouldn't it be so great? It would be so great. There's not even places to sell trailers here. That's just the truly awful thing. So even getting rid of this scout trailer is a le is a a practice in going between maps. And it all leads to one map, and that's the dam. This Black River does not connect here. Whew. What is this? This does not look like a garage. Is there really no garage past the dam? That's crazy. Yeah, no. That's a fucking trailer. I wonder if that's a real trailer, actually. I don't know. I hear a radio. But I do not see a garage. There's the watchtower. There she is. Would that be a garage? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is gonna be fun. This thing is like entirely submerged this path. Why is it still pulling? God damn. Alright, engine off. Let's see. It's a trailer store! That's better than nothing! It's not a garage, but it's better than nothing. A trailer store. Yeah, that's nice. I don't think Drummond Island had a trailer store, did it? No. No trailer store and no garage. 
Maybe it gets a trailer store later, but it does not have one by default. But this place does. Right there. So it's easy enough to drop this scout trailer off. There's also another scout trailer there, which is handy. Okay, now I have to get this fucking out of here. Alright, back we go. The tower was doing weird things to my camera. Oh, it's pulling it by the tr The winch is attached to this tr little trailer. That's fun. Ideally, I guess I need to like turn around. Because the trailer's in my way, but it's not too bad. That's decent enough. Get a little bit of a boost to turn, and we'll go drop off this trailer. Oh. Alright. Nice. I wonder where the materials for all these bridges are going to come from. I don't know if they have that stuff on this map or not. I feel like they probably just won't. Hey, Here we are. Let's turn this bitch off. Refuel myself from my scout fuel carrier. There you go. Give myself maybe a little bit of a repair. I have some uh, repair supplies on the back of this. Not a lot, but enough. Mm. Let's see. Bob's Bridge. Wooden planks can be sourced from this map. I don't know if they all need that or not. Broken antenna is literally just an exploration mission. Heading over there in this scout wouldn't be a terrible idea, but there's still no bridge here. Ooh. Deliver off-road truck recommended a scout reach points mission. They're not even all marked on the map by default. This one also needs some wooden planks to build the bridge. Okay, what about in Drummond Island? Because that's relevant. Deliver a vehicle, three special cargo, ten hut, metal beams, and concrete slabs. You can't even get that on this map. Yeah. And then you need metal beams and concrete blocks. Oh my god, that's just to get to the port. Jesus Christ. Wooden planks also can't get them from here. Oh dear god. There's a fuel station right there, but still. Support local rangers, wooden planks. Oh, good grief. Oh, there's a log station there, actually. Oh, but it only has logs, huh? Oh, okay. Hmm. Some of these might give stuff like that. Rewards. This one's not special. This one's not special. I think it would say down here if it's going to give warehouse access. So like this. That's in Island Lake. It would give warehouse access at a lumber mill in Island Lake. But you need to complete this first. Okay. And that's that's all of those, actually. Completely all of those. Uh, to the port drilling equipment. Out with the old... 
Arbor delivery. Instruments of development. Warehouse. Deliver to warehouse on Island Lake. Let me see that. Oh gosh. You can source these things here, but... Now that would make this a functional warehouse. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, okay. Just looking at things that unlock other things. So, I'm just gonna... Um, I'm gonna sell this trailer. I'm around here. Attach this one and then probably just sell it as well. If I wanted to purchase another one, I could. I don't want to, I just want to get the money. All right, so sell, that's sold. There's reason to keep this here, but it's also used some of its repair equipment. I guess it could definitely also just benefit from going home, but I would have to drive it out here eventually anyway. And there are scout missions here. I think I could just leave this here for now. I don't know. Doing what it is required from it is like, uh, may, well, not required, right? But like this, more specifically. Because if this bridge is built, it's much easier to get through. I could go around. That's an option. I have fuel over here. Reach point. One, two, three, four, five. And it comes back around. Okay. I could try to grab this while I'm over there, I suppose. Sure. Yeah, we could do that for now. Is Matt Nine backeth? Oh, yeah. Hello. How's it going? I was pooping. Uh, I did not need that information. All right, where am I heading? Island Lake? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Um, so there's some missions that will eventually, like, unlock a warehouse out here and some other crap. There's a lot of missions to build bridges, and the wooden planks can all be sourced from here as well. Um, right. What will what will me equ equipped to the Macedon? Um, help the most with well I'm thinking I'm looking over what's probably the best and I think it would be pretty useful to get this broken lumber mill down here going okay what does it need but we, that involves at least getting the ability to do it um, which yes. involves doing winter stories which is an actual contract which requires us to uh, acquire a maintenance trailer <clears throat> and then uh, vehicle spare parts. Um, I could take care of the, the trailer. Or the, the parts. And you could take care of the trailer. It says Smithsville Dam. But I think the trailer. Is. In Black River. Yeah it is. Trailer's in Black River. Looks like it. Yes. Trailer right. is in Black River. At that center little oil location. <laughs> Right, so I need to go to Black Black River, Black River. cover the trailer. Yeah. Ugh, all right. I think the garage uh, in gee. the dam is actually closer to the location you're going. By the way. So yeah. If I, yeah, so I should just drive there. Yeah. Uh, what mission is it under? Husky forwarding winter stories. Uh, it'll be, it'll be easier for me to get into the uh, Macedon at the garage here and drive there. Okay. Yeah. You uh, you would just save a lot of driving time. Yeah. It's an easy drive. I think you're just trying to avoid the loading screen, <laughs> even though you just had to go through a loading screen anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. and it's two seconds. I think you're just trying to avoid that. No, this is the easier drive for me. Just the way I drive. Uh, should I? What should I have in the bed of my truck? Should I keep the fuel uh, thing, or should I put a, a crane in, whatever? 
Um, well, it's a trailer. Obviously, <laughs> but I mean, like, for the looking forward in the future, is that better for me to have all the and only a fuel tank, or should I remove the fuel tank and get the uh, the crane and the um the bed? You can mix this stuff with the thing you need to pull the trailer. Yeah, if it's just a trailer, it's just a hitch, right? It's that, that oh, thing on the yeah, back. Oh, yeah, I, I, you're, you're right. Okay, I see what you mean. I need I, to have the, the hitch, so I need the low saddle, right? I don't know which saddle you need. <laughs> All right, let me see. I don't, I don't see anything is. here that says that. It's it's just... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. trailer. I can just look it up at least. Snow runner me and its trailer. I'll do the vehicle spare parts. This part is simple. This will unlock a warehouse in uh, the dam, which is nice. And then it will unlock the ability to unlock a warehouse further in. There was no other garage, by the way, but at Island Lake, there is at least a trailer shop. It says here it doesn't even need a saddle, so I should just be able to mount it in the back of my vehicle, right? With no trailer. Or no saddle. Uh, I don't know. I guess if it's not a semi-trailer, then it doesn't need a, the thing on the back, the saddle. Right. So, again, question, should I bring a fuel tank or should I bring um, a crane with a, uh, an empty bed? Well, considering the delivery point is um, the northwest part of the dam, I don't think either of those matter because recovering in the dam is a faster way to get oh, anywhere. Oh, okay. I see, Eric. So, yeah doesn't really matter I figured I was bringing this over to uh, fucking no this this is just for the dam it will unlock something and then it will unlock a mission that will then allow for things over there okay I see we're unlocking a warehouse which will then unlock the ability to unlock a warehouse I thought this was me no getting something over to you in the island okay not yet so it literally does not even matter nope does not matter Do what you want. What you really, really want. Yeah. It'll be nice to have fucking lights again. Yeah. I'm driving. I haven't even marked where to go. <clears throat> How do we get over there? That's man, this place is really far out of the way. Just way off in this north. I don't know what the hell we're going to be putting here that could actually be worth driving to. That's gonna be interesting. You now, for other than cosmetic reasons, what's the purpose of putting the beacons on the Mastodon? You I can, get maybe other players can see you better, but that's like the only in case. Yeah, you j you could just turn the beacons on. That's about but it. I mean, like gameplay purpose wise. It's visibility. That's pretty much it. Right, visibility only matters when it's for other players because it doesn't light anything. I mean, it could matter if you are, for example, you're leaving a vehicle somewhere for whatever reason. Okay, I and suppose. then you're going back to the, the vehicle, off? and then yeah, okay, yeah, lights stay on even if the vehicle's off. Okay, that that changes things. <clears throat> Can you imagine if you had to manage, uh, manage a battery power of your vehicle and on top of fuel? And in hardcore mode. Ugh. Cool, your vehicle's unstuck, but um, you're out of battery. Oh, you have an autonomous winch. <laughs> yeah, you, but you're out of battery, so. Would be evil. Yeah. 
Mud tires. Do not like roads. Oil. This oil thing just literally just says oil. That's it. Anything is in there. Uh, coal. Sick. We put coal in barrels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barrel coal. Mm -hmm. Barrels of coal. That's the measuring, right? Hey, can you hand me a log of oil? I left my off-road out in the island lake because there's still some things it can do. There's some, like, exploration missions and whatnot. I just figure for now I will prioritize this mission before we do anything else. Because there's so many tasks available to us and they're all very strange. They're all very unique due to the weird situation of how the dam has a garage but nothing past the dam has a garage. That's pretty different. Wow. Inside of the Tatra shakes so much. I mean, if you look at the trap or the bandit, I hate how much the uh, the the body of the the bandit flexes so much while you're driving it. Like it bounces. Like no, like uh, like. Let's say the front end is twisting left, but the back end is twisting right. I don't know. I usually drive on the interior of that one, so. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever watch the body while it. you're driving over stuff, you're you're the cab of the truck's turning, like like flexing one way and the other one's the other way. I'm thinking like, man, if this is real life. That shit would have fucking snapped. Hi, Ashton. How's it going? It's so nice to not be in a scout and just be able to drive through mud better. <laughs> I mean, I'm only in the Tatra. I'm not in the fucking Macedon. Well, it's not like this is the greatest either. By making history, that's what doing. Making history. I've played those games. I've played two of them at least. I'm not sure which ones. i can probably check once I conquer these rocks. I streamed them. The hell are you eating? Chips. Yeah. The newer ones? I'm not sure. I, I gotta check in a second. I can just check my library. Alright, now we're in a nice safe spot. Let's see. Uh, which ones have I played? Making history. Uh, misspelled making. I played Making History, The Calm and the Storm, and Making History 2, The War of the World. That's, those are the ones I've played. I think I streamed both of them, or I streamed maybe the first one, and then I, I don't know. The second one might have just been off camera. I don't remember. It was a while ago. You know? You know off the top of your head if Ready or Not is one player or not? No. I would love to play that with you if it was one player. Uh, you probably just check the Steam page. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, they're both older games. I see. Yeah. Those. I got the the first one. I got for like I don't know thirty seventy cents, and I was like, all right, let's try this. This looks fun. And it was decent. It's it a lot of micro. Just because it was very dated, even when I played it. And then... Ooh! This is a tight fit. And then the second one, I think it had a similar amount of micro. But I think they were both pretty old, even when I played them. Never seen came to your channel. Well, hi! What videos brought you here? Judging by that selection of games, I assume Supreme Ruler? But I've had a whole bunch of Imperator Rome viewers recently but it sounds like supreme ruler 
basing assumptions. Good thing branches don't have uh, colliders, because top of this <laughs> thing just drove through a tree branch. A big tree branch. Like a weeping willow tree branch. Insert some gen alpha here. A uh, what? We're getting to the point where I have to start uh, making fun of gen alpha if I want to feel old. The zoomers are getting pretty old. Yep. And having to deal with adult shit. They're, they're the boomers now. The oldest uh, zoomers are 26. That's basically middle aged, right? Yeah. Actually, no, that's too yes. generous. They, they would call that old man territory. Oof. That is so not skibbity. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Why do you know Zoomer Slam? Why? Listen, listen. I am terminally online. You're over 30, Matt Nine. Why do you know <laughs> Zoomer Slam? Dude, I'm gonna be fucking 80 years old and still trying to do shit. Well, I do stuff, but I don't know Zoomer Slang. Uh... I'm not hip with the kids, yo. I'm not even 30. Ow, my engine. Who put this ground here? I'll sue you. <laughs> I have my headlights. I have all my headlights. Oh, thank God. There's a more direct path that they actually want you to take if you're in a not scout vehicle to come out here. By direct, I mean like it's a bigger road. But that bigger road takes much longer to follow. So I'm taking one of the scout paths in my Tatra. Good luck. It's not a Mastodon, it's working. Okay. And you could probably make it work in a Mastodon. You can make anything work in a Mastodon. A couple of scout roads. I, I was just, nice. Didn't you just get stuck <laughs> earlier? Hey, 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 hey. Like hey. perma stuck? I still made it work in the end, didn't I? You needed other vehicles to help. But I made it work. Without the Mastodon. It was wouldn't... only because I was trying to be a good boy and follow roads instead of just doing the cheaty thing I did to get there in the first place. What are you trying to be a good boy for in this game? Why are these lights in the back of my Tatra so bright, but they don't project any light at all? Seems like a weird choice. Here's a weird statement I haven't said in a while. The lights you use in video games are powered by real lights in the real world. What? <laughs> Get it? No. Oh, your game. Yeah. I'm just rendering these lights, right? Uh, parts of my computer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And those parts use real-world electricity. Yeah. Therefore, the lights in-game are powered via the electricity of the real world. And, and we're calling electricity light because it's energy. Right. Okay. I see. That's... Well, I think of this way. The, the lights coming from your car are being powered by the, the the energy from here. Yeah. Makes sense. It's a weird way to word it, but technically it makes sense. Technically correct is always the best kind of correct. Now oh, this is a narrow fucking path, and it's slanted. Holy shit. I think I'm on the part where there's literally only one path. I am. That's fun. Ooh, yay, mud.
The winch helps a little bit. The Tatra can overcome just about anything with enough time. It's very fuel efficient while doing so, at least compared to the Mastodon. <laughs> and the Mastodon's fully upgraded. The Tatra's not, because we have to go somewhere in Russia to upgrade it. At which point, it would probably be less impressive of a vehicle anyway. Because we would just have better. Like, the Caterpillar would be fully upgraded, it just wouldn't be as good in mud. Because the Caterpillar does not have mud tires. But will it? No. It has, it has no option for them at all? No. Okay. Off-road and chained. Ooh. Chained would be okay. Well, because chained is for ice. Yeah, Chain, chained and off-road are the same. But chained okay. is good for ice. That's it. Okay. That's the only difference. Doesn't help in mud at all. Ooh. You could make off-road work in mud. It's just better if you have mud tires. I'm here. I have arrived. This is a really far out there location. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a steep hill. This might help. Yeah, that helps. Well, Macedon should be able to do this part, no problem. Gets very steep, deep, and muddy all in one go, right as you approach the objective. Now I'm curious what, uh, on these trucks, like in the real world, like, what the the mechanism for changing from all-wheel drive and differential lock is like is it a switch is it something you have to like park and then do i don't know all right um my things i had to deliver are delivered mm -mm. hmm Where the hell is this? I don't know. Ugh, that's the only thing that unlocks anything over there, though. But that would help with a lot of other things. Probably. I don't think it will give, like, wooden planks, but it'll give other things. I have arrived to the dam. Warehouse access, warehouse access. Where are these? Oh, there. Oh, opening up another drilling site. I see. Okay. More um, oil. Oh, this is metal beams, this log station. I was not expecting that. Right over here. What do we have? Oh yeah, this one's fucking nuts. 
Ooh. Damn, I have to drive this thing all the way to the logistics base? Fuck. Yeah, I just had to do that drive. And now you do too. These don't seem too bad if I can get there. Coming from this way is actually the harder thing to do though. Because these are out. So they kind of, I guess they want you to come at it from the other way. It's definitely possible this way, but it wouldn't be simple. The directions of this, I don't understand the layout. Oh boy. Well, this is the closest log station. Uh, probably, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm thinking just like doing this rush to build all the bridges first is going to be pretty useful. Huh, this one needs like a lot of planks. How many planks? Too many. Well, if you take a Macedon and you put a trailer on it, it has five. Well, there's one that needs four. All the rest need two. So it has the bed. Does it have the, the one with the bed where it holds three? The Macedon can carry three, yeah. And then you get a trailer that holds five. That's eight. Planks you can that's, bring with you. Yeah, that's maybe just not convenient to get around. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. All right, maybe this one. That looks good to do. What truck should I bring? Should I be like you and just bring a Mastodon, or should I bring the Tatra for fuel efficiency, considering there's no gas station out here? I put a, a fuel tank on my Mastodon. But I'm gonna need that exact reason. I'm gonna need the sideboard bed for what Oof. I'm doing. Because I'm looking at getting all the bridges built out there. Oof. I think I'll just bring the Tatra out there. At the very least I can leave it out there, bring the Mastodon later if I need to. And I gotta get this baby down to Island Lake. Getting to Island Lake from here looks fun. Does this warehouse have wooden planks? It does. Well, that's cool. Remember correctly, this is actually a scout path, but it'll have to do. Hi, Jacob. How's it going? All right, long journey to get a Tatra all the way out to Island Lake. It's going to be easiest to approach it from Island Lake and then go west. It really sucks my vehicles don't stay persistent, though. <laughs> uh, it does, but... Assuming a player doesn't crash and has stable internet, usually that would be fine. You stay persistent as long as you need to. It's going, how about you? Playing some snow runner. We found, we went on to the next two areas and they don't have garages. <laughs> so that makes things kind of difficult. Because we have to drive every vehicle out. And if we need fuel, yeah. we need to source it there somehow or we need to just drive, like, teleport back and then drive all the way back, which is a waste of fuel. So, we actually and need utility vehicles for the first time ever. Yep. And if Brez crashes, and then anything I was doing, my progress is instantly paused at that spot. And I have to drive back to it. Yep. 
And if your internet DCs, same thing. This is where the Tatra's fuel efficiency is going to be great. I have no idea, like, what truck I would be using without the Tatra or the Macedon. Because it would be, like, just some shitty base game thing, maybe with mud tires by this point. Maybe. <laughs> Move on to a different region and deal with that. I mean, you could, but... Yeah. Michigan is supposedly notably easier than everything else. Oh, God. Yeah. And the b three base game regions are notably easier than all the DLCs. So this oh, is God. like a fraction of the difficulty we'll have to deal with, apparently. That's terrifying. It's, it's easing us in. No, I find this area so far just as hard as the late, later areas in uh, the first uh, Mudrunner. For the amount of playtime we have, this is already longer than Mudrunner, so that makes sense. Jesus Christ! We haven't even left the first region. Yeah. Yeah, the base game's supposedly like a hundred plus hours, so... And then, like, every DLC season is another hundred hours, and there's currently three full seasons. So... Yay! <sighs> ah, this. I remember this. Remember coming down here in a scout thinking, wow, this is terrifying, and then coming through here in a Macedon going, oh, that. Right. Easy. Now I'm coming through in a Tatra. I have no idea what I plan to assign you to after uh, you get that test done. There is an upgrade in the middle of a swamp that needs getting, so you and your Mastodon could probably do that easy. Um, Me. But I'm not sure what else exactly, because I'm looking at mostly getting bridges up, I don't think there was a single task that needed a crane in any of those other two locations, so... No, they did not. It's pretty yes. much just build a fuck ton of bridges. Yep. And get civilization built. Basically. I will put eight planks on a fucking vehicle if I need to, right now. That sounds like a terrible idea. We can get planks, by the way, in Island Lake. Mm. Also, technically, in both locations have planks. Both locations do not have gas. Both locations do not have trailer stuff. One has one of each. I wonder, actually. Um, if I go to Drummond Island. Uh... Yeah, I think I'll do that one first. The support local rangers in Drummond Island, but I'll approach it from this side. And then that can get that bridge built. And that's pretty important for connecting everything else. And then there's a fuel station right there. That seems good to me. That seems like a good start. Whew. I did it! Aw, oh, shit. 5,000 money, 420 XP. We're all set now. Go to parts you need from repair the tower directly from our warehouse. Cool. Alright. So, now I'm heading back to the island? Um... Yes. Hold on. <laughs> you gave, like, a two-second reaction time. Yes. 
Res, 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 res. So that makes spilling or drilling spare parts. Interesting. Um, let's see if those drilling spare parts are needed for anything while you're over there. How about? So what do you need me to do? Wait. Okay. I need you to wait. Wait. Well, I have nothing to pick up said drilling spare parts right now because I'm in a fuel vehicle. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, then it doesn't matter. In which case... Can we do this one yet? No. We can do this one. Um... Let's see. Oh, 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 I forgot. This is over here, huh? Okay. Um. Island Lake. Let's see. Where is this? Oh, God. Where is this? What the fuck? Uh... Oh, dear sweet fucking Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. So activate Lumber Mill Revival. It's a contract. As you come down to Island Lake through the dam, from the dam, there's a trailer, a curtain side trailer. You can bring that to its destination. That'll complete like half of that mission. But yeah, that's uh, which it. Task, which one is it? Uh, Lumber Mill Revival. Lumber Mill Revival, got it. You could bring a trailer, and if you're bringing a sideboard on the back, you can also bring maybe something else, if you can get... No, I don't think you could pick that up easily from here. Um, not easily, you can't. Alright. So I need to pick up that trailer that's there, and also go to the Lumber Mill and Island Lake and deliver... Con so I, I need... A two for the middle beams, and then another two for the concrete blocks. Um, the curtain side trailer, uh, do we know if it has anything on it? Probably, it's it's a quest trailer. Um, so if you're if you're actually willing to drive through the gateway to Black River, or whatever, you can stop in the town and just pick up the metal beams while you're there. Come back yeah. out and then just keep going down the road towards Island Lake. Pick up the trailer while you have the uh, metal beams in your bag or whatever, and then we'll just deal with the concrete blocks after. Okay. I'm not even. Easy. I don't think there's a super convenient way to get those. Yeah, not super convenient. There are ways, but not super convenient. Yeah. We got bricks, bricks and concrete slabs at the uh, the dam, look uh, storage place, and metal beams at the uh, storage way near Drummond Island. Well, yeah, but this is on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the, the, recover. Essentially. Customize. Um, concrete slabs don't on. matter. The concrete blocks, the best way I see to even get those is from, like, the Smithville Dam. I think there are some on Black River, but they're not in the town. They're, yeah, they're all the way at the other warehouse, which makes them even more inconvenient than these ones. Yeah, so just just one thing at a time. The beams are three long, right? Metal beams are too long. They're too long. Okay, so yes. I can I can bring the. Uh... All you you only need one metal beam as well, I think. Yeah. Moving over revival. Yeah, so just put the two long metal beams. That's it, uh, and then pick up the trailer as well and pull that while carrying that, and that's most of that mission, and that will be good. Alrighty. I, meanwhile... Black River... Gay Raj... Gay Raj... What do they have still beams in, um, Black River? The town storage? Yes. Okay. Oh. I guess I could just drive all the way through here. Hmm. 
Yeah, I could. Just drive there and drive all around. I'm gonna. I'm focusing on bridges right now. But what you're doing will help unlock another warehouse. So I figure we just get that least, though, part done. Yeah, that'll at least shorten our trips for delivering of stuff. What will? Unlocking more houses. Yeah, yeah, that will let us pick stuff up from other places. Are you no longer on Twitch? No, I stopped Twitch like over a year ago. It's been a long time. Put everything on YouTube because YouTube is easier to stream on when you have not the greatest internet. And plus, I already have a channel, so. And unlike Twitch, I'm actually partnered here, which helps. You know what's so funny about my partnership on YouTube? I got it when I was like 12. And they didn't, they have a thing now that gets rid of that. So the channel that I got that on is actually no longer partnered. Um, but I still have it on this channel. But when I started this channel, it just had membership because my first channel had membership or the partnership. So it just kind of carried that over. I got it on a Bro, YouTube channel that only had 200 subs, I think, at the time. 200 subs? That's so many, Rez. I think. I think it was 200. 2 to 300. Chocolate Rain, the most popular video on YouTube, only had like 200,000 views. Partnered? Hmm, yes. And, and I, was, I got partnered on YouTube when I was like 12. I also got featured on the YouTube homepage in a video that got an astounding... 10,000 views or something. <gasps> Never mind the fact that I have a video that has like half a million. But 10,000 views, man, that was a lot back then. There wasn't billions of like YouTube. That's half the people on the internet. Viewers. Literally like half the actual unique users of the internet essentially have a YouTube account and actually watch YouTube. See, I'm rarely on Twitch. I go there because you other use Twitch, don't just me. Yeah, I, I don't use Twitch anymore. I'm only here. And Twitch isn't doing... YouTube has been improving more and more and more, and Twitch is, like, barely keeping up in terms of, like, streamer tools. So given that I'm partnered here and YouTube keeps improving, it's just... I don't see a reason to stream on Twitch. Yo tub, yo yo tube, yo tub, tub 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 tub. Yes. This is a heck of a drive. Would you say that it's a highway to hell? No, no, it's not much of a highway. It's, it's, I'm about to drive into a literal water. So, I wouldn't even call this a road or a path. I feel like if I was actually taking the Macedon, I would be out of fuel by the time I got to my destination or before it. Because I'm going from the garage 
in uh, in the dam through the entirety of Island Lake over to Drummond. Drummond Island. That's that's how much driving I'm doing. Because I'm going to build a bridge over there that connects directly to the, the gas station over there. Because that'll help. And I'm going to come back. Maybe. There's a, there's a, that 10 hut mission over in Drummond Island is very demanding. I think it's also in a very inconvenient location. But we're not doing that right now, so I don't need to look at that right now. It's fine. Woo! Jesus fucking Christ! The back of my truck is filling up with water right now. <laughs> Holy shit! Who put this... Who put this, this miniature pond here? You would have killed your scout there. I think I've come through here with a scout. Oh. Huh. Pretty sure I have. I, how the fuck do you make it through? Uh, snorkel? Okay, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All hail the mighty snorkel. Yes. You know what's funny is like a lot of the objects in the in the game, like there's some random like vehicles and like all the crates that spawn in. Do not have physics until you get really close to them. Yeah, yeah. That's that's everything. That's so Even funny. your own cars, if you leave them out and you go up to them in another one. That's a way to save on a lot of rendering. Yeah. Right, metal beams is what I needed, right? Yes. All right, metal beams acquired. That's all they have there, anyway. Uh... As I damaged my tire hitting a traffic cone. To quote Michi, that sounds like an ish you and not an ish me. I miss Michi. What's he been doing? Um, I don't know. He shows up to play EDF is, or, or any Souls like, but like those are the only games I know of that he <laughs> plays. I don't know. He, he kind of, he, he did the. Why do I have all these here? Oh, this is from a while ago. Wow, I had waypoints on Island Lake and it remembered them, even though I set waypoints somewhere else. Um, Mitchell has been... He kind of... He kind of pulled a Ralph and completely, like, stopped playing most video games. And instead, he started rapping. Ew. He did exactly what Ralph did. So uh, let's let's look at members of conglomerate, and what what they've <laughs> gone on to do. Uh, Ram got arrested. That's what Ram did. He just, he just got arrested, and then vanished into Boston one day. He got a, he did not get arrested in Boston though. He got arrested in Florida. Um, Roy, Newt, started. Uh, he, he just started gaming with some, some girl streamer he met one day and then completely vanished off the face of everything and everyone that she he used to knew, no, to go play with that girl streamer. Um, Mitchie and Ralph basically stopped making videos to start rapping. Well, first Ralph got distracted by poker, to make that clear. First, he became a poker player. Poker, hardly knew her. Now, now he, he just does his whatever. I don't know. And then, then I think that's everyone. And I'm here. Hi. 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 I hear. I've I went through like 26 gallons getting to where I am right now. Ow, that hurt. And. I feel like the Macedon would be more than halfway out of fuel by reaching this point. 
Which isn't good because there's no gas station on this map. There's a trailer point that you can load up and just like purchase fuel, essentially. So like you, you buy the trailer, get fuel, put the trailer back. Or just leave it there, but yeah. Pretty much. Trailer, hardly know her. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Fez, can you gas my truck up? I d where? Uh, huh? back on the the dam. On the dam? Yeah, I'm at the dam now. Smithville Dam. I. What do you think I had there to gas you up? There's a That's gas crazy. station on the way to here. Fez, I need you to get in my car and fuel me up. Oh, I see. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. Oy vey. Such Such a small thing. Such a huge inconvenience. Yes. All right, you're gassed Thank up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, buddy. Thank God these loading screens are like literally one second. Yeah. Almost like they don't even need to be there. Except for Xbox and PS4. I wonder how much of that is, is loaded in RAM and how much of it is just how fast SSDs. Um... Well, it's probably used to streaming a certain amount of data, and it's mm. probably hard coded into it. Yeah. So it does. It is going to come up, up to storage, but I don't think it's going to come up to anything faster than a SATA SSD, given the fact that this needed to work on an Xbox and a PS4, which only had hard drives to begin with. 2020 or not, or well, 2018 in this case, or not doesn't really matter because it's just going to take into account the lowest common denominator and maybe go slightly above that. Slightly. Oh, now consoles all have SSDs. Woo. But different speeds. A PS4 has essentially a slower Gen 4 NVMe in it. Mm -hmm. So basically the, the one you got me. Um, and a Xbox essentially has a faster Gen 3 in it. So basically the one you were looking at buying me mm -hmm. at first. I know you could put a Gen 4 in a Gen 3 slot. Can you put a Gen 3 in a Gen 4 slot? I don't see why not. I know it's backwards compatible, but I don't... I don't think it's forwards compatible, right? I don't see why you shouldn't be able to. You said, you said put a 3, a Gen 3, into a Gen 4 slot, right? Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. I, I'm not sure if it works like that. But I know that that could have been a problem, technically, because... That old PC it didn't actually have a Gen 3 slot. It had two Gen 4 slots, and that's it. There's also expansion cards, but... Yeah. Oh my god, uh, apparently there used to be a uh, mount where... Uh, on the motherboard, the mount for the, for the NVMe SSD stuck straight out of the motherboard. Just poked straight out. An expansion card isn't too different if you get, like, a bigger one. Yeah, but that makes sense because it's going to PCIe slot, and that's just how everything's aligned. But I'm saying, the motherboard's PCIe slot stuck out of the motherboard, and you had to get an adapter for vertical uh, NVMe mount. That's fun. 
And there's videos of people with that didn't know you were supposed to do that, and they, they just left it in the box and never opened it up and used it. And so their NVMEs were just sitting there in their case, in their motherboard, just sticking out of the motherboard, sagging slightly. And like, you jostle the computer, that NVMe is coming out, you know? Yeah. That's how we're Allen turning left and right. Uh, yeah, it's because the hand placement is tied to an animation keyframe. So when the wheel is in one spot, the hand needs to be exactly in that spot. It's not very adaptive. It is weird, and I'm just learning to ignore it because I've been doing this first person so much. Sometimes it's just Does easier because, I mean, look at this fucking view. I can't see what's in front of me. So. Does your character uh, also, like, take his hand off the wheel to shift? Yeah, I think so, yeah. So, like, you're, you're in the middle of a turn with only one hand on the wheel, and that hand is now needing to go to the shift. If you shifter. honk fast enough, you will honk without actually pressing the honk. Yeah. Okay. This this game doesn't have uh, arrow keys to drive. It might be hey, something that you can bind. Game? What? I can't believe games used to be where like you moved with the arrow keys and you shot with a space bar. Ugh. Yeah. Your abilities were you tied to Z, X, C, V, B. Some some games still come out without mouse support. Some very rare games do that. Not by default. Uh, well, well, for example, Dynasty Warriors Eight does not have mouse support. Ew. Can't you can't mod it in? You can't turn it on. It doesn't exist. Ew. Yeah. Is that just because it's a really bad lazy port? Yeah. Fuck. You couldn't even put in fake mouse move where it's just it's just the left and right. I can't even make the arrows to like be movement in here because there's this game doesn't have secondary key binding. So that oh god. So it's always going to be WASD, which is a shame because when I'm just driving in first person and there's not a lot I need to do, what I used to do in uh, Euro Truck to get my left hand to break is just use the arrow keys. That's not an option here. I am about to finally reach the map that I'm going to, and I'm finally almost halfway through my fuel. I'm pretty confident <laughs> the Macedon would be out of fuel by this point. Hey, look, there's my bandit that I left here hours ago. It's going to stay there. Might need to drive around it. You can always refuel from it. No, there's a gas station on the other map. Okay. I'm not wasting this fuel. The most I might want to do is repair from it, but I have if like I don't barely have any enough damage. fuel to get me to the gas station, can I use it? I don't. Does your? Where do, where do I even have you? Go? I don't even have you going to the gas station. Okay. This the and the bandit is literally past where you're going. Okay. You definitely won't. I don't. I doubt you would have enough fuel to make it there. But there but, are fuel trailers on that map. Okay. So you shouldn't need my help to source this kind of stuff. Okay. Wish me luck. Right, let's see. So support local rangers. Activate that. And there's a log station right here. So, come around hither, hather, hother, Mitchy doesn't have hother. a father. <laughs> and then... Your mom is hot, she's got me in a bother. Matt 9 is banned. <laughs> Oh, 
Let's just do this part first and figure the rest out after. I'm sorry. Again, get deported just like my father. Oh, hey, there's a sideboard trailer right in front of me that has a uh, wooden Bricks. planks on it. Ah. Probably not going to take it because I have a trailer in the back already and I need to go past a loading zone, which I'm actually not going towards right now. I have to go past a loading zone for logs anyway, so I might as well just not deal with the trailer unless I plan on going back. Because there's nowhere to sell the trailers over there. So yep. there's no point. We need to go this way. I turn my head to look at mirrors when I just go in third person for a second. Acquired and down to the island. <laughs> ah, look at all that wood. You know, basically the entire time I drove through Island Lake on the main road, I didn't have all-wheel drive on and I didn't even notice because oh, shit. it was just that smooth. <laughs> I didn't need it. The actual main road is not very bad, even in a Tatra. You would really never notice it. I wonder how much better it would have been if you actually had it on. I don't know. But it didn't feel like anything was missing. I just went down a hill full speed. It was awesome. As fast as this fucking Mastodon has ever gone. This is the task. This is not the delivery point. That was weird. The game spawned in a deer and then despawned it as soon as it got too close, which was like in the same distance. Closest Rez will get to driving a vehicle is in this game. What are you talking about? I've driven a car in real life. I've driven a couple cars in real life. Bridge! I have made bridge! Bridge has been made. Behold, wow, you made short made work of that. Folks. Your bridge fixing reputation is well earned. I'll spread the word. Don't be surprised if folks with bridge issues start coming out of the woodwork. Ha! They already have. Trust me, they already have. All right, so a bridges and men. I can do that one next. Cause that's just right here. I just gotta turn around, go pick up more logs and then just bring them over here. I can refuel before leaving cause the only other bridge here is 10 hut. And that needs, that's that's a not a wooden bridge. That needs a lot of materials that can simply not be sourced here. So. Yes, but you drive no longer. True, but I technically, until 2025, I have a legal license. So I can technically drive, legally. Just not in this state, because he doesn't have insurance. 
Um, I can still technically drive. When you live here, you're supposed to update your insurance, technically, which requires you to have insurance. But technically, I have a legal license. So technically, I can drive. But if you get in an accident... And that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> I love that joke where it's like, if you owe a hundred dollars, that's your problem. If you owe a million dollars, that's the bank's problem. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I flipped my Tatra. Do you mind if I reposition this fuel uh, carrier to a more advantageous location that's on this map? Sure. It's one Go in the ahead. middle of the woods that, that's just like not near anything. Sure, yeah. Go ahead. I don't okay. care. Nice, nice indeed. This is where our first person did not help. In the Tatra, I don't have as much window to view stuff as I do in this one, so I did not see the rocks that would then cause me to flip. If I was Matt 9, I'd be rapidly spamming escape right now. <laughs> Why? Because I'm on that little loading cinematic. <laughs> I would be rapidly spamming escape while complaining right now. Oh, I'm just taking forever. Hurry up. Instead, I'm so tired of looking at this cutscene. Instead, you know what I did? I took a drink of water, and the cutscene was over. How insane. Oh, looks like I'm dragging you then. I don't got no mount. You could just, like, buy one. I don't have the space for it, because I got the, the beams. I mean, like, a trailer. Oh. But, no, like, this requires a, a, a hitch. I know. You can buy a trailer. That map has a trailer, like, I understand now. location that you can buy from. I am now in understanding of thine garbage. Yes. As you said earlier, you can buy one, refuel, and then sell it, if you so choose. Yes. is not technically the way, but it does work. And it is simpler. Alright, now. How the fuck am I unflipping this Tatra? Because recovering is not like a simple option. And how do I do it without flipping the bandit? Oh god. This hill is fun. You could drag it straight backward until you can get to a point where you can get uh, perpendicular to it. <laughs> well, this won't work. 
I think just get if I can get around it, that's the best thing. God oh, damn it. Ugh. Here's an idea. Where's this trailer store you speak of? It's all the way the fuck down there. That's out of my way. Uh, whenever you get a chance, Rez, mm. I, I could use your assistance. The uh, taking over my vehicle and the refueling of my vehicle. Alright. I have unflipped my Tatra. Yay. Is this engine on? No, it was off. Now it is off again. Uh Island Lake. Refuel you with fuel carrier semi tr Oh my god, why is that flipped? Did this semi start out flipped? That nine? Mm hmm. Did that semi start out flipped? Yeah. Did it really? I mean. It started off correct, um, okay, but so I dragged you... it. I dragged it somewhere easier to get to. And, and is it easier to get to now? Yeah, because before it was it was on a scout trail that nothing else could get to really. Oh boy. But now it's conveniently on the other side of a power pole. And flipped. Oh, that's a huge repair roof rack. The roof rack of the Tatra can repair more than the fucking maintenance add-on frame of the Bandit. And yes, I did refuel it. Thank you. Everything is fully repaired. All right, now. Gotta get over there. Of bridges and men. <laughs> this bandit's coming in handy. If this was just you playing, how far do you think you'd be in the game right now? Um, I don't know. Probably a lot farther, actually. Because I would have been playing it every single day. And okay, true. Not three okay. times in three and, weeks. And as many sessions by um, yourself. Probably 
more than halfway certainly because my sessions are longer because hmm. I don't usually quit at 7 p.m. yeah but clearly not as far naturally yeah Probably, I'd probably be on the damn map doing something. I'd be finishing that up by this point. Gotcha. I would have also had a, to complete that Alaska tutorial. So. That would need to have been done. Yeah. There was so much April Fool stuff going on April Fools and I like almost forgot that it was that date. I saw a bunch of stuff there. There's no way that's real. Oh, there's no way that that's that sounds so stupid. I like I did not naturally come across a single April Fool's joke. I like I for me this was like April Fools didn't even happen because I found out late in the day that it was April Fools and I, I saw nothing about any April Fools anything. Any April Fools th thing that I've heard has come from someone else and I've heard of it after April Fools. And that only really equals like two things. It's probably like the quietest April Fools of my whole life. I'm about to build another bridge. Hey Rez. Yes. Am I in the right location? Um, hang on. Find the lake. Let's see. Uh, broken lumber mill, you are. I don't see the mission marker. I might need to be in your vehicle. I'm not because probably because okay. I'm not even on the same map as you. Okay, um, I'll oh. out of it then. Um, okay, let's see. Maybe I needed to accept it, I don't know. But I have accepted it now. Okay, now I have the marker. Okay, so I needed to accept the mission. Okay, items delivered. Yay, and I am about to build a <clears throat> a bridge I'm right next to dropping off this stuff what is my next mission I'll tell you after I build this bridge already which is right in front of me Wooden bridge! Alright. A bridges and men. Uh, when you fix a bridge stronger than it was when it's first built. It's crazy. I wish more people took this much pride in their work. Oh, when, when you fix a bridge. Me and all the forest rangers in Michigan, thank you. You're welcome. Alright. Uh, let's figure this stuff out. Hmm. There's a couple things that could be done. Um. There's an upgrade still over there that hasn't been found yet in the northeast. I don't know if you feel like getting that. Um. There's the... There's also missions that involve recovering vehicles, like that scout you were pulling earlier. There's also something to restore that Western Star 6900 twin steer in the Northeast. Mm 
These are pretty decent things. Um, um, but uh, let's see. Yeah, and while, while you're there, those are fairly simple things that can be done. Let's see. Recovering cars, grabbing that upgrade. You can do the car recovery one. It's also a bunch Someone? of trailers that can be moved. Yeah, uh, what's the uh, car recovery one? There's a couple of them. Huntsman in the car, and I think... Rusty Legacy as well, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Gotta recover cars and drag them somewhere. And there's plenty of trailers to pick up as well. Mm -hmm. So there's like infinite things over there. Where's a trailer store at? On the other side of the fucking broken bridge. See, that's the problem is that this, this, this is one bridge that's broken right here. I know. And that's why really? I'm fixing bridges. I just fixed two bridges over here in Dromond. Now I can start ferrying wood through there. That's kind of a task I've given myself. But there is a way around that bridge. And it's it's actually the main road that goes around that bridge anyway. So it's kind of convenient. Some logs up here, come over here, hither, hather, hother, and then Island Lake. Alright, so I'm heading back to Island Lake now. I'm gonna get started on the bridges over there. Now I'm going to refuel at this gas station. Before I go. The Tashra carries a decent amount of extra fuel with, on the roof rack too. Like 43 gallons. That's almost half a tank mm -hmm. for this thing. And it usually goes one to two gallons a minute. So that's actually pretty nice. That's enough to get out of literally any even terrible situation, and then some. Over in Drummond Island, technically speaking, this area is good as well. Oh, there's a there's also a crane mission over here. Oh. Do you have a crane on the Macedon or no? I, I do. Okay, well, that's something you could do as well, is you come over here and do the crane mission. Okay. All the bridges here are built, which would make this pretty simple. If, if it could give you something to do if, if you want to also operate around a gas station. And not have to be over there while I build the bridges. Okay. Um, I can at least... Yeah, no, everything's pretty far out, out here. Uh, yeah, nothing's convenient in these two locations. Yeah, regardless. Okay. So... So this bridge over here will eventually get fixed then? Yeah, I'm I'm about I'm on my way right now. I'm gonna collect the wood. You want me to prioritize that specific bridge? No, no. Um I don't know which one I'm going for yet until I get over there. Uh, I'll I'm wait until I run out of fuel. Let me let me like see if I run out of fuel. If I do then I'll I'll switch gears, but for now I'll just do the uh the uh huntsman and what's the other one? Rusty Legacy? Uh, I think so, yeah. It's like a right, Chevrolet I'll, I'll, I'll and something else you have to pull. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep doing those two for now. Mm. Sounds good. 
I got some wooden planks, and I'm heading over there. I have enough to fix one bridge. Although one of those bridges, I forget which one, requires two deliveries. I don't remember which one it is. Might be the one that you're complaining about. I'll see when I get over there. I'm in my Tatra, not the Macedon, because I don't want to be running on fumes all the time like you are. It's nice. I was able to drive, like, all the way from the garage through that entire island lake all the way over to, uh, island, island lake or whatever. Drummond, Drummond Island, these names. Drummond Island, and I was able to do a two different deliveries of wood. And I still had like 40 gallons out of 101 of fuel. So that was nice. And I just refilled over here. And I'm at 95 again. And I saw 43 at the top, so. That's nice. All right. Let's see. Oh, bridges. Oh, bridges. Oh, bridges. The closest one to me is corporate extension. Um, the one that's over here is... Here it is. What? Interesting observation. So, when, uh, if you remember, I dragged a car a little bit away from its starting location. Yeah. Closer to where it was supposed to go, but I gave up halfway and left it there. Yeah. It is in the same spot I left it in before yeah. your game crashed. I see it. So, uh, objects are, are persistent, even um, story objects are persistent in between crashes. Well, yeah, because yeah, that's, that's in my world. Yeah, yeah, your world. Yeah. It's... It's because it's not one of your items. It's one of mine. Okay. Yeah. yeah the the one down there, the bot that's called Bob's Bridge, and that's the one that takes the most amount of wood to repair. Did we ever figure out like what would happen if I bought a trailer, left it somewhere? Cause that would suck if that was a, a way for me to lose money infinitely. I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure. Um, I feel like it would just kind of go there in your world. Because it's a trailer and not a truck. Yeah. But I don't know. Ideally, we don't ever need to know. It was super know. late, super late in the game that I haven't gotten to because I haven't played my single player yet. You know? Uh, yeah, that would. Uh, I don't know. But I'm gonna do a quick BRB. Okay. Or
Hi, Dax. Where did Rush go? I don't know. Punchman in the car. Rewards. I've been there all day trying to get the damn thing out of more view. Thanks a lot, buddy. You're welcome. I know. I did everything. goes I fucking I had Asus Armory crate open the moment I opened the game it just fucking like froze <laughs> what are you doing crate. uh end task thank you damn you Asus 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 Uh, do you want me to uh, pick up this trailer that's nearby me and then uh, just like deliver it to a sale place? You can. Yeah, oh. sure. Uh, I'm gonna start dropping off this wood. I have to mark my destination, sort of. Oh, this one isn't marked. What's that? Oh, this one was not marked. Looks oh damn it, oh let's see. Is it a mission one? No. Because otherwise I would be able to see it. I was saying oh wait no I can't take this one because uh, I need to pick up this truck this truck, so not happening. I I'm, I was looking at a curiosity, and I don't believe that this game Magic. even makes my s GPU fan spin. Uh, no, it has not made my spin so far. Like it, like obviously uh, the occasional spin up, and then that's it. Not continuous. The uh, Spider-Man game, though. Get that shit going. Yeah, my GPU is... My GPU's fans are not spinning. And it's sta it's just staying that cool. And I don't exactly remember... What the fucking fan curves on this this PCR, but I know like they're not sp like the case fans aren't spinning at a hundred or anything. I, I just kind of auto generated them on this one. And I was like, oh, that looks good. On the old one, I actually manually did the whole thing. So I have a better idea of what it looks like. I don't really remember. I just know they both hit a hundred at the same time. I know that. I'm, I'm glad I saved $100 and didn't get the, the version of this case with the screen on it, because from where I'm sitting, I cannot see the screen at all. I'd have to rotate the whole PC, which would put things in a less advantageous place for cables. It would give you a screen? There's a screen for this case. Yeah. Yeah. And what does it do? Uh, whatever, it, it, it literally acts just like an extra monitor screen. Oh, like what you're, the fuck? Typically, you... Typically, you'd use it to control, like, and stuff, or overclocking stuff, or literally just have random pities on it, like, whatever you want. It, it, it literally acts just as another window. Yeah. My CPU stays surprisingly cool while playing this. Yeah. It's funny, though, because you have to run um, in HDMI, because it runs off HDMI. Um, inside of the uh, the case, and figure out a way to route it to the back of your GPU. But I did not need or want it, so I omitted that from a thing that saved 100 bucks off the case. I think this is the first game I've ever played where my GPU is hotter than my CPU. 
<laughs> and it's still not spinning. I think it just started spinning finally. It'll, it'll stop like in seconds. Yeah. This is not a very CPU heavy game, it would seem. Usually my CPU gets hotter than the GPU. But this is cooler than they act in a lot of other games that I play. It's crazy. I should actually, at some point, look at, memorize what my fan curves are on this one. Because I forget how they're set up compared to the... Rez, are you seeing you need to get it memorized? The other one. Wooden planks, bridge, build. Yay! There is a bridge built. It's a shitty bridge. You're the man. Bridge is solid. We struck oil. Boss asked me to let you know he very much appreciates your assistance and won't forget what you've done. So is there like some? I'm gonna. I guess I'll just go across here and just explore it real quick. And come back down. It's a log station, right? Yeah. So that's where that is. Um, maybe we can go through here. It's not going to be simple, but maybe it might just be safer to go up around like that. Where there's still a scout trailer in the middle of the road. Naturally. All right. It's a wooden bridge. Every bridge we build here, I think, is going to be made of wood. <clears throat> this doesn't look like it's running to me. <laughs> I'm curious. Can I... Train this Drilling bitch. equipment. That'd be funny as fuck if I could. This place lets you load up drilling equipment, so I guess that's kind of newly unlocked in a way. <laughs> Rez, I picked the truck up off the ground. You picked a truck off, off the ground. Yes. There's currently a truck uh -huh. in my crane. Okay. Interesting. I remember you tried to lift mine. But it was the wrong kind of crane. I wonder if I can put it in my truck and pack it. Um, I don't know. Find out. It's not a resource, so. Not sure. Nope, I cannot. Let's see if I can drive like this. It'd be a terrible idea. Alright, where am I taking this bitch? Go build another bridge. But first, I need more wood. But there's wood on this map. So that works. That's where I am. I can pick up the wood for you, Rez. You're... Not at the correct kind of wood. Oh, I'm at a log station. There's yeah. medium logs, okay. Yeah, no, I'm going for wooden planks. Okay. Never mind. If you want to pick up wood, you still can. The the big bridge that you want fixed needs two deliveries of wood. Okay. But you have to come over here, and I, I can just do that anyway, and there's still a crane mission that needs to be done. So, and there's, like, infinite trailers, so there's a bunch of things that need to be done still regardless. 
this truck first, and then I'll, maybe I'll go do that uh, train mission. Or there's a couple of upgrades on this map I can go just grab the scout real quick. Yes. You feel quieter. Sorry, there. Is that back to normal? Nah, that's better. Okay. Yeah, just I think after this, after this truck, I'll grab those upgrades and I'll do that crane mission. Uh, where's the crane mission called? Uh, well, it's in it's in um, Drummond. Mm -hmm. And it is lost delivery. There's three special cargos that you have to pick up around the map and deliver to cargo storage. And there's a gas station over there. There's also a car that can be recovered on that map as well. I used all my repair supplies on this truck over here that needs uh, repairs. Um, but it's not finished, so... Is it the big truck? Mm-hmm. Okay. That'll, that'll be a... Yeah, that makes sense. It's a pretty large truck. Took every little bit of repair stuff that I had and still had like a hundred more repair that needed. I assume you didn't bring a special repair kit though. It was just the stuff on like the roof racks and stuff. Uh, that's what I had. Yes. Okay. So that, that's not actually a lot, so that makes sense. What else is in Drummond? Just 10 hut. Yeah, so basically everything in Drummond that's a task that is not 10 hut is doable. And it would be, sim would be simple and not too bad given the setup. It also needed gas, but I had no gas to give it because I need the gas for me, so... Yeah, well, well, you'll have fuel when you get over to Drummond. Mm -hmm. um, Ten Hut's gonna be fun... to do. I have wooden planks. Let's see. Now, the North Bridge or Bridge the Gap. Wow, there are so many bridges that need building on this map. Like a lot. There's a whole bunch. Okay, I'll do Bridge the Gap first. I don't know how good of a road this will be for a truck like this, but I'll do it anyway. Oh gosh. I'm scared. Rusty Legacy, that was quite the beater if I would have left it out there. Already brought it back, see if I can get running again, thanks anyway. Is that both of the cars to be recovered here? Yes. All right. I'm now going to grab these two uh, scout or the upgrades on the map. There's two of them here. Uh, there's one. I thought there was two. Hold on. I only know of one. Yeah, I'll grab the one. And then I'm going to go do the crane mission. Okay. Uh, slight detour. I'm going to go to the trailer store over here. Do you want me to finish up that truck repair over there or no? Um... You can, yeah. Okay. If you feel like buying a, a trailer for it. I don't, don't need it because I could just buy, uh, refit my uh, repair thing and then go over to it. How do you refit your repair thing? Uh, I go to a trailer store. I buy fuel. I buy a uh, trailer for repair. I just reload. Okay, so, so, my... so you do have to buy the, the repair trailer. So you, you can just fill up the... Mm -hmm. Like, That's what I'm saying. I'm buying the trailer temporarily to yes, refill my I, I top know, mounted yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know you could just refill that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think that was possible. I know it works with fuel.
It's raining. Hallelujah. It's raining, it's muddy, and I'm driving in a swamp. But I'm in a Tatra, which... Oh, is this is this your car? My, is it the Chevrolet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's still over there. Because there's still some things it needs to do on this map. There's a, a scout mission that has you go to a bunch of points. There's an exploration mission, so... I had it over here for that, but I wanted to get the bridges done first. I also probably need to recover the scout trailer you left in the middle of the road, so... Uh, it's still out here. Saving. Yes, it does intermittently save. Okay, I am incorrect. You cannot refuel your maintenance. Uh, okay, back. that's what I figured. Yeah, I thought you could. Because because I've I've looked at it so many times and there was never a way to do that. Um, ba, 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 ba. And this is th I figured this was the most likely result. I was tempted to say I'm pretty sure you can't, but you seemed pretty sure of yourself, so I just decided to let you figure it out. Okay. Well, uh, do you still want me to uh, <laughs> fix that truck, though? I can bring this trailer over there, no problem. Sure. I'll just bring it, I'll just bring it back with that. You can do that. I had a, it's funny, I had another experience like that, literally just yesterday, where someone left a comment on one of my strategic command videos, where I do a lot of talking about history, and I mentioned about how uh, Japan in World War II, the reason Pearl Harbor was attacked was because the Navy wanted to attack in the Pacific, because Navy, Pacific. They think they can do the job. They think the army sucks. Because the army got their asses beat, kind of, by the Soviets just before World War II. And the army wanted to fight the Soviets because they thought they could do the job. But the navy had the influence. The army was considered to suck. Therefore, the navy won. Pearl Harbor happens. And this guy commented, and he's like, uh, actually, the army wanted to attack, and the navy... Uh, the, uh, America. The Navy didn't, but the Navy couldn't stop it. And they, they didn't attack the Soviets because the army did bad against the Soviets. And I read that, I was like, that is the opposite of logic. And I'm 99% confident you have it backwards. But at first I didn't reply because I was like, I don't feel like it. He seems very confident of himself. And then I, and then I just got curious and I double checked my own information. And I was in fact correct. And then I decided to leave a reply. Bridge! Bridge. But that new bridge, this place is running like a well-oiled machine. Get it? it well-oiled? Because we're drilling for oil? Oh man, uh. I kill me. Anyway, thanks bud. Thanks, yeah. But that doesn't even make like numerical sense. All right, you just got your ass handed to you, right? Yep. Yes. That means you're probably low on manning. Yep. Does it make sense that you would want to attack someone else while you're still low manning? Yep. Nope. Oh. I, I don't understand the logic he was working with, and he hasn't replied, so I, I just... But it's the opposite of logic? Like, so I don't understand? Did he ever reply? No, he never replied. Sad face. Yeah, no, he never replied. Yeah, I have the actual does comment he know, here. But does he know about American ice cream boats? It says the Japanese army wanted to attack the USA. The Navy did not, but they couldn't stop it. The army had gotten their butts kicked in pre-war clashes with Russia. Like, he has the exact reason for why the Should. army failed to do what he says the Navy wanted to do. Yeah. Which is the opposite. 
and he highlights one specific naval commander when he refers to Navy instead of referring to the actual decision makers in the Navy at that time, which is really weird. The person he highlighted did in fact not want to attack America, true, but that doesn't mean the army did. I don't know. Here's the one thing that backs me up. And here's the pile of evidence that says I'm wrong. It's one uh, paper. I, I knew don't know. It. It's very strange. Confirmation bias is a bitch. Oh, I didn't actually go over there. Oops. I don't know why I didn't. Let's go explore. I mean... We're gonna be Explora. Did it, did it, did Aura. Eh? 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 Yeah, I know what Dora is. <laughs> I was waiting for the angry sigh. No. Oh. I, I reference Dora all the time. What do you think? Like this is a surprise to me. Every time, like not not every time, but plenty of the time, I will say we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, I'm tracking. But Something I stole Spanish. I stole, we did it. I stole an opportunity from you. Yeah. So I mean, I make references all the time. This is yeah. like you're you're just fitting in here. All right. Well, here's a new engine for your Chevy. Hey. Probably won't use it, but hey. You got achievement. Achievement. That was all the upgrades in all of Michigan. Oh, nice. Yeah, it makes sense, Great. considering we've explored basically all the maps now. And I'm still not level 14. I'm so close. I'm 250 away. XP wise, <laughs> that's that's like a low level mission to get to as well. Uh, well, a lot of these missions only give a hundred, so really okay. I thought they were a little. We've back. we've been earning it progressively, but by the time these bridges are done, yeah, I'll I'll be level fourteen. And then you can put, get my tires on your on your uh, uh, off road, right, or whatever. Um, not well. No, I, I need the fuel for the uh, scouts. The fuel for the scouts uh, is the main thing that's hidden right now. So, like, if you wanted to use the DLC car, that's more of an option, because you would have way more storage for fuel. Gotcha. For and the, the Chevy would be able to that. get it as well. Just everything that's, like, scout-wise would get that new roof rack that would come with a bunch of fuel. Something like 40-plus gallons, I think. Which is a lot. It's a lot, a lot. I need to make, in total, I think there's still three more bridges I have to make, meaning there's four more runs of wood to do over here until all these bridges are built. There's still one more bridge to make total, and it's going to be over in Dromond, but it needs so much crazy bullshit to make it. I'm just saving that for now. That's, that's the port. All this stuff works for now. Yeah. Okay, this truck is now fully repaired. Uh, what do we do with it? Uh, it has to be driven somewhere. Um, I might just be able to hop into it from where it is, maybe? Or maybe it has to be dragged somewhere. I don't know. I don't see it listed. No country for old truck. Oh. Um, it says just it says fuel? it has to be restored, is what it says. I'm getting a. It needs uh, fuel. Icon. It needs fuel. Okay. Okay. That's what it needs. Refuel. And done. That's it. The girl says life oh, left dude. in her. We can't find a VIN, but no one's gonna miss the whole team anyway. 
What's a VIN? Some sort of identification number, I guess? Uh, yeah, it's a vehicle identification number. Ah, uh, okay. It's a serial for your, your car. Yeah. Hi! And that's the thing that goes on the back of my, uh... Bandit. Yeah. God. Well, this is a big truck. Yeah. I'm gonna recover it now. So you get to keep that, I don't. Correct. But you can buy it now. Okay. Can I though? Because I haven't unlocked it on my uh, yes. map, so... Yes. Okay. So long as you... If it's unlocked in my map, you can buy it. If it's unlocked okay. on your map, then you get it for free. Okay. This is definitely a, uh, a truck. It has mud tires. Oh my good god. <laughs> this, this truck has a purpose. It actually has a purpose. Oh. There's there's no changing the back of it. It's always going to be that super long flatbed. Okay, yeah. So, it has a purpose, but I'm not sure what the purpose is. How many uh, slots is that bitch? I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't select it and see. Mm. It's just on there by default, and there's no changing it. It looks like at least four. You can look it up and see what it can do. Western Star 6900 Twin Seer. Yeah, 69. Mm, nice. I was surprised you didn't comment on that the first time. All right, let's see. Okay, four spaces. Four spaces. And what can it load? Uh, what do you mean load? Like, what can you put on the back of it? Uh, let's see. Like, 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 uh, like equipment-wise, like yeah. how what you can like install. Yeah. Um, is it equivalent to like a sideboard, or is it for like? With the search and recover expansion uh, installed, it can have engageable all-wheel drive. Wait, what the fuck? Is this Snowrunner? Oh, no, it's just, it's taking data from multiple games. It says this covers the variant in Snowrunner. I assume a flatbed is, is just pretty similar to a sideboard. Because of that that is a flatbed on the back. It is incompatible with all trailers and all frame or add-on add-ons. Yes. That does not surprise me. It, it has very few widget points, but all trailers. Not a single trailer can mount to it. Does not surprise me. So if you need to carry something that's four units long, or two that's two, four that's one, that's all you need, and then eight. I mean, being able to carry four is actually pretty cool. Like, one of these places needs four things of wood. Then again, Mastodon, you can get uh, a three unit thing and a one unit trailer, and it will probably go faster than that thing. Well, the, the, mas the Mastodon's though. also a pay-to-win DLC. True. So, yeah. But you also, on that thing, you don't need to worry about, like, clearance as much. You, like, you, when you, you, you turn, you turn. You don't have to account for a trailer. It, it says it has a really bad turn radius. Well, yeah, it's long. But a bad turn radius... Versus, like, I can still back up on that thing, no problem. I'm not going to back into a trailer that might get stuck because I jackknife it. That's a big difference. Mm -mm. Up, up, bump. Let's see here. All right. So, North Bridge. 
has to be approached from this side. I'm taking this path again. Oh, hey, look, a fuel carrier trailer. Guess I could refuel it that while I'm over there. Sure. Four cargo units on its own. I guess it just means like, like any cargo then. I, I guess it's like equivalent to a sideboard. So the Mastodon can carry three, that thing can carry four. So long as you know you're not bringing stuff into a quarry, it can probably be pretty useful. I'll probably keep it for now. It has a very specific use case installed. Or er, for it, I guess. I like having trucks for different use cases. Like right now, using the Tatra out here. I don't need the Mastodon here. And the Tatra is way more fuel efficient. It's been very handy for all this driving around delivering wood and everything. Just moves a little slower in mud because it's not upgraded and the upgrades are in a dlc area i think or at least in some russian location <clears throat> hi narfi can you drive in real life though technically yes is that the real narfi what do you mean I was wondering if you were mistaking this for Nerfy. No. I wonder what he's doing. Being purple. Purple? That wasn't his like main color, Nerfy. Oh, yeah, he had like the pimp outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Alrighty, what was that crane mission called? I don't remember, but there's three missions there, and it's one of them. Uh, what, what map is it? Dromund. Dromund? Okay. Um, I think I'll go back to the garage, and then get Why? my shit back, and then drive so I can have my repair stuff oh, on my okay. truck. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because you're going to be... You're going to have a long drive ahead of you. I will, but yeah. it'll be worth it, because I'll have my repair yeah. on me. I just, I have my, uh, this is why I keep my repair vehicle out here. I try not to use my own repairs. Like the Tatra, I, I have repaired the Tatra, but I've only used what was on the Bandit. I repaired the off-road with some of its own things, because its engine got pretty fucked up. But I know it doesn't have a lot more to do anyway. The Tatra can have infinitely more to do, so. Yeah! Mud. Mud. I'm gonna let mud do from all. How many dozens of hours have I played and there's, there's just mud. There's no snow. Although in single player, they would have literally forced you to go to Alaska by this point. Really? Yeah, for that tutorial, the global travel tutorial. Ah. Uh. There's a fuel tank. Well, I think I'll refuel. I'll think I'll have it now. How, oh, how close are you to level level now? Um, sixty. Sixty points. Find two more trailers. Well, I'm about to deliver planks to the North Bridge anyway. I'm already right, pretty I'll, close. I'll definitely put you over. And here it is. Woo! 
Yeah! Wooden bridge. There you go. A lot of things just unlocked, because I'm ranked 14 now. Deal's done, bridge is built, and this never happened. And client wants me to thank you for your hard work and discretion. Says if you ever need a favor, consider it done. Okay, I want a favor. Yeah. yeah I want... Okay, give me give me a favor. I want a favor. Sure. Build a garage. Build a garage here. And over in the island lake. Exactly. That's that's the favor. Gib garage plocks. Thank you. Have a nice day. Blocks. 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 All right, there's only one bridge left to build here. It requires two deliveries. Or, you know, that big truck doing one delivery. <laughs> Time to break it out. Um, no, it, it's, it doesn't have like AWD yet, so I wouldn't use it okay, yet. Okay, okay. Besides, okay. my Tatra's here, and in the time it would take to get that truck over here, I could just do everything on the yeah. Tatra. So, yeah. uh, I, I prefer efficiency. But let me go to my garage in the service, in the dam, Smithsville Dam. Um, and let me look at that Marshall. See how much more viable it can be now. It can have the roof rack, which carry 140 repair parts, four spare wheels, and 22 extra fuel. So it's literally doubling the fuel tank of the um, the Chevy, essentially. But this is tripling the fuel capacity of the Marshall. Tripling mm. it. Mm. It's still not perfect. The Chevy still has way more range, but this is probably as perfect as it'll ever be. There's nothing else I can really throw on here to make it better except like an engine. And all is the better big engines big? are in Tamir, Russia, which is where you get the- it's higher up, has bigger mud tires, uh, better center of gravity. I, I would say the center of gravity of the Marshall is notably worse than the Chevy. And also the Chevy has an auto winch versus that does not no this can have an auto winch but can it okay cool yeah yeah i have an auto winch on it it's just that this thing is way more likely to flip because it's yeah. just it's higher off the ground it's taller and the, the chevy is overall still better for long distance but this is now three times more viable than it just was so that's a big deal Now, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw you using this, because it totally makes sense to use this. I'm not level 14 yet. Oh, right. Well, for me, specifically. Although, I'm not going to drive that over here, because my Chevy is already out there. So, why would I bother? All right. Now I have to go pick up some more wood and then deliver it to that bridge and then pick up more wood and then deliver to that bridge and then all the wood to bridges will be done. It'll be amazing. Uh, I still haven't done um, the uh, concrete blocks to the Lumber Mill Revival mission. I haven't asked you to. Okay. So I'm fully aware. Don't worry, I have a master plan in my head. We're working towards it. Ah, my wheel, my suspension, that hurt. That turn kind of sucked. Does it suck like your... Yes. Baba. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Is that good? Sure. Okay. Okay. 
There you go, Narfi got it. <laughs> so much mud. We're gonna have so much fun ferrying missions, like stuff back and forth. By the end of today, I think we'll be through most, if not all, of like the normal tasks in Michigan. And all that will remain will probably be some contracts. Which means next time we play, we'll probably end up in Alaska. Let's go, snow! Yeah, and deal finally, Having snow in SnowRunner. Crazy. Hi Shinigami. Snow pit. Ideally no snow pits involved. But I play that game for one day. We still reference it. A snow pit. Uh, it's from a game which, off the top of my head, I don't even remember the name of, but it's, just, it's like a, oh, Frostpunk, Frostpunk. It's Frostpunk, it's like a city builder, um, but it's survival, and everyone dies, and there's a story, and the story encourages everyone to die. Uh, you, you, if someone dies, you can put them in the snow pit, basically. That's one of the options, it's like a choice-based thing. You can put them in a snow pit. I think I put them in the snow pit. There's also like a huge enclave of children that you find that you get to decide what to do with. Uh, so I left them to die because I didn't have food to feed like a hundred children or whatever it was. There was already a mass migration of dudes like coming to my city that I did not have the ability to feed. So I just killed the children. And I think the way that I did it was I gave them directions and encourage them to leave their shelter and walk through the snowy wastelands or whatever. Die. And die, yes. There's a, there's a Twitch clip about it, of me just screaming <laughs> such stuff about killing the children. <laughs> out, of con out of context, it seems really fucked up, but I did not have the ability to care for those children because children do not produce anything, but you still have to feed them. And that's a problem. It's a big, big problem. All right, can't be having that. No, sir. On the flip side, you need them. No, not in Frostpunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't. I don't need maybe, any children in Frostpunk. Maybe the population planner for Frostpunk uh, became a leader of uh, of China because uh, they had an issue. Like children, we don't want those. Keep those away. Just stay productive and and be adults and. Oh, they work. want children now. Oh, they want them now, real bad. They want them now. They're getting very angry at their women for not having children. And then the woman like, okay, I'm 25. I want I want children. And they're like, ew, gross, 25? Disgusting. Ugh. What's wrong with you? There's some, there must be something wrong with you if you're not married by now. Oh, the, the government wants the children. Hey. The government doesn't care how old they are. They just want them to have children. I wonder if the government will step in and start shaming men for not picking up 25-year-old women. Honestly, that, that doesn't seem like China's way of doing things. Yeah. That seems like, like they, the they, Democrats' they... way of doing things. I would expect China to just pay a bunch of dudes to go around just raping women. That's what I would expect China to do. That, 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 that's uh, step two. I feel like China would make that step one. <laughs> it's China. Hey, remember, remember, they went to the two-child policy, and then when that didn't work, they went to the three-child policy. So they're, they're willing to work in stages. China, we too low on morals. Yes. All right. They, they had I Corona. Agree. They just fucking forced, kept everybody in their homes. 
Oh, you have corona? Cool. We're going to board you up in your house just like, you know, plagues 2,000 years ago. Enjoy. So, it just really wouldn't surprise me. Is the uh, the one you needing the uh, out with the old uh, out with the old where I need to pick up oversized cargo? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Uh, the mission you want me to do over in uh, Driven Island, the the cargo one. It's called Lost Delivery. Lost Delivery, okay. And then there's also mud re mud wrestling that you can do while you're over there. Run for the camps, yeah. Yeah, the, the Uyghurs. So, again, nothing surprises me. They're also infringing on, like, at least a dozen different countries' territory actively every day. Mm -hmm. So, like, they, we have way more warning signs about China than we ever had about Germany in World War II. <laughs> but, like, the average person doesn't give a shit, which is funny. Because I'm sure they would meme on Germany all day long, and like, how obvious that was. At one point, is China gonna have to actually start warring with people out of necessity? Because like, they're not that level yet. Out of necessity? Yeah. I don't think there is a necessity. They're, I think they're just losing their ability over time. Unless they would think that going to war with someone and probably losing a bunch of their economy and income as a result from exporting and then just forcing everything into like a war economy mode would actually somehow fix their economy which is a very risky gamble to take and could actually just lead to a civil war that overthrows them and i feel like they're not stupid enough to do that all right here's what you do you do it anyways then you start the civil war yourself that way you're still in command eh eh Eh? I don't know, I don't know about all that. But they're they're getting closer and closer. It's like every week they have more and more aircraft and ships infringing on Taiwan. They, they keep escalating things with the Philippines. Uh, I think they, they just recently got the WTO to fuck with uh, Australia. And Australia let them. Because Australia had tariffs on, like, steel from China. So, in response, China put tariffs on everything Australian and then sued them in the WTO for putting the one tariff on them. They got the WTO to say, bad Australia, stop it. And Australia stopped it. But China just conveniently kept all their tariffs on Australian stuff. I don't know why That's the great. fuck Australia would just do that. Their leader is stupid. I, I, I do have to hand it to the uh, Chinese government. They are so good at playing the system against everyone. Only, But for it to work, you have to have everyone just be willing to go with the system even if it fucks them over and is clearly rigged mm -hmm. against them and sure that'll work with like australia apparently but i feel like that wouldn't work with most countries because most countries don't give a fuck oh this this cargo is all too uh too wide too long that means i can only do, i'm gonna hold on to one at a time Sounds about right. Or, or, hear me out, I can just fucking drag one with a fucking, uh, winch. I built part There's... of this bridge. I think it's actually two bridges is what it is. It is, it's, total? It's... it's two bridges. Yeah, I can do it. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna grab this other one, I'm just gonna drag this bitch. Alright, how do I get over there? Like here, then here, then here, then here, here. Hope I'm not gonna make it there, but there's a fuel station there. So I'll go along the long ways and I'll grab it from here. Okay. I don't actually remember seeing that scout trailer on my way here. Oh hey, actually, uh Oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. 
I got confused. What? <sighs> I gotta go all the way back up there now. Back it up. Back it up. Oh, this is my favorite part about the tattoo. Good. The back it up. Good. Beep, 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 Good. beep, 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 beep. Good. beep. My Good. favorite part about the Tatra. I love this. Most of the other trucks don't have that. Uh, that big, uh, giant one you just unlocked might. Yeah, I might. The Mastodon doesn't, though. Yeah, it's a military vehicle. Yeah. They don't care what they back over. Uh-huh. Time to go back. This is the final wood plank delivery I have to make and then all the wooden bridges are built. It'll be beautiful. There's still more stuff to do. However, the thing, we're getting to a point where when it comes to the deliveries, which is most of what's remaining, we're talking about like things that go across two to three maps. Oh, so, God. yeah. That's why we're not doing certain things and why I'm doing things in the order that I am is because yeah. a lot of the stuff we're going, like some things will have you picking stuff up from like Black River and bringing them to one of these maps. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> so that's, that's the kind of shit that's upcoming. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. But we have other stuff. There's still plenty of trailers to deliver, for example. Beep, 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 beep. Bop, 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 bop. Senor, Senor Reyes? Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Oh, can, can you key in um, my car? Sure. Have you already left it? Uh, German. I don't like the way they show these maps on the global map because, like, I have to go from right to left to enter. Oh, it's so confusing. I can enter Drummond Island from the left side of the map that I'm on. But I entered this map from the left side of Drummond Island. But they show Drummond Island, like, on the right. But, <laughs> but this map is, is horizontally longer. So it's fucking confusing. As all shit. Um. Uh, wait, you want you wanted me to get in your car? Uh huh. What car, are you in right now? Uh, my bandit. Oh, you brought a bandit out here? No, uh, I left a bandit over here. No, I left a bandit. Are you? Did you, did you take oh, my bandit? I think I just took your bandit. Why are you I'll taking my bandit? Go put it back. I thought this was my bandit. Sorry. I was like, where the fuck did you get a bandit? Go, Look, stealing my bandit. Go put it back. Where were you bringing it? When, uh, I was when on earth do you remember bringing a bandit all the way out here after the game crashed? See, um, I was thinking of uh, before the game crashed. Where you did and... not bring a bandit. Uh, I, I did bring a bandit. Uh, because my uh, Macedon crashed. And, uh, yeah. Uh, where, where did you leave the bandit? I never uh, saw a map. bandit. It wasn't, wasn't this map. Okay. Just just go. Now, now that you're in it, just bring it back to the, bring it to the gas station. Bring it over there. You want, me, you want me to bring it over there? Okay, I'll bring it over or there. Just bring it to the gas station where your Macedon is and just park it over there. And okay. Don't hurry. I figured you want... I thought you wanted it over here because no, it that's was just, a mobile game. I left it there because that it rec it recovered my flip Tatra over there. That's why it was there. Uh, it was doing something different in Island Lake, okay. but just go okay. leave it at the gas station. 
Okay. No breaky. Bring it to the gas. Don't station. break it. Bring it to the gas station. That's right. No breaky. Bring it to the gas station. Don't breaky, steal my fucking bandit. <laughs> you mean I'm about to make off is like you, a bandit? Is your is yours painted black as well? Huh? Is yours painted black as well? Uh, it was dark out. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what can't you see in the dark? Black. What can you see in the dark? The default bandit paint scheme, which is very bright and colorful, just like the service thing on the back of that. I, I had that on my bandit too. That was the chief reason. Hey, hey. I'm stealing my fucking bandit. It's just so stealable. It even has the name Bandit. I should I should turn on the thing that stops you from getting in my car. <laughs> That's an option. That is an option. There is legitimately an option where I can stop you from getting into my cars. Thanks for refilling my car, Rez. You're welcome. Thanks for stealing mine. Hey, I, I'm doing you a favor now, Lexi. I fix it. Make better. <laughs> now, how to park this in the most inconvenient spot ever? Oh my god. Okay, what take is... all the fuel out of it and put it over there. Let's see. Oh my god, this thing is so much brighter. Oh my fucking god. What is? The uh, fucking Macedon. What do you mean? It, it is brighter, like the lights? The lights are brighter. They are, cast more yeah. illumination. They have a wider beam. Yeah, that makes sense. I know, there's a way to stop you from winching to my truck. Maybe there's nothing stopping you from getting in my vehicle. I don't know. I'm not sure. There should be. I guess it wants to stop someone from just griefing you and then crashing your fucking truck obviously kick them from the, the, the game but like yeah that doesn't undo the damage or prevent the damage <sighs> I'm almost back to where I get the final bit of wood from Holy Final shit. Wood down. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah. And hey, I'm level 14, finally. We did that today. You'll probably be 14 hey. by the end of the day as well. Hopefully. You shouldn't be too far behind. I mean, see, just F4, some contests. Uh, it's it res. Yeah. I need like two, one thousand nine hundred XP to get to fourteen. Damn, those contests must have given me a lot of XP then, because I, that's crazy. One thousand nine hundred. Damn. Wow. Uh, so a hey, res. Um, uh, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Yeah. Uh, to quote Mitchy. Sounds like a me problem. Sounds like an ish you yeah. and not an ish me. I'm going to build Bob's bridge. Bob the builder. Can we do it? Bob the builder. Say Puedo. Yes, I can. So I can repair this truck. The Tatra has a 450 repair uh, roof rack. Just doesn't have like a tire. They can repair a lot of actual damage to the parts. There's nothing else to repair on this map. And once this bridge is done at this point, needing to like leave and bring something else would be a really minor inconvenience because things are soon to start getting that crazy to begin with. Oh. Well, 
Hunter Bob's Bridge. Sing emote. Yeah. Oh yeah, Matt Nine. Do you know how absolutely fucked up SSD prices are right now? I do not know. I I do know like a while ago they announced like a lot of companies were announcing like they were cutting back on the production a lot. And that's why like we started not like, like that. Buying it. But so for example, let's say you want an SSD that has a DRAM cache like my Gen 5 unlike the Gen 4 that's in here. The price for that between SATA to Gen 3 to Gen 4 is hilarious. A Gen 3, let's start with Gen 4. A Gen 4, uh, roughly, let's say, let's go four terabytes for all of this. For four terabytes of Gen 4 space with DRAM, you're looking at like 280 to 300 bucks. Gen 3 is roughly 200 bucks. SATA, 300 bucks. SATA is the most expensive one out of those That's options. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. SATA prices have like completely stopped coming down and then like Gen 3, Gen 4 NVMEs are just like the obvious choice now. Go back two years and anytime anyone said, oh, I have an NVMe, I, I would have been like, why? Just get a SATA. It's cheaper. It's way cheaper. Yeah. And most games won't use your NVMe. Now it's like, oh, I'm getting a SATA. Don't do that. No, don't do that. You could probably get a Gen 3, potentially, if you have a slot for it. That is two-thirds the price. Or Gen 4, that is a little bit cheaper and insanely faster. PCs are weird. I SATA to not get a SATA. <laughs> <laughs> Kill yourself. It's actually S A T A. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, good. Did you almost have some instant karma? Um. No, but I almost had instant gravity. Instant karma from gravity. Yep. Yeah. In a lot of YouTube comment sections, I actually see the word karma come up quite a bit. Um, but I've noticed something about how the average person, at least on YouTube, uses the word karma. To them, karma means not like, you know, retribution for doing something bad. It means retribution for doing something that I don't like. That's karma. From what I can tell in the YouTube comment sections. You sat, you sat in, the, in the spot that I was going to sit in, but you beat me to it fairly. Now you've realized that the seat's wet. Ha ha, karma. Car yeah, exactly. So, like, that's not karma. It's, it's not what karma is. Or sometimes I'll see comments about someone, like they that's the clearly their definition of karma and they're, they're taking karma super seriously and projecting it onto someone. And it just makes me wonder, what does a, like, I think, what is it, Indian, like an Indian religious superstition have to do with insert celebrity here that you dislike and are wishing bad karma on or saying that like he will get karma coming to him? What do you even know about karma? And why do you care about it? It's like, it's like a fucking Asian thing, for fuck's sake. You're not Asian. I built the bridge! I built the bridge? Old Hunter Bob would have been proud. 
Hells yeah. Bruce. Uh, does Hunter Bob have a laptop with porn on it? What? It's a, it's a politics joke. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that's sad that that's a politics joke. All right. Oh, gosh. Um... I, 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 because I know you stay out of this stuff, but are you are you aware like what has been going on with between the two parties and like certain family members of them? Uh, no, and I don't really care. Is it, okay. All right, I'll I'll let it go. But it's fucking funny. <laughs> Just one one party is pointing the other, saying your son's a piece of shit, and then. One of them, in specific, got caught blowing a dude in public. All politicians <laughs> are in some way pieces of shit. <laughs> Everyone is a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. I'm a Someone can shit. make anyone seem like a piece of shit. It's not hard. I think these guys are going to be mad that I picked up their cargo and I've been dragging it around everywhere. Um... Maybe. This thing had uh, those uh, those uh, accelerometer uh, tags on it. They're all busted by now. Hmm. That's funny. I have to load it into myself first before I can deliver it. That's great. Okay, I'll 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 <laughs> load it. I'm driving the Tatra. I'm gonna drive it to a fuel trailer and then leave it there and then get in my scout and then do the two remaining missions here that are for like scouts. Alright, last one, Rez, and then I finish the cargo. Yeah. I completely cheated on one, though. If it works, it works. If it works, it works! You ain't cheating, you ain't trying! There's a difference between doing something dumb to get something in this game, and doing a weird sequence of button pressing to get infinite money in Dragon Age. One of these is clearly an exploit, and the other one is just game logic. Fucking microtransaction to unlock fast travel, what the fuck? For what? Uh, Dragon's, uh, Dogma 2. Oh. Yeah, well, I mean, you have fast travel anyway, it's just... Yeah. You get more fast travel markers you can place for the money, but still, it's ridiculous. I, the moment I saw how many microtransactions there were, I just put it on my ignore list. Yeah, dude, for real. Who the fuck doesn't include a fucking new game I don't option? Know. I don't know. Like, one of the chief things of fucking Dragon's Dogma is starting a new game. It's literally part of the plot, you know? Yes. But that's like a new game plus, and you don't really have to interact with anything to get that. Yep. What's the canon ending, by the way, for that? What do you mean? Uh, cause like there's multiple endings, one where you take the throw and you sit in it and you're just there and then you, you, you enact the, the Oh, the, the canon defense. ending is that the cycle repeats infinitely. Well, one of the endings is that you end the cycle. No, that's not canon. Okay. The canon is that it goes on infinitely. Okay. The... Which is also kind of like how we get, um... Dragon's Dogma 2, which is literally the same exact story. Just alternate reality. Just, yeah, just a different universe. 
That's so lazy, man. Yeah, dude. That is so lazy. And there's there's no point to it. Like you can't even the guy can't even say like, oh yeah, I'm just making this what I wanted Drag or Dragon's Dogma One to be. Because he already said what he wanted that to be, and it included multiplayer. And he specifically said in an interview, I will never make Dragon's Dogma 2 if I can't put in all the things on this list, including multiplayer. And look what he did. He's a liar. He's a fucking liar. He just had enough money waved in his face, his job security, and he's like, all right, I'll do it. He's a liar. Money? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, that list of things, will... that thing I said, I said I would never do unless, well, I didn't realize that unless also included, that unless enough money was waved in front of my face. That's a, that's another reason why I just was not really excited for Dragon's Dogma 2 to begin with, because I knew it wasn't going to have multiplayer, and the guy said it would have multiplayer, so he lied, so that kind of burned out my enthusiasm. Just Listen, like with, I'm not gay. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Uh, Mountain Blade Bannerlord was also supposed to have campaign co-op. They they said it would have it. It was on the roadmap for years, and then one day they removed it from the roadmap with no announcement. And when but I saw it that, it has campaign and it has co-op. What? When I saw that, I completely just lost interest in it. And what would have been an easy play it super soon after release game for me, still don't even own it. I still don't even own it. Sure, I probably will one day, but it probably won't be my, my, by my doing. And if it is by my doing, it's because the game would have been like pennies. Job well done. Thank you for your con contribution to Main Street Renewal Project. Yay. Alright, Mud Wrestling is next. Yeah. Alright, where's your fucking car? Damn, it's way the fuck down there. Yeah, it's on the other side of the map. But that's the only other task to do there that's not... Uh, the bridge one. And the bridge one's complicated. We're leaving that for right now. Okay. Once you get done over there with that mission... I think just focusing on trailers. Ow. I looked at the fucking time and then I just crashed into a fucking. Fire pole. Yeah. And you got. Fuck, you hit that thing hard. Jesus yeah. Christ, you took a 30 or a fucking engine out. Don't text and drive, kids. But yeah, just focusing on trailers afterwards, I think will be fine. Gets a lot of the busy work out of the way. And then, yeah. I'm literally going right now to get that scout trailer that you left in the middle of the uh, that path because you crashed. Huh? Uh, when the crash happened? Yeah. Yeah. That the trailer that's in the middle of the road because of that. I'm going to get that yep. right now to have fuel, okay. just to have fuel for the Chevy while I go yeah. do the other two tasks here. And then I'll just like sell that, and then I think that's the only other scout trailer over here. And then I can just put the Chevy back in the garage. Okay. What direction there's is still this? A bunch of, there's still a bunch of trailers and all the maps I still have to collect too. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna. Probably, Not looking forward to that. I mean, I'll, I'll probably be doing that as well. I only have two missions otherwise that are of any consequence. There you go. Guess we'll start with this one. This one's pretty simple. The other one's a little more complicated. Well, I mean, the other one's also coming from this direction. So... It looks like it's literally gonna lead me up there, so fuck it. 
But I have to turn around first, because for some reason this thing was facing north? Which is weird, because I think you were going south. So. Uh, I was going, well, I was headed toward, um, uh, the, the fucking mission marker where the, uh, stupid truck was supposed to be delivered to. Ugh. Um, but anyways, uh, can I, can I borrow you for a minute? For fuel? Yeah. Okay. Drummond. Hey, look, there's a bandit here. This must be mine. I'm going to go take it back home. I still can't believe you took my bandit. <laughs> does, does this look like your bandit? No. Um, it does have a black paint scheme on it. It just has other paint on it. Plus my Angels of Caliban stickers. Oh, <laughs> they? Thanks, Riz. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see how am I getting over there. <clears throat> hey, Riz, there's this spot over here at the bottom of the map. Let me go check that out. Uh, at the bottom of the map? Oh, yeah, I yeah. see that. Yeah, that would be worth exploring. Alright, I'll go over there, I'll steal this trailer on the way back, and just bring it to this gas station, and then I'll head to Mud Wrestling. Alright. I'm hungry. Yeah. That way it's making burbers and sausages. Sounds good. We don't usually have burgers, thinking. If I think about it. I, I don't know the last time I had a burger. When the hell's the last time that we had burgers? A month ago? I don't know. Sometime before you deployed, because we haven't had them since you got back. I, haven't, I didn't ask for them specifically. I know, I'm just realizing that how infrequently we have burgers. I literally don't remember the last time I ate a burger. It must have been a very long time ago. Oh, does burgers sound good? Oh yeah, burgers are always good. I used to go to Shake Shack constantly just to get burgers. We got those here. Yeah, we don't. But they're good. It's got all the food groups in it. It's got fruits, it's got veggies, it's got meat, it's got carbs. I don't carbs. eat with tomatoes. Crap. Right, I'm officially out of repair supplies, except for a what tire. What about pickles? I hate pickles. A burger for me is bread, meat, Lettuce. What about the ketchup or mustard? I don't like ketchup. I don't know if I've ever had mustard, but I probably wouldn't like it. I don't. I, I, I don't know right if I've ever enjoyed a condiment ever. <laughs> Same, bro. <laughs> That's why I don't use them. Wink, wink. Shinigami, you get it? Get it, Shinigami? I don't use condiments. Wink, wink. Neither did your mother. Wink, wink. Not a truck. A truck? It, it, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, there's just a fucking truck hiding there. <laughs> it's a whole ass motherfucking truck. Yeah, it looks cool. Looks like a cut off farm truck. Wow, on my screen, shit just went flying. Uh, on my screen, you also went flying. I didn't even do anything. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! It's a big honker. 
Ah! Woo, shit. Let's go look at what this thing's capable of. Oh, you left the trailer. Well, I'm rec I recovered. So, yeah, but you're gonna want me to bring that trailer, so I'm gonna go fucking grab this trailer now. <laughs> this thing isn't even like kitted out with anything. I'm not gonna, just gonna start driving it. Okay, so this can only have a log carrier front and a saddle high. So I don't think I'm really gonna be using this very often. Because this sounds what? like the pull everything that Rez doesn't like pulling vehicle. Uh, I can't, I can't grab this, uh, this, uh, trailer, so that's gonna be all you. This probably needs a saddle. It's probably a semi. It won't even let me, like, hook a, um, hook my winch to it. Won't let me hook my crane to it. Uh, zoom. What, what does it have? It's not marked, so it's probably part of a mission. Did you say this is a, a, a scout? What is? The, the truck you just got. No. Okay. I said. I figure out like how it's connected. I said that it is. Um, it pulls semis and logs. Okay. Well. This is the everything that I don't like pulling truck. It has fifty-seven inch wheels. Woo! Some big wheels, dude. Although it only has one kind of wheel, no other wheels. Off off-road? Yeah, they're off-road. Okay. You can have an extremely heavy winch that uses two motors. My god. Increasingly powerful engines. For pulling logs and semis, this is actually a really good option, yeah. I don't like pulling those, so I'm just gonna sell it. It's more of a you can buy one if that sounds interesting to you kind of thing. Because I'm not gonna fucking use it. Truck. A good thing I spotted it, huh? Yeah. I did not notice it. That's a lot of money they'd be used to buy a different truck or buy add ons. I guess I just didn't like this. Chevrolet Kodiak C70. It's unlocked, but I don't have one. I guess I just decided not to use it. Probably because I decided to use the cat instead. That would make sense. Oh, there's a Pacific P-12 and a P-16. I think we found the 16. There's a 12 that can be purchased. There's another white Western Star truck as well. Oh. Oh. Ford F-70, that's supposed to be a really good scout, but we don't find it until later. <clears throat> uh, do we need concrete slabs or anything over here? Why? Because I found a trailer with concrete slabs. Uh... Oh, that's blocks. Um... I think the concrete slabs. Yes, but not on this map that I can see so far. Uh, no. Yeah, the only concrete slabs that are needed are needed on the dam map, and they could just be picked okay. up there anyway. So. Okay, so I can. I don't have to worry about this cargo then. No, I mean generally, you usually don't. Is there a? Trailer seller around here. Wait, what the fuck? Mm. Okay, this is I, that. I, guess I was, I was going to say, I could have sworn I already sold the Pacific P16, but I still have it. Oh god, is there really not a trailer store around here? 
No, only on the other maps. There's not one on that map. Uh, that map has a gas station. The other one has a trailer store. It's awful. All right, I'm I'm ditching this bitch over by the gas station for later then. Oh, the mini Tatra does not get its roof rack until 16. Oof. But it does have mud tires now. This is the thing that could get mud tires, is my off-road. It, it can have a small sideboard bed to carry one thing with. Or a small fuel carrier that carries 238 fuel. Or a maintainer frame add-on that adds 500 repair parts or two spare wheels. This is a really good utility thing. So I actually do plan on using it eventually. Oh hey, you can use that off-road transmission you found. Nice. Single low gear, three low gear stages. I like three low gear stages. That sounds good to Moy. Who's Moy? I think he's French. <clears throat> Roof fog lights sound interesting. Mm, external horns. Right, this is fine. Where was I? Here. What? Up the hill we go. If this fucking off-road takes a fuck ton of damage, there's no repairing it without driving something else over here. Because it's fully used all this repair stuff. Unless it breaks specifically a tire. Well, I have two of those. Woo! That, that's it? Seriously, and you're dead. Really? Dude, it said that there were six places like I would have to go to. I went to the first one. It's just like, you're done. <laughs> Speedrun strats. Apparently. All right, only one more thing to do with this scout then, in that case. Um, I guess I could go this route. Stop me from having to turn around with a scout trailer, anyway. Right, let's go! Ah. What? Ugh. Yeah. There's quite a view up here. Quite a view. Oh. The game's also gotten to be stuttery again. Like at the end of last time. I think with just the longer you have the game open, just the more stuttery it gets. Memory leak? Maybe something like that. As you go more and more places, especially. Yep. 
Apparently, uh, the old, like, original Doom game had an issue where if you had the game running for more than, it was like something stupid, like six hours, but, like, specifically the number of seconds. Yeah. Uh, weapons, uh, that shot the like, rapid fire shot, like, half as fast. But then when another unit of that same number passed, uh, the, the rapid fire weapons would resume normal fire rate. That's weird. Yeah, super weird. I'm just gonna leave my speed on low plus because that will ensure that I don't kill myself. <laughs> well, I have no method to repair. There's a lot of crap on the road. Big ass tower over here. I made it. That's the tower, all right. Borderline scrap at this point. Should have replaced the thing long ago. Guess let's make do with what we have. Okay. All right. That's all the tasks here. Now, ideally. I can successfully get this thing onto the main road. And then just take it and its little scout trailer all the way to the trailer place. And drop this off. Like that. And then I don't think anything else here is for it. Yeah, even moving my map around is super stuttery. I don't think any of this As is scout. What? I just did the most fucking amazing thing ever and you need to see what I did. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hop out of my vehicle and go into your bandit. I want you to hop into my vehicle. Okay. I, where where the vehicle is as I just got it there and yeah. when sh sh I, I cut that vehicle through there what I did was I latched the front of my vehicle up on some rocks and basically foist, hoisted my rock my, my car where the back end is right now right and okay. then from there I hooked my back end of the car to that same spot so then it pushed my car forward from where it to where it is now make that impossible turn how am i gonna get back down no fucking idea but i got up there <laughs> all right tell me that's tell me that's not impressive that sounds like a whole lot of hassle it was but it was fucking awesome Back in my Chevy. Because the the other the option was uh, putting this vehicle somewhere and recovering, or then having to come back with another vehicle. And uh, I said, "Fuck that! I'm gonna do it." You know All what right. I did? I did it. Yes, I see that. Mastodon can do anything. I'm not sure about anything, but it can definitely do a lot. Oh, some big rocks. All right. Oh, shit. That's a sudden large mud patch. 
just so much mud on this specific map. Oh shit. I'm doing the final thing I have to do in this scout trailer, which is literally just, or in this scout, which is literally just delivering this scout trailer. And then I can put this away and then put the new roof rack on it. And everything else that there is to do out here is something I can do in trucks. I think. Oh, uh, basically, yeah. Even getting other trailers is all going to be truck based. This is very crazy mud, especially when you're trying to pull a scout trailer through it. the quote-unquote main road. Quote-unquote. It's not really a road here. In fact, I think pretty much the entire stretch is dirt. With some occasional mud. Something like that. An occasional fallen trees, apparently. <sighs> I, I I finally am at defeat. Your Macedon not doing what you want from it. Yep. Even if I, even if it did, um, I would just merely reach the vehicle. I would have at zero chance of recovering it. Yeah, that tight space, maybe an off-road's better. Yeah. Like, the like the Glimmer small Tatra's a pretty good option. Glimmer of hope. Uh, uh, uh. I have, I have a glimmer of hope. Hold on, hold on. Uh. Fucking mud. Random mud. I still don't have headlights on my fucking Chevy. Cause it's still just broken. Hasn't been to a <laughs> from, garage. From broke it? Oh yes, God. from hours ago. But it's almost ready to go back to the garage. Almost. Be a little bit careful with the branches. Wish there was, uh, I mean, there might be. But I, I would love it if there was a hotkey to switch what mode you're in. Maybe there is. Um, modes. There, there are hotkeys, they just aren't assigned to anything. Uh. 
It's neutral. There's a neutral? I don't see that on the fucking stick. High gear, low minus, low plus, low. Mm. I might be in like in, in the uh, hardcore mode where there's more bullshit. Hmm. Well, I'm I'm binding them to my mouse buttons now that I know I can do this. Just trying to figure out what should be what. I don't know what the point of neutral is. Uh, if you're towing some being like if you're being towed, you put in neutral. Hmm. Fair enough. Well, that's not enough buttons. Let's see, I got, I got like a page up down on my mouse. I put that to low minus low plus. Low could be this button. And then high gear could be this button. Forward, I have auto, reverse, I have back. So I'm now using all my mouse buttons. Assuming that's saved. Yes. I now am using all my mouse buttons to take advantage of how much mouse shit I have. I don't know why the game ever defaults to me trying to fill my fuel trailer with my fuel. Why on earth would I want that? Oh, this is so nice. Getting to just press one button to shift gear is so nice. That's so much better. I even bound high. Oh, there is a neutral. It's to the right. We literally never use that. Oh, shit, it is. Fucking Christ. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have everything except neutral bound. I don't think I really needed to bind high but I bound it to a button that I wouldn't press very much anyway. Okay, what vehicle shall I bring? Off-road, off-road. Uh, Let's see, I think the bandit's too big. I think so I have to bring the you're, you're like, if, if you're resetting, do you mind if we do like a game restart? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I can get all the jitters out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at the joint. All right. Um, party, get out. You've been kicked. Guess I'll just do this. Quick game restart. Cause it's fucking laggy and jittery and stuttery. This will fix it. Look how the, the loading is just like a tire spinning in mud. That's fun. Saber, interactive. I should find something else other than high gear for that fucking top button. But I guess if you're lacking a low plus, then high could have a use. 
Just most of the time, I wouldn't want to be lacking that. All right, let's see. Start co-op. You know we have eight percent completion. Oh my god, really? Eight? Do this. Eight percent. Eight. This is so low. That's hilarious. All right, let's see. Manage party. Invite the Mateth of Nine. That's me. That's you. Oh, it's so much smoother now. Ridiculously so. And my Chevrolet is... I think basically right where I left it. Yeah, nice. All right. Much smoother, much nicer. We need to do like intermittent resets when we play this game, I guess. You could say that it took me quite a while to figure out that I could use keybinds for the shift, uh, the stick, but you could also say, considering that we're not even 10% completion in, that I discovered it pretty early. <laughs> that's that's kind of kind of gross to think about. <laughs> it's a big game, especially yeah. with DLCs. I'd still love to know what the functional difference in this game specifically between high gear and low plus is. I don't... They, it feels like they act exactly the same. That's what it feels like. Let's see. Um... Snow Runner. High gear. What the heck is high gear meant to be used for? First result. <laughs> uh, I use high all the time. Start off and drive, and you'll. Just before shift to second gear, switch to high. You'll accelerate much quicker. And if you're on pavement or nice smooth. Uh, Dirt, shift back into drive, and you'll be in your second highest gear. We'll shift to the high gear pretty quickly. Another use for driving around in light mud. Another terrain that forces the auto trans to drop into first, even though the truck isn't stopping. Shifting into high gear in a situation keeps the truck moving. Um, I always shift into high gear when entering mud. This keeps you going faster for a little longer than once I slow down enough, I press to left uh, low plus. So it sounds like a very transitionary gear, I guess. And very situational and very Very, min very, situ yes. Very min maxi, very situational. If I don't care about min maxing my speed, then low plus is just kind of fine. Realizing I don't really have a normal this game doesn't give you anything to tell you like exactly how fast you're going There's absolutely no speedometer Which is strange Didn't I just do this literally I feel like it started at just like a random time of day. Because I had put it into morning when I started driving over here. Because I don't have fucking headlights. But hey, I'm at the trailer store. I'm having deja vu. Uh, trailer store. Scout fuel carrier. Sell. Now I can just recover this scout because I don't need it anymore. 
I think that loading screen just said if you stacked all the trucks in America on top of each other, they would reach the moon. What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what the loading screen just told me. Pretty confident. That you st if you stacked all of the trucks in the United States. On top I'm of guessing, each other. I'm guessing long ways. I don't know, but apparently they would reach the moon. That's a really interesting thing to put there, but yeah. Now I can go yeah. from this small roof rack to a big roof rack. Yay, an extra 11 gallons of fuel, more So what you're telling me repairs. is we could have an elevator to the moon, we're just not trying hard. I mean, we could probably have one, it's just nobody wants to pay for it. Well, someone obviously paid for enough trucks in the United States to do it. Less power to wait, more fuel consumption, efficiency. Eh. Police pursuit. Police pursuit. Hmm. Oh, it looks cool. I'll get it. I'm sure if it goes better with like this though. I like this though. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. That's good. <clears throat> Alright, this is nice and upgraded. What is this? Do you know what time it is? Hi, DK. I just saw your message. I just looked at it. I was like, what is it? Is it uh, lottery time or whatever? Spin the wheel? <laughs> um, okay, so things that have to be done. Oh, you know what I'm noticing? Oh, no, never mind, actually. It says it specifically specifies when you look at the global map that Drummond Island and Island Lake do not have garages. But that makes me wonder if something along the way eventually unlocks something. I'm not sure because, again, I never saw anything that said that. This is locked. Why is this locked? Lumber mill revival and power lines must be finished first. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh, what off-road truck do you think I should take? It's a very, very narrow spot. The Tatra? Maybe? Yeah. That's, that's what I figure. The Bandit is pretty narrow. It's pretty thin and long. It's, 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 it flips it, easy. It's too big. It's still too big. Okay, then maybe the the, the small Tatra. Thank yeah. you for the memberships. Who got them? Our Nick. Nick was here the other day. Hello. Nice. Um. <laughs> this the vehicles feel so small. I'm so used to use the the Mastodon all day today. This thing feels so tiny because of it. It is just tiny in general. It's much tinier than even the Bandit. Uh. I oof. am in the wrong map. So I'm gonna swap maps real quick. I want to be at the dam. I think I'll right start. That's where... What? Oh, hey, that's where you are. Uh, I'm, well, I just moved from the dam. I just left. Oh. I'm going to start getting some trailers. And bringing them to sell them. So that's like the next big task to get out of the way. Actually, the winners and congrats to Nick. Yes. Indeed. Uh, what map was I on? I forget. Drummond. Drummond, right? Okay, that's what I thought. That's trailer. I got, I got a big fuel trailer. And I'm going to go sell this bitch. I'm not going to do the semi-trailers. I'm going to leave those for you. Sound good? Does not sound good. Well, I don't want to do semi, so I'm going to leave those for you. Sound good? Sound good. <laughs> 
Oh man, this thing kicks like a fucking mule. So like your mom? Ugh. I don't even have all-wheel drive on. I'm on the road and this bitch is just fucking spinning. Well, it's spinning? Like, like it... Because, like, like the, uh, the body keeps rocking back and forth like it's once a fishtail. Uh, you still might uh, be going too fast, even if it's on off-road sort of terrain. I am using my tires as well on the road, so... Yeah, that would do it. Sad I have to go to my phone because I can't get from this browser. That is sad. But thank you. <clears throat> Pilgrim did a, a red super chat the other day. A red super? Isn't that like $50? Um, that's a hundred or more. Oh my god. He did it basically, in US currency, he did a hundred and thirty. Gross. Before YouTube takes theirs. In Australian yeah. currency, he did two hundred. Ugh. But, I hate them bidry dollars. But that, but in American dollars, the number goes down by seventy. And then YouTube takes thirty percent. But... Yeah, he's like, here, because it says it's my 20th super chat, here, it'll help pay for your PC stuff. I'm like, oh, well, that's good, because I still technically went over budget. Mm -hmm. Despite Matt9 egging me on with throwing money at me. That, if, if, uh, if you didn't do that, by the way, I would have, I would have gotten a different motherboard. But I, I remember you specifically said, get a better motherboard. I was looking at the, the B650, potentially, to like lower the price. But instead, got the X670. It's, it's the best one in Asus's uh, tough lineup. They have one that's slightly more expensive. That's uh, the Asus Prime X670. And you know what the only real difference is? Uh, the okay. everything except the board itself is white, and okay. uh, and there's a motherboard heatsink for the Gen Three slot, and that's it. That's the main difference, for like, it, but it's only like it was an extra like thirty bucks I think, full price. But I think I got this Mobo on sale, so. But. That has me thinking. Who the fuck needs a heatsink for a Gen 3 SSD? Those things don't run hot. That's why none of them ship with heat sinks to begin with. Just heat spreaders that come pre-applied. I guess it could be useful. But... I don't know. I would have to actually put a Gen 3 in and monitor its temperatures to see if that would even have a point. Cause that sounds I mean, weird. It could, it could be a thing where you're trying to improve the longevity of it, like. But here's the thing about like, NVMe's. Yeah. Aside from the controller, that could decide that you could need that to be cooled. If you want them to actually run well under load, they actually need heat. The memory operates best under a certain amount of heat. So, if you're keeping it super cool then it could actually perform worse. But then again, I don't know what thermal thermals that a gen specifically three would operate at anyway. It'd be funny if that number was something stupid like negative 20 degrees Celsius. Like, okay, obviously you're not getting that cold. But yeah, that's, that's really the only difference. Uh, a motherboard, gen three heatsink, and everything's white. And that's pretty much yeah. it. I didn't actually see that one when I was originally looking, but it seems stupid. You know, I wonder, um, fuck, did I just fucking tip myself over? I did. Now I'm fucked. It's great. I gotta re fucking spawn again. God damn it, it doesn't have the autonomous. Fuck! Did you put autonomous on? No, it's not a scout. It's an it off-road. have autonomous. Yeah, it's an off-road. Alright. Yeah, don't don't do flip that. it. It's, it's light. It's small. It's just like yeah. a scout. What I was thinking was, like, other than memory, like you just stated, I wonder what else on a motherboard can't afford to get that cold. 
don't know. Like, there's the, the battery up on board the motherboard. That can't get too cold. The NVMEs are like a special case in that they need at least some heat. Right. I'm just thinking, like, is there a way where you could, like... Because, like, a lot of, a lot of people, like, breaking world records, trying to get, you know, um, fastest clock speeds, all that all that jazz, right? Mm hmm I'm wondering, like, is there a way where you could design a specific motherboard where just specific portions of it are off on a different portion of the board? So you can isolate it from the rest, and you could, like, basically dunk that entire section into liquid nitrogen. Because, like... Right now, what they do is they they run liquid nitrogen through coolers, going straight to like the the GPU or the um, the CPU slot, right? Mm -hmm. But if you could just put that entire bitch inside, because like one limitation is that the heat has to come off the CPU into the metal contact in the cooler to the liquid nitrogen, right? Like, what if you could skip the middleman and just have that bitch straight into liquid nitrogen? <laughs> Would you get some more clock out of that bitch? Maybe. I I know this this motherboard comes with uh, the Gen Four heat sinks as well, but I don't think they need it. I don't think that they do. Yeah. They probably like ran tests and like. Only like five percent of them ever ran hot enough to need it. They're like, uh, oh, that's too much of a risk. We'll just put them put the spreaders on anyways. I think I think it's just like they want to charge more for some models and offer more things. So I think that's why yeah, like, they they yeah, have yeah, yeah. It. So like, like the the B six fifty, which is like more consumer grade. Like that's gonna have that X six seventy is a little more professional. That's gonna have some more until you get to like the highest end. I'm gonna look at what temperature my fucking. It's crazy. I've seen things thing where right like, now. oh, the additional part costs a manufacturer five dollars to make, but they charge a hundred dollars for it. You know? Yeah. Um, what is the thermal limit of this one? Thermal limit. Because I assume this. Oh no! It's, it has the same operating temperature as my NVMe, and this thing is running much cooler, even while running a game than the NVMe, and that's under the motherboard heatsink, mind you. But yeah, I don't think this, I don't think that a Gen 4 even needs a motherboard heatsink. I think that's excessive. I think only Gen 5 would really need a, a any kind of heatsink on it to begin with. Because Gen 4 and Gen 3, they just don't run that hot to begin with. Gen 5 is the only one that runs particularly hot. And I do think the B650 comes with a Gen 5 um, heatsink. But one nice thing, and pretty much the main reason why I decided to go from the, uh, from the B650 to the X670, as you encouraged me to just get the best one, is the back I.O. The B650 has less USBs and half of them are USB 2. Ugh. Yeah, this has, the worst this has on it is a USB 3. And I don't actually, I'm not sure if any of them on the back are USB. I think they are. I think the bottom row is USB 3. And then like the case itself has USB 3s on the front. But that's the worst now. It's like an extra hundred dollars, but you get like the gen four heatsink spread on there for two Gen 4s, and then you get no USB 2s, and instead you get uh, USB 3s, you get some 3.2s, and you get two Type-Cs on the back. I don't know if the B650 had a single Type-C. If it did, it only had one. So that's that's kind of like the games there. Also, pr maybe a better VRM heatsink, I would guess. Worth it. Yeah, it seems worth it. I, I don't... I don't know that going up to the Prime really has any purpose. It's not much of a price jump, but again, this was on sale when I got it. So it was mm -hmm. kind of a pretty good deal. And I don't know... I, feel, I say I don't know if I would ever get a Gen 3 NVMe, but then again... Let's say I just needed quick and dirty storage to, like, dump footage onto, and I don't want to get another hard drive, right? Mm -hmm. 4 terabytes NVMe Gen 3, 200 bucks. SATA, 300. It's an obvious choice yeah, to just use the Gen 3 slot anyway. So I could, uh, but 
and but that would definitely wouldn't need a heat sink because that would be just storing footage which is not going to do a lot of heat do we to ever figure out if your motherboard uh disabled uh, certain slots if they're in use or whatever yes it um it disables two of the sata slots if the gen 3 slot specifically is in use right okay yeah and we so intentionally the hard drive is plugged into one of the ones that won't be disabled yes so that way yes. in the future you would have the ability to do that without having to fuck with the yes if if okay. necessary essentially um okay. okay. high performance are known for heating issues higher end ones be permanently damaged by heat yes um Gen 5 primarily. Gen 5 runs so stupid hot because Gen 5 is like kind of newish and everyone's trying to get the fastest speeds out of it as possible when it's re the tech really isn't there yet. They, there's still more speeds to be gotten out of Gen 4 than what's been gotten out of it, which is why Gen 4 ones really don't need heat sinks because they run fine. They run even without a heat sink. They run completely cool within a proper good range. The hell am I looking at here? Is that like I have to go over there to load it on? Yeah, I think so. And heat can damage it, yeah. Why is this like this? I'm gonna pull this out, I think. This is weird. What the fuck? We're looking at the back end. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to... Why is it... Why is... Th Why is the back end here to begin with? Because the front end is on a... It's, it's next to a bunch of fucking trees. So I can't approach from that angle exactly. That's how it spawned. It is how it spawned. How the fuck am I supposed to get to this? Like this? I doubt it. That's not even... Huh? What? Okay, how about this? There you go, baby! Oh, and it flipped. <laughs> and the cargo flipped out of it. God damn it! Okay, fun fact, if you're in a Tatra and you're at zero speed and you try to use the high, uh, you will stall the car out and damage it. Fortunately, I uh, figured that out without having to damage the vehicle, so... Good for thought. Need low saddle to attach? Is this a semi? Oh, this one is a semi! I thought I had picked not a semi. That makes sense, yeah. David. Do you know how to delete stuff that gets dropped off, Rez? That gets like literally dropped out of the thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, no. How? I uh, hit V, click the button that says uh, "Remove Cargo," and then uh, hit the X on the cargo. It'll delete them off the map. That's that's if it's already fallen out of the thing. Uh, yeah. It can also be inside. It just has to be unpacked. Okay. Because yeah, this already so, tipped out of it. I didn't realize this was a semi. I thought I had specifically selected not a semi. Uh, yeah, woo! All right, good. Well, at least that's clean. But uh, yeah, this semi will be here for you, I guess. There's another not it. semi around the way. You could drag it with your winch. Uh, yeah, but I can't sell it anyway. Mm, okay. But I can still, I can still fix it so that it's not like this. I don't know why it was pointed like that to begin with. In universe, whoever parked it like that is an asshole. Yeah, some dev decided to place it like that, technically speaking. All right, it is no longer flipped. I fixed it. So that'll be your job sometime later. I'll go get this other fuel thing. All right, well, that's one less that I have to do. This map, specifically this area, has a fuck ton of semis. I was trying to avoid them. I thought both of these were not semis. That makes sense. I 
Tash. All right. There's a small little area over here that technically hasn't been explored. Like so, plocks. All right. Yeah. I do, one thing, I, I don't think the back at IO of that Prime one was too much different from this motherboard. It shouldn't be, because it's like a $30 difference in price. Versus B650 to this, which was like a $100 difference. Okay. This thing has a bunch of expansion slots, too. I looked up expansion cards, did you know that people like Aces sell expansion cards that can put like 16 NVMEs on them. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, like the smallest one I found at first was like one that holds four. Yeah. And there's some that can hold like 16. Which is ridiculous. Gross. That's hilarious. That makes I'm me realize, yourself. like at this point when you say, oh, make sure you have slots. No, you don't need slots. <laughs> you just get slots. Now, do you have a PCIe slot available to put said expansion card? Yeah, you, you need room for the expansion card. But, I mean, I was looking at even the B650 had expansion cards, so... <laughs> slots for the expansion cards. I feel like it would be pretty simple. Mm. Alright. I am in... the area. I didn't think that mission I assigned you would be as complicated as it was. I mean, it's less complicated now that I'm in a smaller vehicle that can yeah. reverse. And not in a Mastodon that you're going to flip. Uh, excuse you? I didn't flip the Mastodon, ever. Oh, did you, did you get it stuck? Got stuck, yeah. Okay. I guess flipping a Mastodon would be pretty impressive. <laughs> now, a Bandit, on the other hand. Yeah, man. That's pretty flip easy that to shit. flip. <laughs> That's pretty stinking easy to flip. Even this fucking Patra, dude. Yeah, yeah. Any small vehicle, especially once you put mud tires on it or have it go fast, is going to be pretty easy to flip in this game. The fucking DLC scout we have, that is ridiculously easy to flip. That's funny, I, I, I have not flipped that thing anywhere as near as often as I flipped the bandit. I understand the bandit. But you also, I think you've used the bandit a lot more than the marshal. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense. Have I though? No, because anytime I would have used the bandit, I use the Mastodon instead, and I just the marshal. I just use the marshal. You've used the bandit a lot today. Maybe you started using the Mastodon because you realized you could put the crane at the end of it. But before today, you did not know that. So you were using the bandit every single time. Yeah. Whenever I needed the crane, yeah, I was always using the bandit for yep. specifically the crane. Only specifically for crane. Anything else that required But the fucking heavy stuff. the scout was we only used it on the first map. Because once we got to the second <laughs> map, it didn't have enough fuel anymore. So a lot more usage of the bandit overall. So it would make sense that you would flip it more. There's basically all the same weak points. Wish I had low plus on this thing already, but we that's gonna come oh from God. literally a DLC. First person view on the bandit or the Tetra, not usable. Ugh. It's too small and low to the ground. Yeah. You can feel everything on it. The inside of my big Tetra is pretty fine. It jitters a bit, yeah. but that's about it. I got used to it earlier. You know, I just, I just don't always been, need it. What I've been watching on your screen, yeah, that's that's comfortable. This is not comfortable. This is sickening. The small vehicles in general, I don't, I, I feel a little claustrophobic in those. In first person. Yeah. 
Okay, dude, I, I haven't had to recover this fucking Tatra once. I've just been using this out here all day. Same thing with the Chevy, technically. Incoming Karma. And the Bandit. Yeah, Karma, right? Karma. How dare you brag? Karma. YouTube comment sections. Basically. Well, how when I'm just driving in the mud, I can see the mud come up through my sideboard. Does that make sense? All right. Let's sell this fuel carrier trailer. And let's see. So that's a semi. Everything over here is a semi. Semi fuel carrier trailer. So there's only one not semi remaining on this map that I'll go grab. I think there's only one left. Pretty sure. Oh, no, there's a service trailer as well. Okay, so there's two. Um, I think I might start with the service trailer then. Yeah, sure. Change things up a little bit. Our service trailer. We'll go get that first. And then one other trailer after will be the rest of it. And then this map... I will have gotten every trailer that is not a semi. I don't I don't remember what parts of the world these this individual is from or these. I think one or two times I've had someone get very confused by the fact that I call it a semi and not a semi. I mean, it's like, in, in different contexts, we would say semi, like semi-human, semi-nutrient, yeah. you know, but when it comes to trucks, it is semi. It even has to do with accents because of, like, who typically drives uh, the trucks, you know? And so that just it catches on with everyone else who, who's trying to use the word. No, I have no idea. I've always just heard it as a semi. What's that? Oh, it's a semi. But I don't hear like sem. I don't usually hear semi trailer. I just hear semi. It's a semi. Semi doesn't sound like a word anymore. I've said it so much. <laughs> I, I miss when I remembered the psychological thing that is because there's a name for it. Did they draw on burnout from reusing the same word over time? I don't remember, because I read this shit like over a decade ago. What, word fatigue? Is it word fatigue? No, it's some stupid psychological name. Word fatigue sounds like someone on fucking Tumblr decided to act like they know something and made up a fucking name. That's what that sounds like. It's a uh, Dustin Hoffmeyer syndrome. Um, it's, uh, it's a sign of uh, early stage cancer. Uh, yeah. Hey Google, why am I coughing? Oh, you have cancer. Yeah, you're dying. Probably have one month to live. Thanks. Thanks, Google. Now, hear me out. Google tells you you have cancer and you have one month to live based on your symptoms. You then go crazy and commit a bunch of crimes. When you're in court, you claim you only did it because Google told you that you were gonna die. Who wins that? Uh, Google. I feel like the average person with a good enough lawyer could probably win that. I feel like it. 
You know, like just nobody's tried yet. Like, if someone tries, or if enough try, I feel like someone will win. Yep. I'm going to try restarting this task, because I put the truck in, the, in a weird spot. Uh, I'm going to see what the restart button does, if you don't mind. Um, good luck. Yep. The worst was happening, okay, cool. I it saw just, that. It just respawned the, uh, the vehicle back to the uh, location it was at. The funny thing is... Guild Wars 3 is happening, but ArenaNet doesn't want to comment on it. But Netties is just like, yeah, it's getting made. Yeah, they're making it. Yeah. Yeah, they're making Guild Wars 3. And ArenaNet's like, ah, it's something. We're thinking about it. It's, it's, uh, we're thinking about things all the time. And Netties is just like, yeah, they're making it. Yeah, it's getting made. Yep. Guild Wars 3, it's happening. That's how we know. Because Netties is talking about it while ArenaNet, the actual developers, are just like, eh. Who's We're Nettie? always thinking about it. Nettie's a publisher. Okay. Yeah. There was there was literally there was an interview like a week ago after. I remember reading it the day of. It was a week. It was just after the interview, and they approached like both reps, and the they're like, "So is Guild? What's happening? Guild Guild Wars three? And Nettie's like, "Yep, Guild Wars three. It's coming. Definitely happening. Getting made right now. We're very excited." goes to arena net rep so guild wars 3 is happening they're like ah wouldn't say it's happening we're always thinking about making new games but you know it'd be funny if like netty does that right and then guild wars is, or uh, arena net is like yeah it's happening and then netty comes out hits them with a fine for announce, uh, announcing a game they haven't hit this would be stupid <laughs> i i don't even i I played Guild Wars 2. I got I beat the base game. I hated it. This main story, good. The fact that they had that open world completion shit instead of side quests, I hated it. The combat where it scales, every time you level up you get weaker, I hated it. The fact that at max level and level 1, the same fucking bandits that are in the first like quest that I did could still three shot me <laughs> even though I had been grinding the best gear in the game for months on end I hated it so because of that I really just haven't gone out of my way to try the first one ever and now they're making a third one and like I want to be excited because yay new MMO but also it's a new Guild Wars where probably it'll just be the same thing again. Level 1 versus max level? Yeah, you're getting three shot by a level 1 enemy. Side quest? Nope, we don't know what that is. No story here. Just kill enemies, no story. Like, it's, it's a fucking WoW player's wet dream. Is what it is. Wow, like, that's... Just cutting out the story and reading and just making only objectives, that's there to appeal to WoW players. Someone that would like WoW would like that. I don't like WoW side quests. Nobody does. They suck. Because they're generic. I want story in my side quests. Like most other MMOs today. Like SOTOR. Where a side quest storyline is actually super relevant. And it has choices. And it's a lot of fun. That's what I want. I also don't want to be three shot by level one enemies. That's another thing. It's like the biggest thing, I think. If they fixed that, I, I think I would have finished every expansion the game had. Is if only. Good God, if only. This is far away. I could just... Not get three shot by level one enemies. The fucking level scaling. Forced level scaling. Uh, they um they implemented level scaling into ESO when I was playing ESO. I mm -hmm. fucking hated it. Oof. It because it, it completely anytime you put level scaling in an MMO, you get rid of the progression. Progression becomes punishment, not reward. 
Because every time you level up, you get weaker until you get better gear to suit. Everything becomes harder constantly. You're strongest at level 1 with crap gear, not at level 80 with max gear that you grinded for. Every level scaled MMO has that. You can no longer grind to get stronger to do something that might be too hard. Now, if you level up, it's just going to get harder and harder. Which is sad. At least for me. Some players like it, although none have ever told me why they like it. They just usually say, oh yeah, I hate leveling, so I like this. Which is weird, because the leveling is still there, it's just not rewarding anymore. So I don't know what exactly they like about it. No, none of them have ever specified to me. I don't really understand the appeal of that. Hmm. The fuck? Oh, there, there's actually another side quest? Yeah. There's another task on this map that I guess just was never picked up called Broken Antenna. Hmm. I did not notice. I've been, to the, I've been to the location. I didn't I didn't notice that it was not picked up. I, I've driven over there and done a quest. Maybe it unlocked that. I'm not sure. I didn't really notice it when I was over there. Hmm. So FF14 soon. Um, I don't know about soon. I do have my computer now, which is what I one of the main things I wanted. I also want the graphical update to go through. Um, but this upcoming week, I'm going to try Eden Eternal. Um, I have a list. I literally have a list, a games list of like the order I plan to tackle MMO type shit. By, uh, by the way, Matt9, Notepad mm -hmm. on Windows 11 is so much better than on Windows 10. So much better. Is it? Okay. So much. It's like Notepad is actually something I would gladly use now. <laughs> Compare it to CMD prompt in, in Windows Vista to Windows 10. Uh, I, I never used the command prompt in Windows Vista. Oh my god. But it's like, like in a lot of cases for Notepad and like Windows 10 and before, you might just want to use Word instead because that's easier. Because it, it just works better. It doesn't infinitely scroll. This this is like a miniature lightweight WordPad basically. In a, it's so much better. Um, all, the, the nav I'm finding the navigation to be a lot better in general as you go mm -hmm. through Windows. The navigation is a lot better. But the, I hate that I can't move the fucking taskbar. Well, that's fine by me because I don't understand why anyone puts it on the side to begin with. So I'm very happy with where it is. I just don't like it at the bottom. It makes I just don't like the, the loss the of the... Because I've had it at the bottom since 1999. So, I would never want it on the right, because I've had it on the bottom since 1999. What is that, 25 years? 24 years? Something like that. That's when I first ever used a computer. It was in 1999. I didn't even think you could put it on the side then, could you? I don't think you could. Uh, but list, MMOs, Eden Eternal. Uh, I'm just looking through. Critic of Zero. Assuming they don't shut that down. Uh, and then I want to do that Sword Art Online Integral Factor. And then... There's just none on this list right here. Uh, it's not really an MMO, but to me, in my head, it acts like one. Dauntless. It's kind of how I see it right now. I, w I do wonder when they added the ability to put the taskbar on the side. Because I never heard of it. I just saw someone have it on the side one day randomly and i'm pretty sure it was after moving here i don't think i actually ever saw it until i moved here so i'm curious as to when they added that i like to think of it as once on the bottom there's more pixels that are wasted toward the taskbar than on the side magically makes sense hey look it's a wi-fi hey look she's got food i don't know what i'd be wasting it on though huh Okay, so yeah. Okay, what what happened? Move my Windows 11 taskbar. What? The bottom left. Yeah, it starts out centered. I don't like that. So I, 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 I did that too. I got the original layout. 
But when he says the side, he means like instead of the taskbar being on the bottom at all, it's like only mean? on like the <laughs> side and it runs vertically. That's where he has his. God, this thing. But I'm not sure when they actually, I, I'm, and I'm so curious when they made that a thing. Let's see. As I jumped the Chatcher off a cliff. When did Windows, not subdued, Windows, not advisors, Windows, there you go, start allowing, not showing, allowing sidebars on the, not sidebars, sidebars, task bars. Are on side. Curious, like what edition? I know you could do it in XP. You could do it in XP. I never saw it. Did I just drive into a pole? I did. I never saw it. Yeah, I never did personally did it until uh, I saw someone do it at work when I moved here. So. I, I think I first saw it when I moved here on some, on one of your PCs, and I saw it and went, mm -hmm. "Ew, why?" And then uh, I, I think I tried it on my computer to see what it would feel like, and it completely threw me off. I think I, I semi understand. I think no matter what side you put it on, the mm. people though that make it so that the taskbar automatically hides itself. Mm. That makes some sense, no matter what side it's on. But I, I like having it always be there because I usually need to access it a lot. Same. Also, it also like is easier to see like notifications when you do that way. Yeah. Yeah. I also don't just don't like the actual transition animation. It feels clunky. And when uh, trying it out, I've I glitched it out first time I tried it. So. And then it's just constantly move stuff, and I didn't like that. I would do it to kill workers as a punishment. Nice. I'm pulling a service trailer. And my task bar hide hidden, I assume. Yeah, I I, I don't like that. I, I, first time I ever tried that, I glitched it out. I don't like how it moves stuff when it comes back on. I just like it always having it there. And the task, the, the start menu is always on the bottom left. I don't like that they centered it in Windows 11, but Thank God they let you put it on the bottom left. They I mean, let, I can tell you why they did it. it. I can tell you why they did it. Why? Copy Apple. Oh, I, I don't even know how a Mac looks. Yeah, the, the OS as a whole has a lot of echoes of, of Apple's uh, design. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the centered thing. I did what DK did. I immediately put it at the bo bottom left. Although it's not really even a start menu anymore. It's more like a quick access menu is what it is now. But I treat it like a start menu. I just have to manually put the things there that I want there. The search menu is like the start menu now. Which it, it could Ew, be. Ew, is the search menu. Ugh. It, in Windows 10 it could be, but now it's just kind of like the default. I know they didn't push Cortana as hard with Windows 11. I still don't like that Windows 11 exists to begin with, though. Just because I remember when they advertised Windows 10, they said it was the forever OS. That it would just be updated <laughs> infinitely and we'd never need another one. Then randomly they say, oh, by the way, you know, many years later, by the way, we're launching Windows 11 in a month. What? Surprise! And then it comes out, and then 
It's been out for a month. They're like, oh, by the way, in like a couple years, we're going to launch Windows 12. Like, what? I thought we were done with this. Although, in terms of compatibility, I must say the jump from 10 to 11 has given me the least compatibility issues of every jump I've ever made between two Windows versions, ever. It's almost like they made uh, 10 ready for you to be able to update it. That way they didn't have to make a new OS. Well, I just mean applications made for 10 yeah. are very compatible with applications uh, made for a, like, well, to run on 11, basically. Because like when I updated, from example, from Vista to 7, a whole bunch of my games didn't work now. Gotcha. Okay. I see what you mean. Yeah, a whole bunch of programs thought, I... just stopped working and would never work ever again. But going from 10 to 11, some things started working better. Honestly. Like some Windows 10 programs started working better on this OS. Some games made for like Windows XP started working better on this OS. It's really weird. I don't feel they need to rebrand the OS with new numbers. Well, this is essentially a new OS. It's not 10 anymore. It released very broken for certain hardware too, but that's all fixed hey, up Rez, now. Is, is Armor running it better? <laughs> I haven't run Arma on this. But I, I wouldn't assume so, because that's mostly limited by... It puts all the limitations on CPU clock speed. Kind of like Dragon's Dogma 2 does. Although, Arma's probably worse about it. And I can make a lot of games that were broken by running... Uh... Is there a verb missing there? I found I could make a lot of games that were broken by you. Oh God, you just gave me a stroke and almost made me crash my vehicle by missing the verb that goes there. <laughs> LAA compatibility app. Um, LAA, like uh, the large addressable executables. So the things that are technically illegal, by the way. Fun fact. In most cases, using those are illegal because you're modifying illegally the EXE. Did you know that, Matt Nine? Yeah, because you're not using, you're not, you don't own that EXE. You're fucking. Uh, oh, no, no, this is it. a specific reference because um, someone ran Dragon Age Origins. With an <laughs> I don't know who the guy was, but he had to do it uh, because the game would crash over and over and over again. You had to use an LAA, uh, which is technically illegal. Technically. That's kind of technical. Right. Technically. Uh, what do I need for uh, semi trailers? I need a low mount, right? Honestly, I, d I don't. Earlier, David said low saddle, so I'm going to assume low. Okay, saddle. Low. Just going to listen to what David said. I believe in David. Believe in the David that believes in you. That's that's what I'm going with. I don't know, man. David died in uh, Airpunk 2077. Look, when I was a kid, I had a best friend uh, when I was five years old, and his name was David. But I wasn't David's best friend. Robert was David's best friend. I fucking hated Robert. Robert did everything that I did, but he was better at it. Ugh. I got an Robert. A. Well, actually, he wasn't as good at Grace, so scratch that part. Um, but, you know, I, I, we did baseball. And I, I would get this many hits, he'd get that many hits, you know? I'd get... Uh, I, I loved being shortstop, so did he. But he was considered better at shortstop, so he got shortstop. He always got to bat first, I wanted to bat first. He got David as a best friend, I wanted David as a best friend. I play this game a lot. There you go, David. 
Perfect. That's why I trust in David. Yeah, damn fucking Robert. Although he really plateaued in high school. He stopped being better at like literally anything that we did. So did that one bitch Carrie. Now, like I had a male that I was like antagonistic with, Robert, of course, Robert, fuck Robert. And then there was that bitch Carrie, right? She was the female equivalent. Okay, this is the equivalent of I got an A, she got an A plus. Every everything, there, we we, no matter she what it, what it was, stop. what? You should take your spot in shortstop. Well, no, that's <laughs> girls weren't allowed to play baseball. That's that's why there was a male and female equivalent. Ah, uh, okay. Naturally, um, and then, I remember the first time I ever beat Carrie in anything, it was in kindergarten. We had a mock election so we could learn how democracy worked. Because there was an election happening that year. Uh, Bush versus John Kerry. So guess who that bitch Kerry wanted everyone to vote for? John motherfucking Kerry, all right? I couldn't let this bitch win, naturally. So whereas she started trying to rally everybody to vote for John Kerry, we're five-year-olds, so as a reminder, I said, no, we're voting for Bush. Why? Because you're voting for Kerry. And fuck that bitch, Kerry. In five-year-old words, of course. And so I started trying to rally all the boys. I turned it into a sex war, right? <laughs> I started rallying all the boys, and she was rallying all the girls. So then the girls teamed up to try to convince specific boys to come to their side and then we would try to convince certain girls to come to our side and I won Bush won I am the reason Bush got elected let's just let's just say that so right? it's your fucking fault let's let's just let's just ignore the fact that we were five and let's pretend this was the real election okay because Bush won in my in my kindergarten election you know, you know. On the flip side, she tells a story about this dickhead uh, named Nathaniel, who she probably doesn't remember me at all. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> probably hasn't thought about me in years. Here I am telling stories about this bitch Carrie. This, this asshole Nathaniel won, and I don't think now 11 happened because uh, I, I don't. I don't think she gave a fuck. <laughs> honestly, I don't think she gave a single shit. I'm just dramatic sometimes. It's fine. Um. And, and then, yeah, I, I beat her, and I was very happy. And then as she got older, she, dude, she became like a complete flunky with her grades. And she started dressing like a fucking hooker, too. All right, sounds like my kind of girl. Where so she, she, she completely, like, completely changed. And even in high school, where I completely stopped trying to get good grades, I was getting better grades than her. She was failing everything. She went from A plus to failing everything. I only went to failing math. All right, and that was due to some some none. You might notice that I keep a lot of grudges, and I remember things forever. <laughs> oh, Rez, some at the time I stole your content. Yeah, yeah. I try, I, I try not to remember it. I try not to. It's, it's pretty rough. I have a text that dinner is ready. I told you. Oh, I didn't hear you. When yeah, did you I was tell like, me? Hey, Riz, Wi-Fi, she has food, which means there's food for you. No, I, I heard, hey, wife nine, and she has food. And then you guys had a conversation. Like, I heard her start talking, and then you put oh. your mic up. And then there was nothing for about a minute. And then the topic okay, well. completely changed. Hey, Riz, you got food. Okay. I'll go grab that.
all your res. Yeah. I only get one burger, because Matt and I only eats burgers, and Dante wanted a burger, so I told Dante to throw up the burger. So you're eating the vomit burger? No, he said, I'll, he said, and I quote, No, I'll never do that again. Like, so you've done it before. And then he tried to chase me up the stairs, but he was too slow. Oh, uh, oh you trying to chase me up the stairs? Oh no, you're about to win. Throws the kids down the stairs. <laughs> mm -hmm. How does that work, DK? Does that work on, like, games? <clears throat> yes? Neat. Still going a good direction, yes. <clears throat> but I just got started. The res build gunplay stream. What the hell is that? Uh, res. That's a uh, 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 stupid uh, Gundam. Gundam models. Hmm. Okay. That probably won't happen. Yeah, res is a scared of knives. Where'd you get that from? It's a joke. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> he did. Yes. Actually, he did. He suggested on Throne a, a Gundam model to build. And <laughs> I said, I would never do this. I don't, I don't want a model. I don't want to build a model. I'll build it. He likes building models. Other than the fact that we play video games... Uh, enjoy geopolitics and like burgers. How are we similar exactly? Um, we are uh, males who. Uh... Oh yes, we were male. That's a great thing to bond over. <laughs> that's that's yep. Isn't isn't that the chief uh, 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 bonding agent anyways in most societies? Uh, well, no, because women hate each other. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that, that's why the dudes have to be chill with each other. Do the dudes are usually just chill in general? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But except for those dudes over there. Fuck those dudes. Of course. Karma's gonna get him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who's Karma? You both wear clothes? Look. I'm gonna, <laughs> Only half the time. I'm gonna recite a story, okay? <laughs> oh, shit. Once upon a time, I was downstairs... It's nighttime, and I go, like, getting water or something, I go, go to go upstairs. And then there comes Matt Nine down the stairs, in the dark, in his boxers. He's surprised to see me. He goes, oh, hi. I'm like, hi. And then I go past him, and he goes, you're lucky I'm wearing boxers. Before <laughs> you moved in, I didn't. <laughs> so... Uh, there's the difference of in in prime like home alone I would still wear clothes he'd probably just be walking around the kitchen naked in the middle of the night let's go so make you a sandwich with my slapping now I don't I don't know if the similarity there is quite definitive 
I'm also a seven foot tall, very muscular man. Real? Yeah. Well, that's something you have in common with Matt and I, and then Yeti. Let's get your Gundam Breaker. He's going to be playing with Gunplays at least. I play Gundam Breaker. I'll play Breaker. video games. Rez would not play Gundam Breaker. That game is so fucking monotonous and boring. I'm going to be real here. I've already played two Gundam games, I think. Or one, uh, I guess. Yeah, I've already played one. And This plays nothing like any of those. Well, I, I, I've only played one. And I would certainly try another one. The first one was all right. I played it co-op with DK. I don't know if Gundam Breaker has a co-op in, in the story mode. I mean, I'd still probably try it. I'm pretty sure I own one, so. Well, I own it, that's for sure. I don't know anything about Gundam, but I'll still play it. I don't have to know anything about it. It just gives me something to complain about if they don't tell me anything. Like when I played the first Naruto game and they didn't tell me jack shit about anything happening. They just assumed that I had seen and memorized the entire show before. You don't know who Choji is? And, and their representation of Hinata was literally just that she wanted to lose weight. Yes, I remember that, actually. Yeah, I was going to try the Gundam Breaker off of your account, Matt Nine. Yeah. But then, and I, I told DK that. I said, yeah, I'll try, pro I'll try it off Matt Nine's account. And then he immediately gifted it to me. I mean, if it has co-op, sure, but like, I, what I hate most about Gun and Breaker is the core gameplay loop, because like, the, the way the game works, Rez, is that uh, as you progress through the story, uh, you just naturally collect new pieces of Gundams, right? Yeah. But like, this game is literally peak min-max. Mm -hmm. um, you will not progress through the story unless, one, you already know what you need to min-max for the specific mission is. Like, there's no one build that will let you beat any mission. It's like, some missions require you to be faster than the others and worry less about combat. So you need to know, for this mission, you need a faster Gundam. So you need the parts that make your Gundam faster. But you also need to be good enough where that you being faster and having to degrade your ability to do damage and receive damage. So, like, you have to be good at, you know, being a glass cannon, you have to be good at being a tank. You, like you have to be good at everything, all those aspects, in order to beat the the campaign. But the worst part is, is that even if you do everything you're supposed to do, a lot of pieces are hidden behind pure fucking chance. And some some of the pieces you need to like to to min max to actually fucking win are like the boss pieces. And like you're like, okay, great, I got the right arm in this boss piece for the seventeenth time. I need the legs. You know? Yeah. And not only that, like, the, the Gundam pieces themselves come in different scales. So, like, you have to figure out whether or not you need the smaller scale of the of the model or the bigger scale of the model. It just really depends on the mission. Like, dude, you have to grind so hard on that game. I got tired of the grinding part, and so I just used Cheat Engine. I just gave myself max money so that whenever you collect one piece of a Gundam, it gives you the ability to buy all the pieces for the rest of the Gundam, so you don't have to sit there grinding the same thing over and over again. 
So I would get the one piece of the Gundam that I need, or get a piece that I don't need, and just buy all the variants of, of, of that Gundam. Because I did not fucking feel like grinding my ass off just to play the goddamn game. All right. <clears throat> and 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 worst part, worst part, story isn't even that, that interesting. Story is not interesting. It, it plays like Necropar was just it's just a uh, a, a visual novel where the game just fills in in the the, the space between the the novel. Okay. I just hated doing the missions over and over and over again. It was just so monotonous. And it wasn't fun. The game, the core gameplay loop isn't fun. It it's, sounds like God you, Eater. You, you shoot, you melee, you stand in a circle, and you push a pickup and a drop off button. That's it. Ugh. And, and dying in the game is barely an inconvenience. And your your friendly AI are just as competent as you expect them to be. Now, the Digimon Cyber Sleuth game, that game is fun as fuck. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit repetitive, but the story is actually interesting. The gameplay is actually fun. And I enjoy the mechanics where you like harvest the Digimon over and over to like upgrade your favorite Digimon. So that way, it doesn't matter what you want, to, what you need to do. You can just, you know, overcome it with whatever the fuck you want to do. You don't have to like fucking. I need exactly fucking Cyber Jermon with exactly these stats, with exactly these abilities to make sure I get to the next, the next fucking stage. And like, you can go at your own pace. You can be like, um, I don't feel like doing store right now. I'm just gonna go back into this place I just discovered, and I just wanna stay here for a while because I like that Digimon. I wanna get that Digimon. What you just described about having a specific Digimon? Yeah. When I played the DS Digimons, that was literally what it was. It was like, <laughs> okay, to do this next part, I need to level them up to this, but then I need to revert them so their stats go up and level them back up again. And I have to do that two more times to get the evolution I need. That's what it was. Yeah. You, you don't need to do that at all in the uh, Epic Sleuth game. There's no reverting them to get more max level to unlock evolutions. Oh, it's just it's just going up. Um, you can revert them, <clears throat> but like it's not that part uh, is inconsequential. Like, yeah, there are some some of them prefer one stat or the other, but it's so easy to go back and forth between them. That it's it's basically a non-issue. Well, the reason you did it, there's two reasons you did it in those games that I tried. Mm -hmm. Number one, because there was a max level any Digimon could reach based on certain factors. To raise that limit, you had to level it up again after reverting it. And this number two is that every time you level up, you gain stats. When you revert, you do not lose all the stats. So every time you level up again, you'll be stronger than the last time. And it's, it's a way to have even Digimon that have stats that would make their ability to level up smoothly bad actually end up really good. And in the two games I played, that's that was the function of that. <clears throat> I preferred that grinding over Pokemons, like you need to breed the perfect Pokemon. I hated that that idea. Just in what in what game? Uh, Pokemon, like needing to breed Wait. the perfect Pokemon versus in Digimon. If Even if my Digimon sucks, if I just revert it enough times, I can still max it out. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, like with Pokemon, if you want to play competitive, but like to beat the Elite Four, if you just fucking got a Pokemon, didn't train it at all, pumped in a hundred rare candies into it, you you you'll. So I. Where where are you legitimately going to get a hundred rare candies from by the time you okay. get to the Elite Four? Okay. Or even aside from that. It's like... Right, but... Like, like that, that's like, oh yeah, but in Pokemon it doesn't matter because you could just cheat and then you <laughs> win. I could, I could do that in Digimon too. I could do that in any game. I could just cheat. 
But by default, usually when you get to the Elite Four, in every Pokemon game I've played, you will be vastly underleveled. Your setup will not be sufficient, especially because you'll have all those, like, HM Pokemon or whatever. Mm. And the Elite Four will kick your ass without preparation. You, to get around this, you would either have to do a fuck ton of grinding, breeding, or already just have an arsenal of Pokemon to the point where you're not even getting new ones, you're just using ones that you already went through this process with in the past. Uh, when I was a kid, the way I did it was I would get to the Elite Four and I would spend all my money on, like, you know, max elixirs and all that bullshit, right? Until I had, like, no money left. And then I just kept fighting the Elite Four over and over and over until I finally leveled up enough to defeat them. Just out of, just out of sure fucking, uh, brute force. Alright. Nope, no breeding. Is there a gas station around here? There is not. I just never really liked the breeding there system is. in general. Yeah, it's pretty fucking shit. Like, Especially oh, yeah. just because the max stats have been have been locked behind it. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer when games just let me grind my way to anything. If that's an option. Rather than... You have to interact with a system completely detached from the core gameplay loop in order to get these max values. I hate that. I also hate catching legendaries, because that's literally just, uh, like a matter of saves coming. Rez. What? Ask me. Ugh. <sighs> I'm in uh, Drummond Island. There, my refuel uh, Tetra is still here. I'm parked right next to it. I wonder if the loading screens add to my uh, lagginess. Mm, like, like loading back and forth is what causes the lag. Yeah, like, like every time. Like, I wonder if that's one thing that it, uh, contributes to it. Is like, if every time you go through a loading screen, it slightly increases some sort of memory leak. Yeah. I wonder. I mean, easy way to test is just like click, 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 click. All right, how's the game running? That was weird. I saw you go in my car and then leave. Yeah. Uh, I'm not fueled. Your truck that you're in right now is not fueled? Correct. Oh, I looked at it and it was fully fueled on my screen. I just want to get out of that vehicle then, because when I looked at it, you were 100% okay. fueled. Alright, I will change trucks to the other one so you can go to that one. At this, I think you filled up this truck, because I left it down to I did, because uh, uh, I, I, I thought you had asked me to fill up the truck. I was like, oh, that's weird. The truck is full, but this one is not. So I just no, filled I up that one. <laughs> I wanted my Macedon fueled. Yeah, and when I looked at it, it was completely fueled up, which is weird. Well, this, this one needed gas too anyways, so... Well, while you're in that one, I cannot fuel this one. Oh, really? From there. Okay. All right, uh, I'll go to garage then. That's weird. Now I can see that you need fuel. Alright, so now both are fueled. Whew. Also, I love that, like, the moment I started eating a burger, and so there was silence, Matt and I just started going on about Gundam and Digimon and... Good, good, uh, good, uh, time to eat. Mm -hmm. I think, I think my favorite PS2 games were like, I don't know. I'm not sure, actually. 
I loved Blade res Storm, of course. Res my my Mastodon still isn't fueled. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no fuel in the Mastodon. Zero fuel? No, there's there's the the normal the same amount, fit sixty eight. I I don't know, dude. I fueled it. What the fuck? I I I fueled it. Believe you? No. You can even watch the stream. I fueled it. The first time it showed fully fueled. The second time I did see the sixty eight and then I fueled it. And yep. So I don't know. You you seem bugged. My mastodon is bugged. Just make and two. I came in I gotta make I do with in. what fuel you have, or use something that's more fuel efficient, maybe, because I have fueled you, and you showed full on my screen. Your mastodon is glitched. This is why the Tatch was nice. Doesn't need to refuel most of the time. I know other than Bladestorm on PS2, I, I really liked um, Xeno Saga, of course. I think Battlefront 2 was on PS2 as well. And I loved Battlefront 2. Uh, I hear the Battlefront 2, like, a remake or a conclusion in the whatever. The collection. Hear, yeah, yeah, I hear it's bad. Yes, it was really bad. It, they had broken textures they like exponentially increased the file size of the game um and there was a bunch of like the internet connectivity was terrible they accidentally maybe accidentally disabled half the cutscenes in the game for the main My story it was all kinds of fucked up and after it released and the complaints started pouring in they fixed it in like two days why did you release the game <laughs> if you could fix that shit in two days? Like, what? If there's uh, a, heard... if the game launches with a serious problem, it shouldn't be fixable in two days. Because you could have just delayed the game by two days. And that's it. That would have solved it. You know the worst part is that if the devs actually did ask for just the two days. Just two days to get it to, to fix it up. And the fucking publisher's just like, nah. No. Like when Monster Hunter World released, the internet connectivity was completely fucked. Completely. It was terrible. You would disconnect all the time, even if you were trying to play single player. They didn't even believe it was a problem for the first month. And then it still took them half a year to... I think half a year to fix, maybe more than that. And then it came back after they fixed it, and then they had to fix it again. That makes sense. Because I could tell that they didn't know that that was a problem. But, if you launch a game, and you literally, it, it's so broken, and you could fix it two days after release, and it launched so badly that it would permanently affect the sales of the product, and give it negative reviews, like, forever, why didn't you just delay it by two days? Yeah. It's possible some last fix broke it, then they should have tested that. That's the thing. You, you don't sell a game that you haven't tested. Of course it'll be broken. You can't change something in a game without breaking it. That's how games work. That's how software how programming works. programming works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't change something without breaking it. Uh, I also heard that they included some content that was made by some yes. game back in yeah, the day. Um, no, it was a modder. They included... Um, uh, I think it was in the trailer, though, not in the game. They included, yes, it was in a trailer, content from a modder that isn't actually in the game. And they included it in the trailer without the modder's permission. Okay, cool, so they they're, they are doing false advertising then. That was weird. I had weird 
weird waypoints that were like only half existing. I feel like we're like bugged right now or something. A little bit. Not fully, but just a little bit. Alright. Since the trailer store is literally at the entrance of the other map, I'm just going to start stockpiling all the trailers here at the entrance. Coming Away from, from the coming entrance, from the dam? obviously. Huh? Uh, at yeah. the entrance coming from the dam? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to park these trailers in a not-in-the-way spot. Uh, all right. So wait, so you're... The dam from the dam or Drummond Island? From where I am right now at Drummond Island. Okay. The, the trailer store is to... not at the entrance. It's, it's on the there? exact opposite side. It's this is next to the way to Smithville Dam, not. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm saying. The dam. Oh, you're gonna I'm you're at... you're sending them to the dam. I'm sending them to the dam, correct? Okay, you're sending them to the dam. I see. And nice. the entrance from to, to the dam from yeah. Yeah. here is yeah. the, the trailer store is literally right there. Yeah. You so are I'm, really, I'm really, you you don't like the loading screens at all, do you? Huh? No, I just I don't want to have to go through the loading screen 16 times. And like, so exactly my point. I don't notice the loading screen really because it's like one second. You do things to avoid the loading screens including earlier i remember you went out of your way to take a longer path to the objective saying that it fits your travel style better whereas <laughs> to actually get to the end destination you had to go through the area that you claimed didn't fit your travel style anyway i i That's could cat. tell i i what <laughs> I could tell that you were just wanting to avoid the loading screen because your play style doesn't matter when you have to go through the area no matter what. Which is that weird area swampy that area leading over to the, like, from the, the river to the dam. You had to go through that area no matter what. That's the only way to get there. You just took the longer way to get to the items you were collecting. It's the same play style no matter what, you're just adding extra travel time. So I could tell that that was out of a dislike of the, the loading screens, no matter what you said. But this just really hammers it in. It's a one anyways, second loading screen, and anyways, you want to avoid it no I'd matter rather, what. I'd rather, I'd rather just be able to just calmly go through them, one after the other, rather than spreading them out and being frustrated over the time, and I could just get it out in one small little packet. Why does a one second loading screen frustrate you? <laughs> because it doesn't let you skip it right away. You have to wait for the fucking loading screen. Oh, it's thing not even say. the loading screen. That it's not even the loading screen you don't like. It's the it's, it's the, the cinematic. Oh my yeah. god! I didn't even think of that. That make because what I said earlier, how uh -huh. like I went through it and I didn't skip it even though it popped up like basically almost instantly by the way. I still didn't skip it, I just drank some water and said if I was Matt and I, I'd be complaining right now, but instead I took a you sip know, of some water. I didn't even I realize how relevant that would be, because this whole thing about avoiding the loading screens isn't even because of the one second loading screen. You just cannot, physically cannot stand the cinematic you get when entering a new location. That's not what you said. You said I'd be slamming on your escape bar over and over. Yeah, yeah, just escape spamming, bar. spamming. <laughs> I did add complaining as well. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I fucking hate the cinematic. <laughs> That's crazy. No screen, no issue. I don't. I don't have to think to to wait for that to go away. And it's, like I said, I would say a second, loading screen is worse. I can't end this fucking cinematic until it lets me. Pisses me off. It takes about the same time for that escape to pop up as it does for the loading screen to go. Yeah, I found more wolves. I, we've encountered this in another game before, and I'm pretty, I think it was in Dragon Age. I remember editing it, and I, I remember coming to the conclusion of, of why I think you are like this. 
And I, I blamed it on <laughs> mobile games. You play a lot of mobile games. It's cut down recently. But still, you played a lot of mobile games. Where you don't, you never have to wait a second for anything. It's all, it's all about stimulation overload. That's the whole name of mobile <laughs> yeah, games. Right, right, right in the veins, baby. Come on, give me that shit. Oh, yeah. It's the gratification. I need it. Give it, come on. Well, then you'll grind for, like, in Kingdom Hearts, for example, for just an hour <laughs> straight of a save file you're not even playing. You'll, you'll just grind that just fine. You know I'm not impatient. You're impatient with, like, very hyper-specific things. <laughs> like when when you're waiting for me to tell you what to do next. It's like yeah, so, Rez. What I, do you want me to do now? Rez. Wait a second. Rez. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> what I hate, Rez, isn't the the wait. It's the lack of control. That's what I hate. I hate when the control is not given to me. I'd love to have a technology that lets you get in someone's head so you could actually feel whatever sort of chemical reactions are happening to certain things. Like a fat person seeing a cheeseburger. Or like a woman thinking about anything. Oh god. You'd probably go insane. Cause bitches be crazy. Cause I can't personally understand anything you're describing. Rez, you don't have empathy. You're a sociopath. I, I like having control over things, but it's like with my schedule, for example. Like, I, I like knowing what I'm going to do tomorrow, and I don't like it being on the whims of someone who said maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. If this other thing doesn't happen. I can't, I can't function like that. But, a cinematic? I like cinematics. I like cinematics the first time. It, it gives me a nice opportunity to take my hand off the fucking keyboard for once. Take a sip of water. No, I can do that one-handed. Uh, what I actually, but I, I don't like the loading screen. I think the loading screen is so fast it shouldn't even be there. <laughs> I'm gonna devs upload the wrong version of game files to Steam. I have also seen devs upload incorrect game versions. Game, a game had that happen recently. I forgot what it was. Ooh, I see a bunch of Legend of Goon. All right, let's, let's see that. Great game, PS1, put so many hours for this game back then. Yeah, I love Legend of Goon. Like, I don't know. I think Res wouldn't like it. I think so. It's a it's a uh, PS1 game. JRPG. Um, JRPG. Yeah, I figure. So right, so al al already right there. I already lost him. Already lost him. Right yeah, there. because I, I I could tell it's a JRPG the moment I like I read it. No idea what that is. I hear you recognize it. It's a JRPG. <laughs> because hey, what about Metal? What about Metal Gear Solid? Huh? Metal Gear Solid. That's not a JRPG. It's Japanese. Japanese. Uh. I literally like the first Japanese stuff I got into was like Xeno Saga, but even then, not really very much. Like maybe some Pokemon here and there, maybe maybe some Fire Emblem, but for the most part, I'm on the PC. I'm playing Baldur's Gate, Avernum, Gene Forge, Exile. I'm playing MUDs, I'm playing Western MMORPGs, I'm playing all this shit. Cause, cause me and Matt Nine, we had the exact opposite video game upbringing. He got into everything Japanese, and I avoided almost everything Japanese without even realizing it. And it became a point of real confusion, cause I got him to try a Western RPG, and slowly realized he just didn't know common like rpg things like like i would do something playing kingdom hearts for example and you would question it 
and you would do things that were in a certain way. Like, for example, you did not understand that when you got into a new area, you needed to minesweep that shit. Yeah, and yeah. you found it weird when I did it. And you're like, no, just go over there. I'm like, what are you doing? I'm searching the area. Why are you trying to rush me through? Why would I go over there? <laughs> That's all the way over there. Look at all this space rich. here I have to look at. Because you mind sweep. You get into a new location in a Western RPG, <laughs> you got to mind sweep that shit because there's something. I, and I, I love it because when you got into Dragon Age, you you would not even think to do it most of the time. And then w the one time you go, maybe I should mind sweep. You found a fucking hidden wall on the first thing you <laughs> ran up to. It was it was a, it was at the it was at the uh, the tree dungeon. Yeah, yeah, the the elf area. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so the, I got this I, broken antenna mission. I still can't hear Tuvok's voice. Argo container from the fucking okay. episode. What? Uh, I I listened to that uh, audio clip again from. Uh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, I, I can hear it just fine now. Ever since I... you pointed it out. <laughs> but I only really knew him from that and iCarly before. Yeah. So that. Who's he in iCarly? He's the principal. Is he really? Yeah, he's he plays the principal. Oh my fucking god! All right now, I really need gas. That, I'm not gonna make this without gas. I I could try it again. All right, I'm gonna Just hop fully over fully back leave everything before I get there. I am, I am fully leaving everything. Stand by. Also, stats. Stats. You, you didn't really know how, like, s CRPG, Western RPG stats worked, which is really rooted in d and D. I I just I just need more attack and defense, right? And HP. That's it, right? I want to swing a sword, so right? I must need strength. You want to swing a magic sword. Strength. You don't even have the magic sword. Strength. All right, you're out. Yep, I'm out. All right, I'm going into your Tatra. I accidentally honked the horn. Refuel. Zix. It says 24 out of 133. I'm going to fuel it. It now has 133. Out of 133. I'm even going to go and change into your truck. <laughs> it has 133 out of 133. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to my vehicle. Okay. Now, you get in there and don't you dare even fucking play with me, alright? You get in there and you tell me what it says. You do not pretend. No, you tell me what it says immediately truthfully what does it from the say map, from the map i just saw it was said it's full it is currently full okay good because i you know i expected it to be full but i also expected you to get in and be like oh it's still empty <laughs> i'm not having that right now there's not enough time for this bullshit all right i wouldn't have done it to you in this instance res i believe you would have i totally believe you would have in this specific instance, I wouldn't have you, done You know it. why I believe you would have? Because why? it's a problem for you and not a problem <laughs> for me because it's your truck. So once if you know it's not a problem for you, then it's fine. If it's a problem for me, then you know not to joke about it. And, if, <laughs> and it's not a problem for me if it's not a problem for you. So there you go. Uh, do I need to pull this uh, service trailer as well? I just want to make sure it's not mission related. Um, if it's marked on the map mm -hmm. without tracking any missions, mm -hmm. then it is just a random trailer. Okay, cool. And I will nab it. Okay. I remember playing a lot of like uh, Spyro Pac-Man games on like PS1. I love Spyro. I used to love it. If, I, if you put it in front of me today, I'd probably hate it. It's I remember just... that game. I remember that game being so hard and so frustrating. I went to play it like last year, and that shit was so fucking easy. It was it was 
Well, yeah, I, j- I just had this conversation with uh, Pilgrim. I had this conversation with Pilgrim recently. It's mm-hmm. like, I-, I found Pokemon Yellow to be the hardest one. And and we we had this, like, simulated this conversation. Oh, what was so hard about it? Oh, I was five. Tough times. <laughs> yeah. Has nothing to do with the game. You know what else is hard? Old s- oh, RuneScape 2. You know what's not hard? Old school RuneScape. Why? Because uh, we're adults now. And we have access to, like, Wikipedias and shit. Minmax, right? We know how to get the ghost speak amulet. We don't need a fucking wiki. Oh, well, well no, we could use a wiki to tell us. And we don't need um, other players to lead us through things. Hey, 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 back then, those players taught you valuable Um, lessons. Man, did you ever have an N64? No. Yeah, I never had an Um, N64 either, but DK did. I have have played a lot of N64 games emulated just because I wanted to... That's illegal! Fuck my ass, it's illegal. That's... Well, that's legal if you give permission. But... Emulator! Illegal! Wee-woo, wee-woo, Nintendo police! Uh, I, I purchased those uh, the Doesn't copies, matter. and I, I, I made backups of my own games. Doesn't and, uh, matter. Um, you created a version of the game that you did not own. Illegal. We woo. Japanese Nintendo police. But, uh, I never got to finish uh, talking about Legend of Goon. You never really got a chance to start. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, the core gameplay loop was obviously a turn-based uh, JRPG. But uh, what was cool about it was uh, when, during the fights, uh, you had to time your button presses to, to complete attacks, right? So first you had your basic attack, right? So if you tapped X at the right time, um, you got your second attack. And then eventually it got more and more complicated to where you got more and more combos, right? And then you leveled up those combos, and then you, in order to unlock more combos, you had to max out those combos. So like your first combo you got was Volcano, but literally just two button presses that's it just x wait 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 x and then you you would do the the, the combo and he'd say volcano whatever right like every character has their own like set of com- uh, combos but on the flip side sometimes the enemy would get the opportunity to do a counter attack and so if they were about to do a counter attack what you would instead like you would the game would prompt you instead of pressing x to press circle or square i forget which one button it was if you failed that button prompt, you got punished and you got damaged on the enemy's turn. But on the flip side of that, you could do the same to them. You just so, reminded me mm-hmm. something PlayStation said. Mm-hmm. Is did you know the X is is not X, it's cross? Yeah. And they tweeted. If you call cross X, then what are you calling the circle? And I read that and I and I just thought. Oh. <laughs> I legitimately call it O oh a lot of the time. Go on. Uh, but uh, kind of argument. X is a shape, not just a letter. Um. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah. So, uh, that's how that works. So, like the core gameplay loop, you were never out of uh playing. Like. You were constantly actually participating in the game. It wasn't just like select attack. You attack the enemy. Enemy attacks you. It was you were actively participating the entire combat. Never at any point where you're just sitting back and chillaxing. Um. I like chillaxing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not in this game. <laughs> uh. This game was super easy to cheat at because a lot of items uh, depended on how quickly you could press X. And that's determined how how powerful like a uh, uh, like a, a disposable item Macro. you used would be. Yeah. So if you just had a fucking uh, rumble con- or not a uh, turbo controller, you could like three shot bosses using like some of the cheapest uh, consumables you can buy in the game. I got a cargo container from that fallen antenna. Got or need to get? I got it. I have to deliver ah. it. Um, and as far as the story goes, the story is really good. Um, a lot, there's a lot of, like, dramatic moments in the game, and, like, 
you actually lose party members permanently due to story uh, story reasons. I hate combos. <laughs> I hate combos. I like this is this is one reason I like uh, Dynasty Warriors Nine more than I like Eight. Mm -hmm. Eight is about combining buttons and and then you get a combo. With Nine, I choose a specific kind of attack, and then it's just about like single button presses to determine how many, how far I want to go with that attack's combo, essentially. So instead yeah. of like square, square, triangle to get this one thing to happen, it's I hold R1, and then I could pick the, the square, the triangle, the O, the X, either one of those will then start an attack. And then I spam square, and then that will progress the combo that follows that attack, essentially. Okay, Which is different cool. for pretty much everybody. Oh, it's cool, you say. I think so, too. So does DK. Uh, but if you look at the reviews, it's the worst thing to happen to, to Dynasty Warriors ever. No, no, no. So, yeah, like, uh, let me guess. Most of those people are, like, super diehard. Yes. They, they rely on their masterful use of actually playing combos probably to shit on people worse than them more than likely yes and they also hate the open as... world of uh dynasty warriors 9 well me and dk both love it oh wait they, they just like doing the same one mission over and over times i don't really know it's one of those things where like i wish i could get in someone's head to understand but i can't But at the same time, in this case, I don't wish I could get in their heads because I don't care. You know? Uh, to answer the question about any games on the 64 that I could go back to play. Uh, I'm be real here. As much as I like the N64 games, like, playing them once, I'm, I'm, I'm good after that. Like. Don't get me wrong, Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Conker's Bad Fur Day, although the remake on Xbox was better in every single way. Uh, fuck, trying to think what else. I would say uh, Mega Man Legends, but Mega Man Legends is better on the PlayStation 1 anyway, so get fucked. Um, I wouldn't really want to go back to playing the N64. Okay. I will play Ocarina of Time over and over and over. That's too easy of a, of a game to say because, you know, fuck it. Name's best game of all time. You know, I, obviously some someone's going to want to play that shit over and over. I, I looked at the old Zelda games, and I thought they all looked like shit. Like, I tried one. Uh, I played... My, my friend let me try a Zelda game. I don't even know which one it was. It was on a handheld, and I tried it, and I said, This game is terrible. I've played much better games than this. I have much better games to play. Why would I play this? And then I gave it back to him. So I never understood right. Zelda, but the new ones look good. I think maybe it's just like a Nintendo space kind of thing. Yeah, probably. Because I found that those that primarily play Nintendo have much lower standards for games than I do. As yeah. someone who like was playing PC and PlayStation and Nintendo combined like nintendo was only really good for nintendo exclusives that were unique like pokemon pokemon is unique for the longest time you couldn't really get good alternatives to it it's you know what's off funny of nintendo is that's like like you said like a lot of these people who like these older games are because of nostalgia oh i think you said but, that but yeah i mean i just agreed Um, but like, back in the day when people saw Ocarina of Time, they're like, oh my god, the 3D graphics, they look so fucking good, right? And you you try to get one of them to actually sit down and look at the game, they're like, man, this shit's fucking ugly as shit. And then they you show them an older game from like, the fucking Game Boy Color, and they're like, yeah, this this looks way better. Like, this, this actually holds up still, because like, it's fucking, you know, it's, it's art instead of like, um, rendered. Yeah. The thing that still holds up was the thing that back in the day they thought was worse because it wasn't 3D. Yeah. 
I don't know. I never knew a lot of Nintendo exclusive players, so hearing anything about like N64 or whatever, it just doesn't really click with me. Because I never really, as a kid, I never met anybody that ever had an N64. Uh, anyone I knew that had like anything Nintendo, it was a Game Boy. What did they play? Pokemon, Mario Kart, DS, eventually. Uh, yep. Maybe a Pac-Man game, maybe a Mega Man game, and that's pretty much it. And was this their favorite thing in the world? No. They had other things that they would prefer to play at home, on their computers, or their not handheld consoles. It was always just a thing that just worked while you were out, you know, like what mobile games are right now. So to hear what the equivalent of mobile games are is like someone's like, oh, it's the best thing ever. It's just like, how? Maybe if you had like no other options, but I feel like those genres had better options even back then, except for things like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. It really didn't have better options. Now we have Power World. Now, uh, well, that's not even Pokemon. That's just Ark. <laughs> but there are plenty of alternatives. There's so many Pokemon ripoffs on Steam now that you don't need Pokemon. And they're making more and more. It's becoming more and more common to do this, to make Pokemon ripoffs on Steam. And there's plenty on the phone as well. So now you don't even need but, Pokemon. What about making simulator simulators? Well, that's, a, that's kind of... That's, that's like a, only a couple publishers really do that, but yeah, that's, that's a kind of popular thing as well. Alright, I got like six trailers over here, so I'm going to start popping them off at the... Okay. I'll try All to right. stage them in a way that'll be easy for you to just like drive up, pick it up, so... I have... Fixed this antenna. Yay, now everyone here has TV again. So I don't really need to take that path. I can just recover at this point. Whoa, crazy. Recover? Wow. Man, I remember when I could just do that. I'm out of fuel here. Let me hit the recover button. Ugh. <gasps> Currently, that bandit doesn't need to be there either. Maybe it will need to be somewhere eventually, but it doesn't need to be there right now. Uh, has this gotten anything new? I don't think so. It's not there. Uh, ooh. Oh, it has snorkel options. Naturally, I'll take the bigger one. Oh. That's what she said. Uh, Off-road suspension. That's new for this. Uh, engines are the same. I think I picked these as a default anyway. I don't usually like putting the sun visors on because this isn't, I'm not running this in HDR. Why do I need a sun visor? You know? Yeah. Well, this thing will probably do. I will, it's kind of easier to just drive across um, the dam, realistically, than it is to go the other path. Still a bit of a journey, but it's easier. Let's go there. Another thing I didn't know as a kid was that uh, anime was a thing as well. Poor child. I mean, I had watched anime. I just didn't know it had a name other than Cartoon Debbie. on Cartoon Network. <laughs> so... I don't like these. I just thought... Warner Brothers cartoons. I like these, these cooler, Cartoon Network cartoons, man. Yeah, Cartoon Network had basically all the same kind of shit all the time. 
So it was it was pretty easy to just like everything on Cartoon Network. And like Cartoon Network would show an anime like Dragon Ball and then it would also show Billy and Mandy next up. Yeah. And I yeah. liked both of these. And so it's just like, yeah, yeah, of course, of course I like cartoons. I don't like Invader Zim, but I still don't like Invader Zim. I don't understand why Invader Zim was popular. As a kid, it just creeped me the fuck out. And as an adult, I find it boring. I wonder how well Invader Zim would do now if it were like actually like brand new released in this era. I don't think anything we watched would do well because Zoomers and now Gen Alpha have the attention span of you trying to get through a cinematic. Non existent, got it. Exactly. I wonder how bad Gen Alpha is going to be compared to the Zoomers. My kids be considered Gen Alpha? Yes, your kid is Gen Alpha. All right. Zoomers are done. They're done being born. Generations are 15 years. I was born in the final year that you could be born a millennial. Um, so, anyone 16 years younger than me is Gen Alpha, which would be 11 year olds. 11 year olds born on the correct side of the year for that, specifically. I saw a thing that uh, shows like Zoomers apparently are not aging very well or something. There's a bunch Does of pictures of Zoomers. I, I don't know why. There's just a bunch of pictures of Zoomers. And then you're supposed to like just look at this and think, oh yeah, that's a 40 year old, 40 something. No, it's a 20 year old, like just turned 20, Zoomer. And this is like a something I see a lot on the internet. I don't know how cherry picked these are, but. It's something that pops up a lot, is just that Zoomers apparently don't age well. And I read a comment on one of these that said, must be too much screen time, and I just face palmed. <laughs> it's like, ugh, ugh, ugh. What do you think screens do? It's light. You get less light in front of a screen than you get by going outside. If they went outside like you probably want them to, they would look even more aged. Yep. Because they would have actual UV lights destroying their skin. So if they had too much screen time, they'd look younger. Although you can't say yep. something like that to someone that would make such a comment in the first place because they're not going to understand it. They're just gonna find some way to shrug it off like it doesn't matter and like you're crazy. Oh yeah, did you see uh... France? internally suggested sending troops to Ukraine casually like foreign legion or like actual french no, like troops. actual french soldiers yeah that's crazy yeah they're they're just casually debating like whether or not they should do it and most of them are in favor of it like yeah if we need to we should yeah they're like we should send them more stuff and someone's like well what if we just send troops and macron's like that's a pretty good idea i like that idea now, it's also conveniently close to their election cycle. 
But they've just been debating it publicly, by the way. And answering interviews like, yeah, we, we're considering it. Yeah, we might just send troops there. And they didn't tell anyone in NATO before they released these, like, publicly. Which is hilarious, because the following days after was just, like, a series of NATO members, like, we do not plan on sending troops, we do not plan on sending troops, we do not plan on sending troops. Just everybody. And France is like, like, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we could probably do that. And now they're, they're going out of their way because they like the idea so much. They're trying to make it like illegal for companies to not prioritize government orders of anything, basically. So that they can get anything made for war that they want. France. I heard someone joke and say, oh yeah, they felt bad about Poland. <laughs> yeah, they still feel bad about Poland, so they feel like they need to make up for it. I don't think Russia actually responded, though. God, I love France. I don't know, you know, you hear Europeans say that America is a circus. I don't know. I feel like I'm watching a circus with France. Oh, like, it's, it's so crazy. It Like, these people are fucking throwing stones in a glass house. Like, as far as everything goes, the United States has most of their shit, you know, in control. And, like, we've got the freest fucking, you know, press and everything. But England has more of a police state than we do. We have less racism than Asia. Like, like all, all the things that we're accused of, we're literally one of the least in. Too much Hollywood. Yeah, too much Hollywood. Oh, these broken trees still here. You know how many times I've run these over? It should be snapped into little twigs by this point. I have a fun time telling uh, Europeans things that are normal here. Like? Like, for example, I one European who... That, the one that was here earlier in chat named Narfi, that one. I remember I was just casually telling him about how... Uh, in America, it is completely normal to build your own house. He's like, oh yeah, we could do that too. I'm like, you can build it by yourself with your own hands, with nobody else involved. He's like, oh no, you, but you can like design it and a company will build it. Like, no, no, no. You could build your own house here by your own hand and put in your own electricity. He's like, oh, we could do that. So you could put in your electricity by yourself. He's like, we can, we can, we could put in the electricity, but like uh, a, co a company, like, like a, an agency from the government has to come and confirm that it's like legal and up to spec. He's like, yeah, great. We don't have that here. There is no up to spec here. You just have to make sure it works, and that's it. And it's all on you. You could just install your own electricity, fuck it up as much as you want, as long as you're happy with it, is legal. The only thing the, the power company cares about is the connection between themselves and your your box. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's it. All, that's all they care about. But the electricity in your house, you could just do that yourself, and there's no one to regulate it. Yeah. You, you, you know who are the people who care about the, the wiring in your house? You? You and your insurance company. Yeah. Your insurance company wants your shit inspected to make sure that they're not buying a house that's about to fucking blow up because the power is fucked up. But most power is fucked up, I feel like, in this country because it's mostly done by just random dudes that have little that had little guidelines to go off of. I told that to him, he's like, yeah, that would be illegal here. I'm like, yeah, that's normal here. <clears throat> and I remember I saw something, um, I saw like a European that didn't know that our houses weren't made out of like 
brick and concrete like exclusively like yeah. theirs and he said he grew up hearing stories about how Americans would punch holes through their wall he's like yeah. I thought damn Americans are strong because <laughs> we're punching through drywall not yeah. concrete yeah and then he he laughed at that I told Murphy that and then I, I also told him but fun fact do you know what I've seen more than holes punched through walls by men because I have seen that I've seen holes like, kind of like broken into walls more like shapes I guess from women falling their fat asses into the wall the amount of times I've seen a dent in a wall like a big ass ass shaped dent and it turns out it's literally some chick fell into it is more than I've seen ass. a hole that a dude punched through one I shot I was inspected seven times during its destruction by the city of Arlington alright Axis. I broke my shower in New York City. Because you punched it? Yeah. My grandma woke me up early. I got angry, so I punched the shower head and it flew off. <laughs> this water's like whoosh. We got a new one that was better. I told my uncle about it, he just started laughing. He didn't give a shit. He just even though he had to pay for the new one. He just started laughing. Yeah, this little this little twig punched punched the shower head. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, kid. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> well, he, he saw it in person and then he laughed again. He found it funny. I made sure the mass plumbers did their job correctly. Final inspection. They had no effing clue why they were called to inspect it. Uh, so. Oops. Oh, hi. Hi. You, uh, you busy in there? Yeah, I, I was selling these. Oh, okay. How many more are still remaining? Uh, on that map, like another four -ish? Oh, Jesus Christ. Shh. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Shh. It's all part of the plan. Just wrong way. Oh, God. Shh. Okay. 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 Stay calm. Alright. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I'm gonna go over there after this to help you bring okay. the rest over. Okay, well, uh, I, I haven't collected all of them. I just grabbed like uh, six of them at first and then, or like four of them. Oh, I'm still gonna come and over there to help. Yeah. Money! I, I have so much money. <laughs> uh, do you want... There, the, the, there's only one last one uh, staged here. Do you want to grab that one while I yeah, drive sure. further off? Okay. Sure. Why not? Ugh. Why is it only the the first time I do it the the refill works and every subsequent time my refill does not work? I have no idea. Oh. 
Oh no. Dude, the escape is there instantaneously. <laughs> really? It takes a second for it to show up on mine. Yeah, I just loaded in and it was already there. Hmm. I, mine takes a second to show up. Client versus host privilege. I don't know. What do you have this on? A SATA? Yeah. Could be that. Maybe. Who knows? You wanna, you wanna, uh, cut me off? You'll, you'll have to get into that one, and then I get into yours. Now I'm in yours. Alright, I see it. Uh, you might jump into mine and uh, take the fuel out of the uh, thingy thing. I'm I'm in the I'm in your Tatra. Okay, I'm I'm in your your um yeah vehicle. You don't have enough to fill this up all the way in the carrier. No, I'm talking itself. about also the, the the fuel up top as well. So you want me to use the um the reserve fuel? Yeah. Gosh, I, hate I just need enough. I hate I this fuel menu so much. All right, so Tatra fuel as well. Yep. All right, this Tatra is completely empty. Oh, not the the fuel in the tank. Well, that's that's all else there was. Okay, I thought there was. Oh, a little unless bit more you than mean oh, and like in the top of the fucking yeah, Mastodon yeah, yeah, yeah. itself. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's hop in there. Hey, give, give, yeah, you don't you don't need to give the Tatra all its fuel back. All right. Uh, Alright, so let me know when you're done. Uh, how much? I'll, I'll just put the. How much do you want me to put in there? The, the 14 yeah, in like the service kit or the 40 in the trunk repair supplies? Uh, any of the external fuel, just take all of it. Okay, so I'll just. I'll just start with the actual this okay. and then dump the rest in the other one. Okay. Fucking hate this menu. That's Long awful. Tatra, that's my Tatra. It'd be nice if you could just like drag and drop the fuel, you know, like. I, I want a bigger menu. This is clearly designed with consoles in mind and it's a fucking nightmare mm -hmm. to navigate. Mm -hmm. Um, and I hate it. Well, this doesn't matter. All right, it's done. Okay, I'm going into that Tatra now. Hot potato, hot potato. So where's this other Thank trailer you. near here? Oh, it's right next to me, I see it. That's the, uh, the back end of it, by the way, that you're looking at. Okay, so you gotta yeah. go around and... Well, I was looking at it like, what the fuck? Why is it like that? Uh, I just, it, I was under, like, it was a tight squeeze and I didn't have enough room to, to put it anywhere, so I had to, like, wedge it in there. Okay. I'm just gonna pull it out first, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, where are the last ones? There's three left. Alright. I can grab two at once by dragging the other one. So I'll do those ones first. Plus, it's over. It's the quickest way over there, I guess. I really have to go. I can't cross the water there, can I? I might be able to. Might as well give it a try. There are also semi ones that I'll need moved eventually, too. <laughs> <clears throat> like that service trailer? Anything with semi. There's a lot of semis on the other map. I guess I don't mind if you do these ones too. I just hate trailers in general. Mm -hmm. Ugh. This is why I hate trailers. Ugh. I'm making progress. Oh, not like that, I'm not. Ugh. Alright, tell, tell you what. Oh, it already did it. Oh, it took down a tree. Wow. All right. Here's an idea. 
Oh, it's just pulling the fucking Tatra. Ah. Uh, we gotta be something strong enough to pull this thing. No, there just really isn't. Are you, are you unable to unstick it? Oh, there it? we go. There we go. No, I'm just trying to turn it so that I can actually go down the road. Ah. Uh. Because it was just in the worst possible direction <laughs> for me to actually Sorry. get down the road. Sorry. I did um. have fucking five trailer stuff in that one guard, so... Here's gonna be choosers. All right, I finally got it. This took forever. Whew. Flip. No. I um I ran into a guardrail because I hit the wrong Damn button. It. I feel like it's redundant to have a, a fucking notification telling me you left this map. You went to this map. Well, now you know. I feel like the problem is that it um it updates too quickly because of our loading times. Ah. Uh. Think think about loading it on a probably like 5400 RPM uh, hard drive in an Xbox. So that means that like that those notifications would have you come, left you this know, map. A minute, Pause. A minute later. Pause. Still pausing. You went over here. I feel like that's more what it had in mind. Why is this even highlighted? Oh, I see why. I don't want to go there. I want to go here. It's probably more of the idea. So first, you know that the guy left, and then, you know, like, 30 seconds to a minute later, maybe worse, I don't really know, when the guy finally loads in over there, you know where he went. I did it! Woo! Something Spanish, you did it. Aha, uh -huh, Dora reference again. Cargo mm -mm -mm -mm. will be lost. Oh no. It's almost like I don't care. <laughs> There's red barrels here that my gamer instincts recognize as explosive barrels. Danger, danger. Oh, they have white stripes? Even more explosive. At least they're not green barrels. That means acid. Your mom's ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. She's fat. Oh, God damn it! Wrong button again. Sometimes if I look to the right at my right monitor, well, my uh -huh. whole motor sensors just kind of like fail me. And like, if I, <laughs> essentially if I was holding a wheel, it would be the equivalent of like looking to the right and then bringing the whole wheel to the right with you. That's what I do yeah. with my WASD, essentially. That's funny. Oh, 14, I plan to change over to Balmung. That's, that's probably the one that I'm going to make my character on. I don't know. I did a lot of actually looking into FF14 servers to see which one I would pick when I started playing. I'll probably just pick uh, that one. Obviously, you're going to go to one of the RP servers. Yes. Which there's only really two main ones. And from what I've seen, like, Balmung is the super duper casual one. And then there's one that's, like, older, but completely kind of fallen out of popularity now that, now that you can just cross servers anyway. So apparently almost everyone just goes to Balmung, so... 
I, I was just gonna go with that anyway because that uh, just makes sense. I remember, I remember you showed me an article of like the day that became implemented. People were sp like they were like crowding around the tele the world teleporters to tell people to fucking leave. So uh, I love when your memory does this. Oh my god! You showed me that. Oh okay. But I had already known that from okay. a video. But okay. you did, in fact, show me that, and we had a conversation okay. about it. Yes. That's funny. Uh, I love when you assign something to me that's not me, and then, like, separately, I'll tell you something, and then you'll just start telling me like I don't already know. <laughs> like, hey, did you know this thing? And I'm just, I listen to the Rez, whole thing, is. the entire Rez, thing. Rez, I mean, I'm just like, Rez, yeah, Rez, I told you Rez. that. Rez, did you know? All right, now now that I have this big ass, do I want to try to do that again? How can I do it? It's downhill, so easier. I think that every MMO ever should stop making servers. And do what instead? Mega servers, of course. Oh, okay. Star Citizen, got it. Everyone should just be on one server, realistically. What is the point of splitting your player base? We have the technology. It is there. And that yet there's still new MMOs that release, and it's like, ah, uh, no. No, we have servers. <gasps> yeah, yeah, 200 players max. All right, when's the first peer-to-peer -peer MMO? <laughs> uh, New World. Really? No, they have servers, it's just 200 okay. max. Peer-to-peer <laughs> <laughs> would be awful. I mean, certain things like Destiny call themselves, like, MMOs, and a lot of things like that are just match-made, like, arena shooters and not MMOs. I'm not sure what's so massive about them. You can have four players on screen, whoop de doo Res, it has raves. That's, that's an MMO-only thing, right? Raves? Yeah, in, uh, Destiny. Oh, okay. Yeah, at raves only exist in MMOs. True. True, 100%. I believe it. It's really not raids. It's really just really hard uh, multiplayer missions. That's all it is. Oh, raid. Raid. Uh, you said rave. Rave, uh, no. Uh... <laughs> At the convention, we can pass like an exclusive gunplay you cannot buy. Nice. Uh, when I went to PAX, I got a hundred, um, what's the name of it? Um, Cards Against Humanity Novelty Condoms. Huh. Yeah. You do, do you not remember that story? No. Alright, cool, so I could tell it like it's new. So, I was, uh, I was at PAX East. With my uncle, by the way. Uh, we had split off from each other to go different places. And I'm walking down the hallway, and I don't know where I was going. I was going somewhere. And I'm going past this table where they have Cards Against Humanity stuff. And there was this, this guy walks up to me, specifically me. The hallway's filled with individuals. Oh, Rez, Wolves, Wolves, right, Wolves, to your left. Uh, Too close, back up. I'm sad, I don't see him. In the, uh, the, the, the gold colored trees. See them? They're, they're literally right in front of me where I am right now. So look, look for the eyes. Don't look for bodies. Just look for eyes. I am looking for eyes. What the fuck? They're very clearly on my screen right now. Well, maybe I have to Clearly be over by them. where you are. Okay. Let's see. I'm going over. Yep. I don't see them from this side. You gotta go on that side. But yeah. I. The dude very specifically walks up to me, and only me. And he's got. He's staring at me while he walks up to me with this complete shit-eating grin on his face. And then he hands me this gigantic plastic wrapped stack of a hundred fucking condoms. I don't even know what I got handed at first. This was like one of the only times in my life I had seen a condom. I was like, what is this? And it's just like a hundred of them. So it wouldn't even, I wouldn't even, it just looks like a stack of like random shit. I don't even know what it is because it's plastic wrapped. And he goes, here you go. I'm like, oh, thanks. 
and I'm so confused because he's walking away looking so completely happy with himself. <laughs> and, and I'm just holding this thing and everybody around me is looking at me. I'm like, I don't understand. Uh, I saw there were not plastic wrap ones being handed out occasionally to passersby. So then I went somewhere where I could put it down and look at it because I'm just holding this thing that's fucking stacked. It's like half my body. I put it down and I looked at it and then I realized what it was. I was like, what the f- I'm just walking around past all these people with a hundred fucking condoms in my hand? What the fuck is this bullshit? What am I doing? Uh, what- Was there- was there- other than there being a hundred of them, was there anything that made- Um... They just had, like, cards against humanity on, like, the packaging. Okay. So you could buy it from their website. Oh, that's cute. I also don't see the wolves right now, either. Okay, weird. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. So I just started selling them. <laughs> in Amer only in America can you get fucking make money by selling condoms. Yeah. They nice. are just literally, literally you can go anywhere. They're handed out free. Yeah. yeah I, I just started selling. Maybe like I thought you got the bitches. I don't know. Wait, he's, he's just very specific. I don't know why I'm headed over here. Uh, to get but, a trailer? No, I, I I went the wrong direction. Oh. Whatever. I got, got caught up in the, in the condom store. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what he thought, but he saw me walking down, and he looked at me, and he just put on this complete shit-eating grin, and he just w walked up to me and handed it to me. Like the one I got, I gave you, and I was headed uh, to pick you up? No, no, he's way okay. more, way more, less... Like pedophilic and more like <laughs> devious, you know. Like like less looking like he's gonna molest someone and more just looking like he's he had like I don't know. But he he handed them to me and then I walked past later after I had given them to my uncle to bring back yeah. to the just wherever, and yeah. uh, somebody asked me, "Oh, you used them all already?" <laughs> oh man, they fucking. They knew what they were doing. They, one way or another, they knew what they were doing. I hate this bridge. Oh my god. This is a bridge you can actually fall off. It's not like those other, other like, bridges where you just fall into, like, swamp around you. You can actually fall off a cliff with that bridge. I don't see any way back from what I saw on your stream real quick. Yeah, you would need to actually do, like, a recovery operation, essentially. We have a vehicle big enough? I guess we brought the Macedon with the super heavy crane. Uh, you'd have to figure it out. Oh. How do they rescue tanks? Special equipment. Uh, li literally, um, a smaller vehicle than. Yeah, I've seen the. the I've, I've seen yeah, the yeah. the vehicle used to rescue Abrams. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abrams got stuck. Send the vehicle to rescue it. Oh, now that vehicle's stuck. Fuck. Uh, those are those are always fun days. Oh, okay. I turned on my beacons. We will. We will. Well, this is at the fuel station. Nice. Is that only, the uh, last trailer? Um, I think there's one more, maybe? I don't know. I thought there was one more. Um, and do, you, do you need me to get that, that fuel trailer too, or is that mission or story mode? There's story just the sideboard trailer that you left, I guess, up top. So the fuel carry, this is semi. So this there's one semi here, there's like four semis in the other place. Okay, I have uh, the trailer for the semi, so I'll, I'll go back and grab that one. Let me get rid of the cargo in here. I'll leave this trailer for you to take don't, back to, uh... And don't forget that, uh... Ralph... danced at PAX East on video, wearing a koala mask. Yes. In front of a crowd. It was the last thing yeah. he did while we were there. Like, the place was starting to empty out, and he went and he just did it. 
that he could barely see out of the koala mask. So he, it was like a game and you had to copy moves. He could barely see what the moves were. And I was just in the crowd and everyone was just watching him with expressions on their faces. Like this was far from the weirdest thing they had seen all day. <laughs> no, nobody really questioned it. Which I found impressive. He danced to a song that's like ultra copyrighted on YouTube, so I had to upload it somewhere else, and I just have to like link to it. Funny, like, oh, here you go, Vimeo. Yeah, that's, I think that's where I had it. <laughs> All right, uh, the fuel trailer at the fuel station, right? Yes. That's the only semi I see here. Oh, I've just been driving back on memory. I didn't even set any waypoints. Well, huh. funny how that works, huh? <sighs> what's uh what's your next available day next week uh I don't think I have anything planned uh maybe on Thursday I'm going to be in the afternoon, or in the morning, I'll be playing uh, Warhammer with a friend, but that's probably all I have for sure planned. Right. You have your beacons on? <laughs> okay, I found the flag. The flag? Get it, because the uh, beeping did not find the flag. What? Do you not know, do you know the story? Uh, actor Shia LaBeouf put a flag up somewhere and put a camera on it. And people on 4chan were trying to figure out where the flag was. So they narrowed it down based off of the trees, what state it was in. And then they narrowed it down to a city somehow by watching like the, the sun and the shadows or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then from there, uh, they just had a dude, he just got in his car, was honking. And so whenever they heard him on the live stream, they tell him they heard the honk and if it's getting closer or further. Eventually they figured out where the, exactly where the, the flag was and then in the dead of night, they uh, stole the flag. Sounds like fortune. Yep. I love how there was just like a, a picture of like the sky or something. Because th there was like someone that was missing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like they were kidnapped. And the only, there was a picture of them with the sky as the background. But that's it. Just the sky. And with just this picture of sky, which was almost completely like useless. Like there was like hardly any detail there at all. It's like a cloudy day. They figured out where this kid was in like 14 hours. All right, let's, all right on this day, let's see what areas in the US were completely cloud covered like that. All right, cool. Uh, three areas, all right, cool. Let's see what else we got. Okay, uh, metadata on the phone, so it's taking like, at 3 p.m. They narrowed it down to like within a couple miles of where the kid was. Yeah. That's crazy. Don't fuck with a bunch of bored internet nerds. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Perez, I was able to refuel off of this trailer. Yeah? Yeah, hold on. Not only that, it, was, it refueled my service kit. Yeah? Huh. Oh, 
Oh, there's there's one more trailer res hiding. Yeah. Hiding in the shadows. I see it. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab that. But where? I uh, it's just to oh, I see it. Yeah, the... yeah, just barely in the shadows there. That's cute. God damn it. I'm gonna drag it behind the, uh, the kill trailer. But well, I'm thinking maybe I can refill my vehicle by staging those instead of a. Uh... If it works, no, yeah. if, I do, if I, but if I pull trailers out, I don't like. I don't know if I'm gonna because my trailers will despawn and like some fucking on my map somewhere. I'm never gonna be able to get to. Uh, could happen, but is money a problem? No. And if it was, we just go do your map. <laughs> Easy. And it would be like speed running. Because we'd have all the maxed out vehicles with all the Cause equipment. Because I, I don't care what we do on your map. And yes, <laughs> we have upgraded vehicles. There's also a time trial here. Oh, there is. Hmm. Oh, it's a scout flatbed. Oh, that means like, well, I'd have to drag it anyways then. Yeah, or I could just go get it sometime. I'll, I'll grab it. It's too easy. <laughs> why do I cargo? fucking Christ? I hate having this mission tracked. I don't even know why it's tracked. Stop tracking. I keep going the wrong way into this fucking yard every time I try to just by memory go to the trailer store because this place is marked. And since it's marked, I think I'm going here, but I'm not. Yeah. It, looked like, it sounded like by the name of that objective, it's a race. So I'll probably need to go down there with a scout or something anyway. Never did I ever think that this trailer location would be conveniently placed next to anything. <laughs> I thought this was such an inconvenient location until we went to these other maps. And now it actually kind of makes sense. <clears throat> the other trailer one is at the end of the other map. Mm -hmm. or, or hear me out, how about you just put a trailer thing at the beginning of all the maps? How about give us a garage every map? At least be happy I'm this isn't hardcore. I'm afraid <laughs> that one of the maps is literally going to be only the starting map has a garage. That's it. I am utterly afraid of that. Well, that right, just means we'll have to be strategic, and you can't just fucking Mastodon spam literally everything. Which is, you weren't even going to get the Mastodon. So that wouldn't be entirely strange. I mean, Besides, my primary vehicle probably, primary vehicle at that point would probably be the bandit anyways, if that were the case. It, pro it, it will also give you a reason to use things that are not the Mastodon instead of just trying to brute force literally everything with the Mastodon. Fun, though. I haven't used the Mastodon like once today, I think. Maybe no, I used it once on a on like a time trial and that's it I've just used it once on a time trial and that's all I've used it for today I've been using the Tatra otherwise because it's just it's it's enough and it's fuel efficient it's pretty much it it does exactly what I need it to and it does it in a fuel efficient way which is great for everything that I've been dealing with today Where am I going? Flat. It's actually a nice change of pace because I feel like I have used the the Mastodon quite a bit just in general. There. Ten hut. A race with the rain. 
This weather, man, we're already getting reports of road the farm may be washed out from the rain. Get there and check on it before it be get, uh, becomes any worse. A minute and a half for gold. Woo! To go to a farm? Woo! Oh, I see it. Oh my god. Holy shit. You have to go all the way there in a minute and a half. Oh, That's I, far as fuck, dude. They, they want, I think head. they want you to try to go across the river. Because there's rocks yeah, those, that look like they go across yeah. the river. I might go there and do that with a fucking mastodon, actually. Yeah, just fucking... If let's anything go. can <laughs> make that, it's going to be a mastodon. If anything can make that, it's going to be a mastodon. So I might use the mastodon on that, actually. Mastodon is king! Yeah, it helps me get around things that are supposed to be hard. I mean, even what we're doing today is supposed to be hard, but the, this touch was enough, even without any special upgrades. With the upgrades, I'm sure it'd be even better. But for now, it's, it's it's fine. I think the the cat will eventually outperform it once it has all the upgrades it needs. And honestly, the cat might already have its upgrades. I think I didn't have... Uh, I was either missing all-wheel drive or mud tires for it. Or no, it, no, the cat cannot get mud tires. That's what it was. Right. Yes, the cat cannot get mud tires. But it's going to be perfect for snow. So the Tatra in Alaska is probably going to be pretty useless. Because the cat is probably just going to outperform it. Because it actually has upgrades. So. Once we get to Alaska, probably not going to use the Tatra very much. I don't know about the Mastodon either. Probably going to use the cat a lot though. Hey Rez. Hi. So I've been dragging this trailer uh, behind me this entire time, right? Yeah. And uh, one thing I was because I so apparently um, you can't remove the cargo from the trailer unless it's actually attached to you. Mm -hmm. And so I can't attach this one, right? I couldn't remove the cargo. Uh huh. And so the only way to remove it is once it's out of the trailer. Uh huh. I spent like half a minute trying to flip it over on purpose to see what happened to see if I could get it flipped so I could delete it. it didn't happen. It so auto I just had a fucking tracked this task the moment I switched areas and I ended up going to the wrong location again because it was marked. Oof. Oof. Ugh. Um And so I I didn't have any choice but to just drive on with it still on the trailer. Uh-huh. And I, I've been like checking on it every once in a while just to make sure it's still on there or not because I, I just didn't want to have a piece of trash yeah. on the map. And literally as I'm as I'm driving, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should take a look right now. And as I look, I see the trailer flipping around with the uh, the, the item on it just literally right there within range to delete. Huh. Okay. Like if I had waited 10 seconds, yeah. 5 seconds, I wouldn't have been able to, to, to delete yeah. it because I would have been too far. Yeah. I had to literally catch it flying out in order to catch it in time. Yep. I caught it. It's deleted. And I'm also thankful that um, I don't have to check on the trailer itself because if it falls off the winch, I'll know because my little winch manual will disappear. That was about right. All right, so I think my job here with the Mastodon, or not the Mastodon, the Tatra's done, I think. No, because you're bringing one more thing over here. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Still, I'll teleport to the garage. Well, I guess... I'm no longer able to, to refuel myself with the uh, carrier. Well, maybe it's not so reliable after all. Yep. Deploy my Chevrolet for selling that scout trailer.
because the marshal can't pull a scout trailer. Go down hither, hather, author. Here. I see it at the beginning of the area. <laughs> Oh, hey, this is my first time driving around Hi. with the, the full roof. I'm not in that Tatra, by the way. Okay. I'm just going to park the trailer right behind it so that way you can just, like, pull okay. up on it. Sounds good. I'm currently driving the Chevy to go get that Scout trailer. Right, because I can't pull it into this level. crashed immediately upon leaving the garage. <laughs> so you just recall I see the scout flatbed. I saw I see it on this map. It's just not it, it wasn't automatically oh, it came? being pulled. Yeah, oh, it came sick. with you, it just detached. Okay, cool, easy. I can grab it. You don't need to, you don't need to bring the scout. I do to sell it. You do. Because I need to attach it to this. Alright. Well, also technically can... for the semis I'll need to put the I'll need to put the saddle on something and then bring that specifically no, to sell semis. You just need to take over my vehicle. Oh yeah, true, true. That's true. That's what we did before. I forgot. Oh god. But that is suspension. that is good to know that uh, things you have winched, they'll come with you. They don't necessarily have to be attached, mm. but they will be unattached when you get there. Yeah, I'll just detach, but you can reattach them. Chevy. If I remember correctly, uh, the marshal will actually pretty be pretty useless in Alaska, because if I remember correctly, it doesn't have any tires for the snow. Yeah. But that's fine, I guess. It served its purpose early on. The Chevy took over, and now there's going to be a new scout that we'll be upgrading through. That, from everything I've read. Early game, it's just the best scout by a long shot. Better than the Marshal. And we already have it unlocked. But it's we're just, halfway through the base game. It needs upgrades. We are not halfway through the base game. No? No. When, when we finish this completely, Michigan, then we are yeah. one third of the way through the base game. Uh, okay, I thought it was only two regions. It's There's Michigan, and then Alaska, and then you go to Russia for a region. Okay. You go to Tamir. Okay, a lot of the upgrades for, like, a lot of these Russian DLC things we have, you get the upgrades in Tamir. So at the end of the base game, we'll get the upgrades for, like, the, the Tatra and stuff like that. So that'll be handy. Ah! Oh, my mud tires almost sent me swerving. Good God. Fucking traffic cones. Why are you even here? to suffer you know to make me suffer every day no, 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 no. I gotta treat him like a speed bump I feel like this top fucking rack is not really perfectly secured. Especially with how much this thing like flips around. Doesn't seem very well secured. Uh. 
Ah, first person does work on the Chevy. It's not that bad. It just feels a little claustrophobic compared to, like, the Bandit, you know? Also small enough that you don't really need first person, but you can do first person. I remember doing an entire mission in first person in the Marshall. It was a contest. I assume this there were there were more trailers overall I think than I expected there to be between the two areas so we're taking longer on this part of it so I assume by the next session by the end of that we'll, we'll be in Alaska still but like just barely barely caught myself oh god Maybe once we do get to Alaska, we can swap to another game and take this game like zone by zone. Yeah. But I don't know what we'd follow it up with other than like a little, you know, EDF, but that's not exactly, um, it doesn't really have much of an end. It's more just repetitive. Mm -hmm. But a couple days of that is fine. I wonder what other games do we have to play? Uh... I know there's actually a lot. Yeah. But I think not all of them are actually owned. Like, Diablo's obvious, but I haven't mm -hmm. purchased it yet. Same. And so there you go. I know there's some other ARPGs, but I think most of those are a case of you not having purchased them. Um, oh yeah, uh, we have Remnant from the Ashes, that we both have. You remember that? Let me see. You have it on Epic. Okay. Yes. Uh, what is it? It's a Souls-like. You know the game Remnant 2? Vaguely. Okay, that's, that's what I've heard all about. It's a very popular game this year. Very popular Souls like. Uh, it's the sequel to. Well, that's the sequel to Remnant 1, which we both have. Because it was given away for free on Epic. Mm. It was given away for free, and I was like, I guess I'll play it. And you're like, oh, yeah, we could play it together. I'm like, you want to play it? And, I'm, and you're like, yeah. Uh, okay. And then, uh, like, before you deployed, I brought up that we had to play it, and you're like, what? Play what? Remnant. It's like, never heard of it. I'm like, but you invited me to play it. I'm like, that's weird, because I don't own it. I'm like, yes, you do. Did you lose it? It's like, no, I've never owned it. I'm like, what are you checking? And you're like, Steam. I'm like, go check Epic. I'm like, oh, I do have it. Yeah, sure, I can play this. Yeah, when do you want to play? I'm like, well, I don't know. You invited me to play it. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I'll play it whenever. Deploys. That could be one. I don't remember off the top of my head what other ones are. Ah, oh, fucking suspension rock, damn it. I hate rocks. Oh, hey, look at this. There's a big ass truck here. Is that a semi? What? What? Is that a semi? My thing? Yeah. Shit, I, I meant to be in your vehicle so that way you can jump into this one and then sell the, tra the trailer. All right, well, uh, jump. You could jump into my my Chevy that's just on the road right okay. there. Jumped. Uh, 
Fuel carrier. You can get back in your truck. What is next? Was was that the final thing over there? Was that I that, believe so, yeah. that semi? I okay. believe so. So I guess this truck didn't even need to be here. Uh, did you already sell the? No, you still need the scout trailer. Uh, yeah, I have the Chevy over there. Hmm. Knocked down a fucking fence. Honking? Yes. Why are there rocks in here? It seems incredibly unsafe. All right, and that's sold. Flap. Hmm. Repair. Cool. Uh, if you want, we can call it here. It's already eight. Yeah, might as well. We've been going for ten hours. Yeah, might as well. Any, because anything else we set out to do is probably going to take some time anyway. Yeah, that's true. And we just finished a whole stuff. There's still trailers in that other map. Um, in Island Lake, but yeah. otherwise, it's turning into mostly delivery stuff. There's that one contest that I'll have to do, but. Seems like a good place to call it. Yep. So, prob I imagine we would finish Michigan in like one more session. Oh, absolutely, dude. We've done the tasks. Now it's just like all these contracts. Some of these are pretty demanding. Like, so just the first one I pulled up, power lines. Um, metal beams, which I think are two slot items, to three different locations. And then fuel order, which is... Two cargo containers, one cargo container is two spaces, to a warehouse, yeah, from the quarry loading zone, so you can't really overstack there. Materials order wants, like, metal beams, two consumables, and two concrete slabs brought somewhere. The essentials wants two bricks, two wooden planks, and two things of fuel brought somewhere. Lumber mill revival still needs its, um... Concrete blocks and metal beams? Did you wait or didn't you already bring the metal beams there? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Uh, and then there's super order, which needs oh god, one fuel, one consumable, one service spare part, one wooden plank brought somewhere, and then to somewhere else, one fuel, one consumable, one concrete block, and then to somewhere else. One vehicle spare part, one fuel, and then to somewhere else, one metal beam, one concrete slab. Oh my good god. That's gonna be fun. Yep. Wow. That's just one mission. Cement for the region, two cement to like four different locations. Cargo from the ship, two oversized cargo? That sounds like it would need something large. Larger than two slot. And then instrument of development, three drilling equipment to one location, harbor delivery, one drilling equipment to one location. Out with the old. Needs a semi trailer, two metal beams, and an oil rig drill brought somewhere. I think that's a, that's definitely enough to keep us busy for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's probably be like a, a whole full session, I imagine. But I'll I'll roll the outro for this one. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.